everybody. Look at that, the last case. We're, we have the Xbox interface up. In the last case of Benedict Fox, that looks like something I would be into. Oh, I thought you were about to say, like, the last case of beer from the drunk stream. I was oh. like, I don't think we were drinking beer. Right <laughs> there now. was part of the left. problem. There were nothing left. Hey, everybody. Hi, welcome to Thursday. Thank God. I mean, this <laughs> week's almost over, right? Well, you had a new episode of How Hard Could It Be Up this week. I did. That so episode you had a lot was going a on. doozy. <laughs> it was you and Patrick making wooden spoons? Yeah, we made a lot of wrong decisions. And a lot of mistakes. If you want to watch it, go to youtube.com slash at all good, no worries. How hard could it be? But it was fun working on a project with Patrick, actually. That was like a bonding experience for us. And now, but that's over and we hate each other again. Yeah, it's why he really took the lead. Yeah. <laughs> not yeah. because of the baby. Um, Jacob's probably, listen, not to give Jacob's business, but he just had raisin cane. So uh, he's probably raising hell in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Raising the toilet <laughs> water levels. <laughs> yeah. And you know what I mean? <sighs> it's What's up, everybody? Is what? Minch there to play Rayman Legends with you? He's not. He's on a voyage with Patrick or some bullshit backstory that was woven for the for Star Wars series. The Star series. Wars series that's out now. You can watch it. First episode came out this week. Uh, one piece of housekeeping. Let's talk about here. There's yeah, a deal right it. now in RTX badges. If oh, you, shit. Yeah, if you haven't gotten your RTX badge yet, then from now until June 3rd at midnight, you can use code snooze or lose at checkout and save up to 10% off a badge. <gasps> snooze or lose, all one one word. Well, 10% off your badge and you could fucking meet Mitch. Oh, we don't know if Mitch will be at RTX. Oh, he is. I think I already talked. Oh, you already Ooh. talked about Okay. Hey, Jake, I mean, uh, no, do the wink again. We don't know if Mitch will be at RTX. Can she? Yeah. Okay. That's Jacob, perfect. You have, to, RTX? you have to sign into Rayman Legends. Don't worry. What? It's not on the stream. It Where's over... your stream deck? What else is going on? Oh, it's over there. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Going on the channel. What else is going on? There was a new episode of the Funhouse podcast came out this morning. Mm -hmm. Um, With me and Ryan and... Who was on this morning? <laughs> Not James. Oh no, it was just me and Ryan, and then I surprised yeah. him by asking him a bunch of like questions, but not like viewer questions about like things like that Ugh. they would ask about, but like more broad questions. Mm -hmm. Like if you, what's one chance encounter that like changed your life forever? Or like, I'm trying to think of something else I asked him, but like, if you could make dinner, Ryan. I'm like, if you could make one rule that everybody had to follow, what would you, oh, what fine. rule would it be? And he was like, he was like, I would rewrite the tax code. I'm like, what? Gosh, the tax code? About taxes. Makes you think, makes you wonder. Maybe we shouldn't ask these questions of Ryan. It's quite dangerous. There's, There's some really good questions in there. And if you want to know the answers, you got to go watch the Funhouse yeah. podcast. After the stream. Yeah, after the stream. What else happened? Oh, we got another another Goofy Zelda video. Another Hudson oh, Builders. Oh, for members? Yeah, for members comes out right after the stream. Oh. We have a clip we could show uh, a little later, too. Yeah. It's There's quite fun. <clears throat> new Idiot Detective coming tomorrow. Yes, it's already out if you're a first member. Ryan is still alive, yes. We, maybe we can get him to say hi, but it's maybe we'll see. New game, too. Yes. Oh, sorry, let's see. Oh, yeah, we'll do a new <laughs> game. This is short. New game? So, Lise, this is something you've you been pushing for for a long it's time. Like, yeah, it's it's uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's... It's 2023. Yeah, I know, but... You don't have to be tethered. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're playing so, Rayman Legends, so we're traveling all the way back to, like, 2015 or something. Yeah, I say like 2013, 2014. When did this come out? I think it was 14 or 15, because there's Rayman Origins which came out slight before. Oh, sorry, real quick, because so Cashbone says Lindsay asked who inspired him to be a better person, and he said Elise. But hang on a second, I want to clarify that he said my mommy, <laughs> and then I said anybody else. He's like, I'm really thinking. I'm like, oh, like what about Elise? And he's like, well, yeah, she came to mind. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so you would prop that. That's really sweet. That, that makes me feel love for you, yeah. not for Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, I was thinking like on my friend the, level who like makes me uh, want to try yeah. and be no, better. I'm a crumb. How does it feel to be crumb. like silver medal to Ryan's mommy? You wish, that's what you wish you were. I feel like Ryan, he would say it me, but then he'd have some backhanded like joke insult to go with it. Yeah. Because he loves to As get my does. goat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at this, look at this art, this UV I'm art. I'm really excited, I can't wait to try this. Show me some of the ropes and then I want to play. Yeah, yeah we too. should let Lindsay play. Well, do you want to take it Well, at least can play first, but 
I do want to play a little bit because I have to go at three for a meeting. Okay. Oh, look at this. Look how charming. Two. I gotta go at two for a meeting. Look how charming so and beautiful cool. this is. Man, this game is so great. I this is Rayman game. Legends. Hitman is after this. Yeah. I don't it's remember till Hitman. so much about this explicitly, but just I remember how it made me feel. Yeah. I love Hitman. Or, I mean, I love Rayman. I love the. Everything man. needs to end with man. <laughs> Look who they are! I love woman. I love human. I gotta recalibrate after uh, Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. What my controller. Is. Zelda breaks my brain when oh, it comes because, to playing like, other games. Oh, because like it changes like all of the buttons. I don't like that their limbs aren't connected to their. Oh, this is just uh, like oh, the original though? Rayman. <gasps> yes. The music is so you. good. Oh yeah. Oh no, he's gonna wait. Oh, Lizzie, you're gonna love this. I was this telling. This is exactly like Rayman. Like yeah, the first it really is. Like it's. It's it's a perfect sequel. Uh, can I run oh my back? god, I can't wait. Like, look at the beautiful art and stuff. Oh, this is beautiful. Hit the mushroom. Hit Rayman Legends. Is I there... know, the background is beautiful, yeah. Yeah, it's all like cool hand drawn Legends? stuff. And when we get to like the boss levels with the music and stuff, oh, it's gonna be so good. I'm trying to remember how. Is there fast? There's some way to pull the thing. Oh, down oh, at X. What is that? That's what it is. <clears throat> LX. Oh. Oh. So, yeah, at least you've been pushing it for this for a while for us to play Rayman Legends. It's just e it's easy fun. It's fun. Yeah. My sleepy pizza. Her sleepy I'm pizza. I'm so happy that Elise got her wish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that Lindsay. Oh, I missed it. No. They'll come back. They'll come back. I want so Lindsay to get her wish to play it as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, I was telling Elise this. It's, it's very dizzying. cheesy, but this game makes me. Because I started playing this game like right when. It makes you cry. Well, no, yes. Oh. But I started playing this game like right when Tara and I started dating, so it reminds Ooh. me of that time. Aww. So the music, it fills me with like the feeling of the past. Or with nostalgia, that's what it's called. Look at that guy. It fills me with the feeling of the past. <laughs> yeah. What's, it What's the word? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be nostalgia. Press B to make. Okay, okay. I feel like I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget okay. them radishes. Okay, I gotta do these. No, oh my god. I'm a nostalgia enthusiast. I like, it's like a drug to me. I like nostalgia. It's uh, nice. It's I was nice. talking with someone about this recently. Like, just, just watching things. I, I will often um, just put things on from the early 90s just because I miss it, you know? I've had this experience. Well, I'm like a personal where, um, nostalgia, stuff that reminds me of like my personal life and times. Like I love to look at old photographs and like oh, while I'm doing that, listen to old music or watch old videos or read old journal posts and I found that when media. I uh, when I listen to music that I listened to at like high school, middle school and stuff, mm -hmm. it, it returns like whatever feelings I had of positive experiences from back then. Mm. I get like a little a little taste. A little taste of what once was. Oh my god, I was just listening to Regina Spector yesterday. Oh my Whoa. gosh. I mean, <laughs> that took I me think, like 2005. Uh, I think she is touring this year. Is Whoa. She? Yeah. I'll press X to hit. Okay. I never love nobody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always one foot out the door. Oh. Bum, ba, oh, press B to make the load. Yeah, we, okay. we've been on a big Creed kick. Oh, oh my gosh. In these you, parts. You're gonna get yourself. I feel like I'm playing this so slowly. That's <laughs> I love just like the gross little ugly enemies. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's how they look in the first one. Too. Oh cool, Casval, a member for three months. Shout out to my new favorite farmhouse oh, yeah. member, Jar Boy. I hope he's doing well where he's throwing jars right now. It's from the Elden Ring stream earlier this oh. week. There's a character we fondly called Jar Boy. Is he picking up all these controls? Uh huh. It's a lot of B and Look, X. It could have been the. Oh, my God. oh no! The guy's down there. That? He's roasting alive. Uh oh. That's fine. I don't think there's you gonna. Oh wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Is there a way to get him Can back I out? Pull this? I know. I think it's too late. You'll have to come back. Do the stage again. Oh dang it! I I knew. I was like this. Oh wait. What about this? Oh yeah. That has something to do with it. Oh no. no. Yeah, it's always like B to make your little fairy friend do things. Oh, what am I doing? I'm sorry, I feel like I'm, I'm no. so slow playing this. 
It's, how, when was the last time you played this game? Long, probably a while ago, huh? Decade. <clears throat> yeah. It's been a while for me as well, so. Well, there's games that are like this that, you know, like somebody mentioned Ori and the Blind Forest. Yeah. These, like, fun, beautiful side scroller games. I like the direction that a lot of them went, like, with Ori and with, like, Hollow Knight and stuff, where all the assets are all, like, hand drawn and beautiful and stuff. Yeah. Mm hmm. We were just talking about Child of Light. Yeah, yeah, Child of Light, where it all looks like watercolor. Oh, what is that? It's another like UB art game. Like this is a UB art game. Um, that part of Ubisoft doesn't exist anymore. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I, I didn't lower it enough. Um, Hang it. But Child of Light's like it's like a turn-based uh, side-scroller game. Okay. When did this game come out? That's a good question. Twenty uh, like fourteen or something. I want to say. Oh yeah, here's my mic back here. Hey, what's up, everybody? Shot. Radio jockey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember this. I remember these. Sorry, everybody. My feet are getting spiky. Music in this game is so good. The hand mic's still plugged in over there too. You need that. Oh, I could see that. Is yeah. It on? Uh, yeah, it should be. Would you guys like me to talk into the hand mic? Whatever is more comfortable for you, Lindsay. I love how these guys look. Is it on? Oh yeah, they're so happy. The little noses. Hey guys, they're so cute. Oh, I don't need Should that. I turn this one away from me again now? I think it'll be fine. Okay. Now you can sit like smack dab in the middle if you want. You're right, I could if I want. I can also just do whatever I want. That's true. Come on, put me the other way. All right, musical scrotum says 2013. This game came out. Yeah. I think Child of Light came out before this. Yeah, and this is a sequel to Rayman Origins. Yes, oh, I played that too. Yeah. Get that microphone out of my. Uh, let's see here. What's face. the which way? I'm just gonna hang go? out like this. Uh, hey I think both. Oh shit. I appreciate the uh, the audience that this game includes in its soundtrack. Whenever you do something cool. So. Oh. No, Jacob. Or you'll pop like a balloon. What am I doing? What's Jacob, up, Lindsay? How many games have you beat this year? Have I beat this year? Yeah. Not that many. Really? Because what have I even been playing? Only Jedi? I, play, I beat Jedi Survivor. Um, What else came out this year? I don't know. I play games that don't end, like Destiny. Yeah, I mean, me too. <laughs> I play Overwatch. Yeah, you play Overwatch, where it's just like PvP and stuff. No, I feel like I've played a lot of games, but I haven't beat a lot of games. What games have you beat this year, Elise? Um, Case of the Golden Idol. I still need to play that one. I have it just sitting there waiting for me. I don't me. know if I've beat, beaten anything else. <laughs> hey, sometimes it's about the journey and not the destination. But now I'm, all, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I guess. It's gonna take me a thousand years to beat Zelda. No, <laughs> I no. thought I could like jump and then do it midair. If I'm this is <laughs> this is like the worst Rayman you... strat. No, it's great. I love you it. You guys in the stream want me to? When's it got figured out? Oh, here. I beat yeah. Dead Space. I beat that again. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Resident Evil Four. Yeah, I finished Resident Evil this Four. This person's okay. answering all of your games. Yeah, the chat's helping me out here. Oh. Thank you, Ben Lee. <laughs> um. If you guys in the chat want me to ask some of the questions that I asked Ryan on the podcast to Jacob, to Lewis, us? it might be kind of fun. Yeah. To play. And then if you want to know Ryan's answers <clears throat> to all these questions, you got to go watch the podcast. Yeah. Because he's not coming in here. And, the, and I, let me give you one more hint about these questions. Like, I picked these questions because I was like, I got to know what Ryan's going to say <laughs> for this question. Yeah. Oh, friends. Okay, okay. Oh, it fills me with joy. So I just call this, you know, asking my friends questions and making them answer to, answer to me. Oh, Goose, I gotta play Signalis still. I've got it on my Switch and I've heard it's really good. How do we become one of those streamers who just, like, sleeps? Then you could just sleep and you get, like, 10,000 people watching? And, like, train subtrains from, like, sleeping, so. I know. Thing? Elise, did you see my new shoes? Oh, oh you didn't tell cool. me about them, though. I like yeah. them. Oh, I didn't see this. It's on the side. Oh, yeah, it's cool. cool. It's on the other side. Uh, here's the other side. Now, what does it say on the tab at the back there? I don't know. Something. General Zod says it was another good podcast. Ask away, please. All right, let me go over my dock. Creepy castle. Of questions. My dock of questions, everybody. 
And then that way I can truly relax to the max back here. Yeah. <laughs> I know we, we comes up. Lindsay and I did just like how is raising canes. So. I know. <laughs> like But I'm, I'm just... ready to party. I'm ready for Rayman. Yes, now you're yeah, going fast. I feel I feel like I just needed to be like, okay, what's Yeah. That tutorial doesn't give you a lot of like runway to like shoe stream run free. I, I also like I am not uh, a gamer who is like quick on the uptake, clearly. Mm -hmm. Like, I need uh, to play something for a little bit to. Oh, shit. Yeah, get the feel for it. Yeah. Get in the rhythm. Like, James is is a instantly intuitive. Oh, yeah, I can tell that, uh, that about him. I yeah. feel like, Jacob, you have that too. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I guess I never really mm -hmm. thought about it. For me, I'm I have a curve a curve with any kind of new game. I go, uh, wait, what's going on? <laughs> but then when I can, you know, I can really master it. <laughs> oh, I see. I don't. <laughs> I think you just gotta go for it and go to the square. Oh. <laughs> oh, that oh. Yeah, oh, I forgot it pops like, that'd like be a balloon. Too easy. Moots Ruin yeah. has gifted 10 oh Funhouse goodness. memberships. Moots Ruin, Must thanks, Moots Ruin. Rayman fan. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that. Rayman, the... Hitman. Gifted members. All right, so. Incredible. That is amazing. No, that is a very stunning. How you say? Wow, wow, wow. Oh, my God. Do you work at UB Art? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, oh, wow, wow, wow. I cannot believe the beautiful work you are doing. Oh, at least I Ooh, got that auto things. build in Zelda yesterday. Oh, you did? That oh, is okay. a game changer. It's, it sounds that way. I need to get it. I couldn't last night, but okay. Here's a great question. Yeah, yeah. Here's and whoever question. wants to go first can go first. What is the most luxurious thing in your life? Lux luxurious thing. Yes. Oh. You have something, and you go. I know it's a luxury. It's a privilege to have it. I love it. I gotta. I gotta keep it. Luxury thing. Mm -hmm. So something that like you know you... maybe it's like a, a fancy instant pot maybe it's something maybe it's like a foot bath massager hmm. maybe it's something that you know just makes your life a little easier I lot, a little better. Ryan said. Um, you, oh, you yeah, gotta watch the podcast. <laughs> I almost told you, and then I was like, "Wait, no, you gotta watch a podcast." Yeah. You know what Ryan said. Lizzie, did you answer these questions too? I or did just not. Ryan? Okay, but I could think Can you of give us something. an example. I just gave a couple of things. Oh yeah, you did. I'm, I'm trying to. Think. Maybe it's something like, you know, because it also doesn't need to be super expensive. Yeah. It just has to be something, you know, like, like hmm. one thing I think that you have that I would consider luxury is like your wireless charging mouse pad that charges that, your mouse. That feels pretty luxury. Yeah. My Gundam dunks feel just, that's, <laughs> like okay. luxury. That's luxury. Yeah, yeah. I just got that Bluetooth keyboard so I can use the <laughs> keyboard with my phone. Oh, nice. That's cool. Yeah, there's that. A fancy that. poop knife. Jesus Christ. My bidets. Poop knife. All oh, yeah. of my oh. multiple bidets. Yes, yeah, same. Bidet same. is a luxury yeah. item for sure. I mean, they're they're like cheap, tushy bidets, but oh, I love them so much. Mine are not. Mine are expensive bidets. A uh, KitchenAid uh, mixer. Yeah, that's definitely. Mm. I have one, and that feels like a luxury when I bust that out. Yeah. Or like Nespresso machine. Oh. Well, Jake was pretty flush. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think I, Jake I bought was that. Flush with luxury. I was in like I was in Big Bear with Rahul and Alana, and he, he was talking. Oh, 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 bro, you gotta get one of these Nespresso <laughs> ma machines. And we were drunk, and I bought one, and I didn't. <laughs> and it just like showed up at our house. I was like, oh fuck, did I buy this Nespresso machine? Remember we got drunk and bought you those shoes? Yes, that was the best part about those shoes. Is I didn't have to pay for them. Oh my god. That was another. That was another Rahul thing too. It's good at getting other I, people to spend money. Yeah. Don't want to put my mom on blast, but she told me that one time she kind of got a little baked. Uh huh. And she's like, well, the next day I was wondering why I had a garden herb cart and a bunch of seeds. Bunch of seeds? Because nearly, <laughs> when she got high, she was like, I'm going to oh. start gardening. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh you go, oh, going back. I tried to go back. <laughs> How do you go back? I, can't. I don't know if I don't you think can. I can. Yeah. Shit. That's okay. You can just play the level again. Expensive clothes. PS5, yeah, like a expensive console. Oh, yeah. That's oh, a piece yeah, yeah, of luxury. Yeah. yeah. I would like I wouldn't say I, you my You know what? I think my iPad's probably kind of luxurious. Oh, yeah, that's true. Having a, yeah, a type, iPad. like a an iPad is kind of luxury. Especially cuz I don't use it for anything like work related. I just like do fun things on it. Or like <gasps> cool things like the Star Wars RPG. Yeah. 
What am I doing? What am I doing? You're gaming. Oh, no, I'm game. not. I'm oh, Joseph A Silo espresso machine. <sighs> Happy Thursday, everyone. Lindsay, love the podcast since you and Ryan took over. Thank you, Joseph. We're trying to make it fun. We're going to be in a new space soon. Hey, you heard it here first, even though I think I mentioned it on the podcast today. But we're going to be in a new space. I've been painting a room. I've been, oh, I did a little it. design stuff. It looks really nice. Yeah. And it's just going to be like a cozy, non you know, stark white void. So <laughs> look forward to that. It's we've got it lit. We've just got to get some final set decoration in there, and maybe not the next episode. Maybe in like a couple weeks, I think we'll be able to start filming in there. So look forward to that. Oh, kidding me? I'm very excited. It looks look. It's, I know it wasn't even done when I looked, but it already looks really good. A dishwasher <clears> is <throat> amazing. I don't have a dishwasher anymore. Oh, it's a luxury, oh, Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had one in our last place, and but. I, I, I've actually, I don't mind just washing dishes after every meal. Let's you know what's something good. that's not very expensive that I consider a luxury <laughs> that I have? What? Is my egg cooker. Your egg cooker? Yeah, okay. wait, I think wait. it was like 25 bucks Explain. on Amazon, but you put eggs up to seven in like this little appliance. It's like a small appliance, like the size of a, a saucer. Oh, okay. oh yes, a yes, little yes. Thing. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and then you poke the top of the eggs with the, like a little <sighs> thing that it comes with. So it just makes a tiny hole. And then you fill it with a certain amount of water based on how many eggs are in there and how, if you want them soft, medium, or hard. And then you turn it and then it buzzes when it's done and they're fucking perfect every time. Mm -hmm. And it was 25 awesome. bucks, but that, my friend, is luxury. I feel like all my all my multitude of Destiny jackets just feel like <laughs> luxury. Somehow they're all in the back of my car. I think I just kept forgetting jackets at the office, so I'd grab one and then bring it into my car, and now I just got a car full of Destiny jackets. Oh my oh god! Oh my goodness! Oh, moving too fast now. Wait, what happened there? Um... An egg cooker sounds amazing, though. Mm -hmm. I have an air fryer that I love. It doubles as an instant pot. Sorry, yeah, my instant pot doubles as a mm. rice cooker. By doubles, I mean it. We only use it as a rice cooker. <laughs> I don't think we make anything else in it. Huzzah! Lizzie, you want to give us a shot? Yeah. I could, but let me get my next question lined up. Oh, my cat's auto feeder. Okay. That feels like a luxury. I don't have to do anything. To fill it back <laughs> All right. up. Jacob has an endless list. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Actually, I, a I, life I, of I luxury. Do, um... But that's what Jacob deserves. Too. Oh, I my motorcycle and sidecar. <laughs> James and I have like two cars that we share. Yeah. And I do feel like like one of them is much nicer. It's not even like that nice, but it's much it's just comparatively that much okay. nicer. And so I it is very much feels like a luxury to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because when I drive the other car, which like has broken AC and uh -huh. is like not nice and yeah, I get yeah. Like, yeah. But it's always so happy to see you when you get to drive. It's like oh my turn at last. <laughs> so is there anything I need to know about what's the strat on this? Um, I mean, it's is like, this just the second level that we're doing? It's like X to attack, B to make your little fairy friend activate What are all these things. little things? These are levels. Yeah, so there's like... Some challenges. challenges. You could change... Oh, eventually there's other characters. Oh. Um, I think there is multiplayer. Magic. We could do it. Uh, whichever Let's Toad Story is... Toad Story? Is yeah, Jump and Toad Story. Is it hard? It's got two skulls, at least. Is it hard? Uh, probably not. Or you could do Teen Season Trouble. Yeah, just to get a feel for it. Wait, wait no, we did that one. Right. Oh, cool, right. cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. you have something to open. Oops. Oh, okay. I should have done that. Yeah, but you can unlock other characters too, other than Rayman. That requires blowing water. I don't have the rice cooker. I have the instant pot. Um, here's my next question for you all. What is the best thing that happened to you last week? Last week? Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, I think oh, no, it was. Wait. We're going the wrong way. Oh, Apple you need a everywhere. paper towel. I can uh, go get one. That's okay. You can answer the question. I can go get one. <laughs> if it's a mess. Ryan flipped over okay. a whole Red Bull in a video yesterday. Yeah. Um, best thing that happened to me last week was my hands. definitely <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom coming out. Oh. I got to just stay at home and play Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I'm looking at last week. I think for me it might be Tears of the Kingdom too. Maybe the end of Jedi Survivor and then Tears of the Kingdom are tied for first for me. Um, I have to look and see what I'm happened like last up. week. You can just look it up. Um, that fish. Yeah, that might be it. Tears of the Kingdom. Easy answer. Yeah, sorry, I need to wash my hands. Yeah, of course. You just jumping? I'm trying to learn the controls. Yeah, so if you... Is it a whole day to do your little twirly head thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh. Yeah, I might go home and play this game. <laughs> Get out of the way, Zelda. Frisbee golf. Now these little wind things, this reminds me of um Ori, for sure. Of Ori, yeah. You played bo both Ori games? Yeah. I, the, the second one, like, it has so many similarities to Hollow Knight. It's crazy. Like, almost dead on similarities. The second one? Yeah. I've never played it. Second, oh, the second Ori? No. Oh, I thought you were, uh, Hollow Knight. I never played Hollow Knight. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, like, in the second Ori, there's a lot of things that are like, this is exactly like in Hollow Knight. I'm sure it's just like a coincidence and stuff, but. What are these? I guess little guys to collect. I think you get like a little bonus if you get them in order from like the pink one onwards. Oh, oh I see. Oh yeah, because they, they stay pink if you do it in order. Ooh. Oh, I missed one. Oh, this game is so pretty. Does this feel like you're playing old Rayman? The like general mechanics and vibe of it. Oh, somebody says the best thing that happened to them was the drunk stream. <laughs> Tangentially Zelda related. If I could remember more of the drunk stream, maybe yeah. it would be mine too. That was a hell of a time. Nice. Come on, get it, get it. Get get it. it. Yes. Oh. Wee. I just love how happy everybody in this game is. Mm-hmm. Even that little guy. Yeah. I like the look of him. Yeah. That frog. I like when those little guys hide behind their wooden shield and they're so happy about it. What about you, Lindsay? What was the best thing that happened to you last week? Um. Hmm. What did I do last week? Ooh, those are scary. Look at this guy. He thinks he's so safe. He's on so his tall. Stilts. Yeah. <laughs> Such a tall boy. Uh oh. How do I get that? Oh, you just gotta float. I think you don't. Yeah, easy. Oh shit. Uh oh. Howie. Oh shit. How oh. are you doing that propeller? Hold me. Oh, okay, that, I was not doing that. Look, he's lined up his swing. At all. And that. now I see the error of my ways. Oh. Oh. Couldn't hold me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> she put that on a t-shirt. Could have been holding A the whole time. Could have been holding A the whole time. You think I should try again? Yeah. 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 You just yeah. gotta catch the gust. Ow. He'll retract Breath of the Wild. Go. Oh. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I keep calling Tears of oh, the Kingdom down. Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Because to I'm... me, it's just like more Breath of the Wild. Yeah. It's the same way that like Majora's Mask is more ah! Ocarina of Time. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get this fucking coin. But it'll stick eventually. I think Breath of the Wild is just so all-encompassing. Mm -hmm. I thought I would die if I hit the water. That's why I was messing it up so bad. Oh, no, oh, I see. That remake could swim. Tears of the Kingdom is so great. I, I was saying to James that, thank God Switch has that idle mode where you can just kind of, you don't have to worry about saving. <gasps> you just sort of like yeah. let your game sit. Just because put it down. I, I oh, really- shit. Oh, got it. Yes. Like, don't. I love being able to pick it up for like ten minutes. Yeah. Or just say I'm gonna, um, I'm going to just do a shrine. And yeah. Then, or you get stuck somewhere and you're like, I need some distance from this. <laughs> I've been saying that the shrines in the game, I, I walk in feeling really stupid, yeah. And then I walk out feeling like a oh, genius. Yes. Yep. It's it's so satisfying. It is. I know it's like the last like <laughs> this stream and the last stream. It's hard not to just talk about Zelda because it's. We've just been playing. I it. need to play more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, stuff. And uh, and Ooh. I feel like I'm playing a different game than everybody else. Yeah. Here comes Charlotte. I Charlotte. think at least I think we're playing it very similarly. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Though we're just like we're just wandering around, yeah. exploring, doing shrines. I really haven't spent any time in the subterranean, <laughs> the, the cows and stuff. I have been down there a lot. <laughs> I've been oh, down there a lot. I beat Nerds this year. You beat Nerds? No, you beat Nerds? What's the uh, most luxurious thing in your life, Charlotte? The most luxurious thing in my life? Yeah. yeah. That's a good question. What's the, what's the criteria for like, do luxury? You, do you have like a really nice heated blanket, which I have? 
or something that makes me something that makes me feel luxurious. Yeah, like sure. so it could be what is it? Do I want this? Something yeah, want that, that could be like doesn't even have to be expensive. Like I brought up that I have an egg cooker and that feels like a luxury. You know, twenty five mm. bucks or something that's like. Uh, Something that might be actually luxury is like an iPad. Like I think. Yeah, I mean, I think definitely it's yes. not just the iPad. I think having a screen of every possible size and dimension. Yeah. Going from <laughs> my phone to my Switch to my iPad to my oh, laptop fuck. to my computer to my TV to the other bigger TV definitely. Yeah. Definitely yeah. a luxury. Thank God I don't have an Apple Watch. Uh, I'd be way <laughs> far gone. I have a 4K projector. I do. Ha- I'm wearing. Those oh, projector! Cool. Oh, yeah, that should be projector. up there. Just so everybody knows, the Gundams are not a luxury. Those no, are. That's, those that's are a tool. necessity. Yeah, that's a necessity. On the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're right up there with like food, Maslow, self actualization, then Gundams. Yeah. Yeah. Precisely. Maslow is a huge. Iron Blooded Orphans. Maslow is my home. Oh, he loves IBO. Yeah, Maslow's hierarchy of we could have made them look like anything. We made them look <laughs> like this. Oh, I didn't get oh, that one. Almost this one. <laughs> That's what they're saying. What's your background with this game, Trev? I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. You think it stinks? I don't think it stinks. I think yeah. it's very pretty. Oh, it was, I like the isn't it pretty? Things. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful game. Yeah, I'm not here I to didn't joke get them all, did I? True. Yeah, but you can always go back. The actual yeah. most luxurious thing in my life is my bass guitar. Oh, ah, because nice, it's yeah. so it's so nice. And you can make something beautiful with it. You can make yeah. luxury with your luxury. Not stinks. I got silver. <laughs> that get gold. You got, got green. green. <laughs> green. Oh, it's lucky. How about that? Oh, okay, lucky. All right, sure, I'll take it. Follow up question: What's the best thing that happened to you last week? Yeah. Best thing that happened to me last week. And after she answers, I will spoil what Ryan said for yeah. that one. Oh, I just edited the, I'm editing the video where you guys, well, most of you found out the namesakes of Jada, uh, Jaden and Willow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I can't believe it. That, I can't believe that is like the I most really like, 2011 yes. ass discovery. I just never thought of it. I just don't think about them. <laughs> So chat, we're, we moved, I don't even remember what the game was. But it was Star Wars. Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. And some like we're talking about how like J- Jaden or Jada and Will Smith, their kids are Jaden and Willow. Oh, it's because the main character's name is Jaden in the yeah. game. Yeah. So yeah. Jayden, like, that's how it came. And then maybe Corp? Lindsay, you were like, mm-hmm. I can't believe I've never noticed that before. And I'm like, Yeah, like Lindsay's pretty stupid. <laughs> and then Jake was like, I didn't either. And yeah. Ryan's, Ryan's like, like, What? what? <laughs> Shocker of all shockers. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Ryan is this in, the in this level? series is so interesting because he's m- more out of his no, element no. than I've ever sure? seen him, but he's mm-hmm. also giving 150% <laughs> yeah. at every moment. Oh, it gets even Jacob, more so. Jacob, it looks so. the same. Lindsay, look at this one. No, it's a new level. Are you sure? sure you have I'm not your sure. The background's different. Yeah, the background's different. The music is different. <gasps> look, look at that guy. Free. Oh. oh, yeah, it's the same level. You did this already. Because okay. you already had most of the... back out? Uh, rest or exit level. Exit level. Okay. I don't remember anything that Xbox happened help. last week. Uh, what about Tears of the Kingdom? That's what we said. Yeah, <laughs> we just said Zelda. That happened to us. And it didn't even happen to us. Yeah. It had to go on this one, right? It happened yeah. for us. Yeah. yeah. You know what's funny is like I found like uh, some weird route that I took that made me way into the sky, and then I went to the Rito, the Bird Village. That's where I am and, right now. But the way I got there was I accidentally happened upon it, and I was like. Oh shit! And I glided to it, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna run to the base like the way I was like supposed to come, yeah. just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And it turns out like the newspaper office is down there. Yeah. But when I got down to the bottom island on the other side of the broken bridge, I was like, <laughs> I'm not gonna let a broken bridge fool me. And I actually oh. did have a sensation of, wow, I'm so much smarter than everyone else. Yeah. But like the game is is allowing that to happen. Back it's in my <laughs> day, Zelda was linear, and we were grateful to have it. Okay? You know? You kids with your open world Zeldas think you're so fucking <laughs> smart because you know how to get somewhere. I'm in my 20s. Oh, good for you. I'm young. It's my Christian Bale yelling at the DP. Oh, good, oh, good for, for you. you. Oh, shit. Lindsay, I like this strategy. What? Uh, we keep dying. Oh my God. It's pretty close to our Elden Ring That's stream, vicious. actually. What's well, not vicious? You know, my, the best thing that happened to me last week I think was it's Charlotte really cool was not on the stream. I think it's cool that she keeps fucking up. <laughs> you want to know what Ryan said? Yeah, yeah. what Ryan he said. He said, normally on Tuesdays he goes to the, do this comedy thing. He's like, but the best thing uh, that happened to him last week is he went to your show. 
Aww. Aww. Yeah. How you feel now? <laughs> Great. You're still doing a bad job at the game. Well, if, <laughs> well, if you ask that on uh, next week's podcast, then I would say it was Charlotte's show because I went this week and okay, it was so awesome. We'll reconvene next yeah. Thursday. Okay. I think. Do I gotta like? Um, looks jump not. Up and oh, hey, you're frogman. Hit B. Uh, oh. I never played a Zelda game before Breath of the Wild. Really? Me neither. I mean, I honestly, the most I had played of one is probably like a couple Ooh, hours here and there shoot. on the NES. Oh wow! wow. I know. So, yeah. Like, I wanted to always play Wind Waker, but I just never, I just never got it. Yeah. And I got the like collection that had the originals and uh, Majora's Mask, Ocarina, and maybe Link to the Past. Yeah. Skyward Sword is on the Switch, and it's way more fun to play on that. Is it good? No, it's not a good game. Yeah. I I I never finished it. It was it was uh, a real disappointment when it came out. But to what Jacob's saying, I can imagine why it would be better without the motion. Without the fucking motion. Oh yeah, I mean I heard about that. I hated playing it on the Wii. Uh, Also, Link is left-handed. Yeah. Also, Twilight Princess is such an amazing game. I've heard I've heard mid reception. About that one. Well, people criticize Wind Waker too, but now I think retroactively. Well, no, they as well in addition to. to Cause that would Princess. be huge if there was a sequel to <laughs> oh, that game. Yes, well, no one had heard about I it. I mean, like, kind of in a sense, I would say that Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks are, you know, in the same universe as Wind Waker. Yeah, and they have same, the same style. Like, yeah, like uh, uh, big kitty baby bullshit. But they're great. They're good games. I now that I have this new Switch, because I got the OLED, and uh, it's. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just seeing that it's a thing that opens its mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna, I wanna maybe play that Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, yeah. Uh, a little. Uh, I did hear Those that are, the tilt shift gives the system a really difficult time. Those now. are good. What's this? Secret? Yeah. yeah, it's got that it's little claymation. Yeah. Uh, like Rankin, Rankin and Bass. Oh, yeah, that, that game is yeah. awesome. It's good. It's a really, really neat game mm-hmm. I just with need, a fun mechanic. Yeah. There's so many things I need to finish though. Yeah. With video games. So yeah. I can't be like out here just, I don't I know. I, it's nice to have a Switch that I actually like to play handheld. Twilight Princess was amazing because it also felt like a darker take on Zelda. Yeah. Which was really cool. Time. Which is Twilight. It's, uh, yeah. it's about well, to get very Zelda dark at that moment. traditionally used to have the light world and the dark world concepts, which I always really liked. Did I already say this? That was such a cool okay. thing because there's the uh, the amiibo for uh, Midna and the wolf, and you could use that in Breath of the Wild to get the wolf. Oh, yeah. As like a little dog companion yeah. who would fight with you and stuff. But they would die sometimes, and I would be like, oh. Shit. Yeah. So I wouldn't use it very often. I never used it in the game, I just had the amiibo. Yeah. Well, now I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Just put an icicle oh, on top God. of a stick and just launched it at a guy last yeah. night and froze him. That rocks. Oh, but imagine if you had a mechanic where you could. Move between the light and the dark world to solve puzzles. I Metro wish I had Prime a mechanic two. for all the cars I'm making. Uh, in shit. Tears of the Kingdom. Talk. I, I'm definitely not playing that game the way that they want you to play it, which is like you're constantly making stuff and engineering things. I keep forgetting that I can make things, but I'm like, I would rather just like glide and jump. And yeah, I'm like, I just want to ride a horse through here. The problem no, is, I, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting ascend is a thing. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Zelda yeah. feels like cheating. I'll uh-huh. build a big stupid contraption to get me up on top of something, yep. and then somebody will be like, you know, you can just. I mean, building the contraptions is like the like most obvious like part of the game, but ascend and the time tool are so powerful. I haven't even because I feel way too stupid to use. I'm getting spoilers here. Do you have the auto build function yet? No, not yet. I I was telling Jacob about that because I had read an article on like Polygon or somewhere. Rebecca Valentine wrote it about this. You need to get the auto build function because you don't realize what a game changer it is, and Jacob said he got it. And, and it is and a game changer. Apparently he was telling me this morning. Because now I'll actually make cool little things because I can just make them again. Like, just on, whenever yeah. I want. I mean, I'm going to be making that. I just need to get a, a dispenser for the Joy-Con thing. Yeah. So whenever uh, I definitely... The Joy-Con? The, uh, not, That's sorry, a, not the Joy, the Joystick oh. that you yeah, steer Yeah, the control with. objects. Wait. I need that and batteries. Wait, what? There's the, like a... An attachment? It's oh, like a segue where you stand at it and you steer and you can like move back and forth and you don't have to hit stuff to start it. Like if you put like wheels and rockets on a thing, but then there. you put you this like there. control stick like on top of a segue, oh, yeah, smack you can that. just... Oh, you're trying to get like the one up there. I, I was trying to get that I one can actually, there. I, probably, I, oh, I re-downloaded TikTok I just up. to watch clips of Tears of the Kingdom and it's been a tremendous decision. I've been trying to like not watch anything anyone else is doing. Oh my, I watched to, like, so much. So I'm trying to like 
have like as little outside influence to my Zelda experience yeah. as possible. Well, I've I've barely gotten like, gotten to play because I just haven't had time. Yeah, yeah. I also I'm more so trying not to feel insecure about how I'm playing it. I feel the same way because I'll see what people have made. I'm like, well, I made a car with one yeah. wheel on it. Yeah, I'm like I'm like <laughs> I put a rock on a stick. Yeah, <laughs> I clean myself with a rag. You guys, on you guys need to get Shit. right with yourselves. So you I haven't even figured out TikToks. how to like. So now that like, how do you attach the leaf to the stick? Fuse. I don't fuse have fuse. Ability, you will. Oh, you will. Oh yeah, you just gotta. Keep Isn't that going. the first thing that fuse you get? Fuse you should have immediately. You definitely. Yeah, have but that. okay. So oh, sorry. It would let me attach it, but then how do you pick it up? What are you talking about? What? Like, I got a leaf, and it's like you can okay. attach it to a stick and make so a fan. So you have to drop it on the ground, and then. While holding your weapon, you don't attach them together on the ground. You have to keep the weapon in your hand. Oh. And then yeah. you, it would be easier to explain if you oh, had no. your like, switch in your hand, which I didn't bring it with me today. Your switch. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, shit. We were talking about how we have a, we'll show a clip maybe after Rayman of the new uh, Hudson Builders. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, oh, wait, wait till I get in here. I wanna, I wanna watch. Yeah, yeah. Put rockets on shields. Yeah, I've done that. Are you Do some just of looking this stuff? at stuff? <laughs> TikTok. Yeah. Oh, it makes me feel so. so uh, I tried it last night, and I popped it, and God. it just exploded and went away, and then I fell to my death. When I, uh, I'm trying to find a, an example like of this. the joystick. I'm, I'm excited for the auto builder because now, when I inevitably, I will make a Gundam. Yes. And I will Especially be able with the to deploy the, it. Uh, stable, the uh, Elliot Stablers. Yeah, whenever, whenever that ends up, I get all those goodies. I will make a Gundam in Zelda, and I will use it to fight Ganon. Ah! Midnight Tooth. Cross okay, okay, the This is the. It's really simple. It's not gonna make you self-conscious. It's like the. Okay, I don't know why it's just so stylized. That. <laughs> I don't have that yet. I don't have it either, but like, Jesus Christ. Terry Tim, what the hell are these places? I don't know, but you just, steering stick, I guess is what it's called. I feel like I'm gonna be playing <sighs> this game for a year. Yeah, yeah. Like, as the pace I'm going at, I am and what I so like glad I finished Elden Ring before it came out, because having both of them in my mind would have been awful. <laughs> it was very difficult on Tuesday when we played Elden Ring for the stream that we all were on Zelda Brain. Yeah, we all kept like rolling and dodging and pulling things out of the wrong time. Well, also yeah. guys, the Gollum game comes out next, next Thursday. Week? We're streaming that. We're streaming it? Ah! As you said when you slacked me about I'm it. Back here, to, you fucking we wanted to, me? How'd you How'd you put it? To show our quality. Show its quality, yeah. <laughs> yes, of course, yeah. To do your part. You guys should uh, do like a, oh my like a meal plan, like a menu. To accompany it with like, oh. uh, like, just uh, animals raw and like, wrinkling. Yeah, raw right. <laughs> and no potatoes. But you're always asking, what is taste? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Abrasive conies. That would that would Abrasive be delicious. Abrasive conies. Yeah. yeah. Sir Topher James will be on his way to the stream. It's true. He'll be here for the hit. For man. a different game. Yeah. yeah. The, hit, the hitted man. Yeah. The man of the hit, not of the ray. <laughs> not as good a game. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is. Even Jeez. Zelda. Zelda can't beat this. <laughs> Maybe I'm not getting the full potential of the game because I'm watching. <laughs> I think Jacob and I live in it. Is she still playing? You playing with that behind your head? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god, you're a pro. You you're... look like you're about to just trebuchet this, that look, at the I've TV. I've been doing this, and this is the best that I've done so far. It's true. I want to go the it other way. It makes you way. seem disinterested. Do you think there's something I can go in that way? <laughs> what? What did that thing ever oh, do? Oh, over there. You? Yeah. Um. Don't. Oh, maybe you can like wall jump Shit. and stuff, so you might be able to test it. I can't believe I wasn't holding A that whole time. <laughs> well, I don't think there was a lot of vents that you would have had no. to use. Oh, Lizzie's secret. Wow, look at that. I'm a fucking gamer. Well, I don't think you should hit A. Lizzie it's it's not freaking A, man. <laughs> that's my. That's what I call my brother. Oh, shit. Oh, right. No! Not the beast. A, man. No! Did it start me all the way fucking no, back here? No, it didn't. <laughs> okay, it put you a little bit back. A little bit back? It put me back. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is the music that plays in Ryan's head when he walks. <laughs> There's a tuba. <laughs> he's, got that, he's got that gate. He's got quite a gate. Okay. 
Jacob was making a thumbnail for this stream, and I asked that he put my facial features on the hitman's head. <laughs> yeah. Not where, not over his facial yeah. features, just on the forehead. <laughs> yeah, it's just <laughs> Charlotte's eyes and lips. Makes me really happy. On Agent 47's forehead. Oh, <gasps> shit! Oh, it popped like a balloon. Oh, no. <laughs> Did she do that before? No, that's new. Why are there two pairs of shades there? <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you keep, keep throwing? There's another just pair of sunglasses down there. Just keep getting there. mad. That's very strange. It's like the prestige. Those are there from when I was trying to find something to prop up uh, the mirror on, on the couch when I was trying to do the Star Wars stream. Oh, and Minch was watching uh, A right, New Hope. Right, yeah. The worst thing about working here is no one takes my bait to talk about the prestige. It's tempting. Oh, excuse it's me? Tempting. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> ma'am, madame. Madame. If you're going to talk to anyone about the prestige, you come to me. I was just pointing <laughs> out that, that duplicated object makes me think of. We need a little. Tesla's we, top we need a metal cage. Alice, that all, we can smash. All, all my new cage. cage has got a bird in it. We but need, it's attached we to your sleeve and it breaks people's fingers. Cats. <laughs> See, the part of the trick that people don't expect is when you kill the bird. I love Christian Bale's accent in that movie. He's talking like oh, yeah. this all the time. I'm going to do a bit of magic little, for you. I'm always telling people to go live for both of us now. Am I going in here? <laughs> go <laughs> live for nice. both of us is so good. I, like, well, that's like Vin Diesel on the premiere of Fast 10 saying, we're living in the same miracle. Oh. We're living the same miracle. <laughs> Oh my God. Will you be watching the new Fast and Furious movie? I don't think I'll be going to the theater to see it. I, I am unfortunately what I was anticipating has happened is they lost me. I, think, I, like, I might still watch it, but there's just just too much good shit. And I gotta keep the, the Sunday scaries rocking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they just so got man. like too dumb for me. I mean they just they lost it's not even tongue in cheek. It's just like I don't even know. It's just oh, shit. <gasps> losing the rock was a huge uh Detriment. Yeah, but now he can go and make Moana. Which is he, can, he can go make Moana, Moana real Moana. Yeah. Is he doing that? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they, they, they cast the crab from Little Mermaid. The, the real <laughs> crab they used. This that looks I gotta up. get that guy. I hope, Shit. I hope Jermaine is just like his character from Avatar instead of the mm -hmm. uh, the crab that oh, he James plays in I was Moana. watching a, a video today about the, the pool that they built to shoot the, the oh. underwater photography. It's That's really so cool. amazing. I saw that on like, TikTok. It's so yes, yeah. immersive. That's where I was watching it, yeah. yeah. Welcome it's back so, to TikTok. It's, uh, I saw that a couple months ago. Really? <laughs> 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 but it was a very cool video. I hate being back on TikTok. I don't like it Because a bitch is like me. Because a bitch is like Lindsay. I just go on to see what Lindsay and John and Tara send me on TikTok, which is all quality stuff. Yeah, you had sent me a video recently. I did, yeah. I was like, oh, it was a dog, right? It was I just like a dog barking it. or something. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's good stuff. That's good yeah. shit. Ooh. I mean, I think... Charlotte, if you're back, I'll send you TikToks. No. It's like, please don't. I don't want TikTok sent to me. What What's his problem? Oh, he's he's I murdering don't, that I don't guy over there. TikToks. No, they're not TikToks of me. No, I know. I just, I don't, I'll see you on Instagram. I don't want, I don't want three weeks. I, don't want <laughs> I like watching my cringe talks on Fave TikToks 420. I do like that. Those are you, fantastic. You showed me that stuff. Yeah. It's Sometimes old. I'll just like make. I'll just. <laughs> I'll just know that somewhere Patrick is fuming because of four things I sent him. We gotta do something about that frog over there. Just just stomping on that poor guy. He's standing his ground. Uh, oh! <laughs> both ends. Getting it from both hands. Rayman. Both big gloved hands. Oh, there's something behind that leaf? You got a gold coin? Yeah, I got the gold coin. I want to get to a boss level so we can hear that music. Oh, you know, they, they had a different title oh. for the Elton John biopic before it was Rocket Man. What was it? It was Gay Man Legends. Wow. Rocket Man! We were doing a lot of uh, ah! Dark Lord of the oh, Sith shit. puns oh, yesterday uh, for a Star Wars video that were pretty unspeakable. <laughs> Darth Brooks. Yeah, the, <laughs> <laughs> there's some that were like almost interchangeable. Unclear who the audience shit. was for any of them. And... Somebody out there will be glad that we said okay. them. It's a big question for the yeah. cast. Do you think with the rise of AI that some parts of your jobs will become obsolete? I mean, I don't think Alan Iverson will be learning to video edit, but 
it could happen. Hey, maybe he's looking for a career oh, change. Shit. He might be. I mean, he he, he perfected his last one. I would guy? hate to oh see God. what he could do in Adobe Premiere. <laughs> Can't handle me. I'm too good. <laughs> Nothing but net. Internet. This ah, oh, so like... I missed one? <laughs> nice. I missed Ooh. one? What's this? A trophy that I gotta find? <laughs> Damn, at least yeah. you got handles. I'm all about those hoops Holy shit, yeah. You know? <laughs> You wanna keep playing? I gotta go to a meeting, everybody. Playing, is that what she's throwing? No, I can't I can't take the I'm controller. Beating. I can't, I'm I'm I can't take the controller after so ruthlessly dunking on Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would die and just yeah, you don't wanna that. embarrass anyone. Lindsay, go to your meeting. I'll live for both of us. I'll be back when it's over. I mean when the meeting's yeah, over. Yeah, you don't you don't start Rayman Legends streams, you finish them. Yeah. I started. Fiesta de los Muertos. Oh. Dios mío, mi corazón. It should be Ari Rayman for the sun. Oh. Adios. We reach first level of awesomeness. Or no, king. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Soul is sun, isn't it? Toad, totally sorry. Well, sun let's go to Fiesta de los Muertos. Bye, everybody. Oh, my ride. Your wheels. Oh, yeah, I forgot those are in here. Get your motor running. We got something here. <laughs> Hit it on the highway. Oh. Scratch me, baby. Ooh, this is fun. Oh, fine. that's great. What a uh, nice touch. That's fun. 500 lums. 500 lums. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can get it. Oh, new... the, the music there reminded me of um, the Mario Sunshine uh, level in the trees at night. Oh, mm. where you've got to like, get the chain did chomp did into the bath, and it's did like. Did it, did it, did it, did it. It's like really pleasant. Oh, no, no, I was wrong. You're at right. At first, it's really scary. Hold on, what's it called? That part of the map. Um, it's like, it's like Pianta Village or something like that. I'm a chicken. What's well, another amazing game? Well, not everybody, everybody no, nobody likes the GameCube, but we look back at all these amazing games. There's a yeah. lot of good games Tack on the GameCube. Tack 2 and the Power of the Power of Dreams. Tack, oh, that was, was the name of the second Tack one? Tack and the Power of Juju. Yeah. You got your Wind Waker, your Twilight Princess. I actually watched a cutscene from Tack and the Power of Juju recently. Why? Is it uh, a two-headed thing? No, it was when uh, Patrick Warburton's character gets diarrhea. Forgot he was in that. Hey. Yeah. Hey, it's like, I gotta got save the poop and new new people. You got some wet wipes in there? Yeah. Okay, so it is Pianta Village. Well, that's the first one. That's wrong, too. It's just the same song for half an hour? <laughs> Got a reddish. How oh, you go fast in this game? Noki Bay was my least favorite, but also the most interesting. Noki Bay? Uh, hold, oh, yeah. Uh, left of, trigger. Yeah, the poison run. water. Yeah, that was pretty gross. Can you run as a chicken? At Noki Bay, you had to clean that fish's e uh, teeth. Remember that? No! Yeah, that's it. Shit. Great game. We, Luigi's Mansion is so good. Yeah. I never actually finished three. Zach, oh, Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion. I should three play that great. again. I never finished it either. And when I turned on my Switch, I was like, oh yeah, I was really enjoying Luigi's Mansion. 3. It was, it was great from yeah. like start to finish. Well, that was one of those games that uh, was one of the ones that came out right before COVID. Yeah. And so I had no excuse to not finish it. We were busy in Animal Crossing. No, I, was, uh, I didn't get shit done at Animal Crossing. I was just thinking the other day about how glad I was that that game existed during the pandemic. Animal Crossing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I played Satisfactory. Whee! Oh, well, cool I should there. go back and uh, edit, considering I'm going to be in here for the next one. Cool. Jacob and I got this. Yeah. We've been waiting for this for a long time. I wasn't saying that you didn't. Oh my god. Go Charlotte, live game. for both of us now. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> yeah. I've got a brother. I've got a brother, looks, don't it, I? Does it, I? He looks like me. Good for you. Good for you. Live for both of us. Oh, they're looking at the lights. I love the, um, it's Hugh Jackman, right? Yeah. He plays the other one. I think it'd be funny if that were Bradley Cooper. <laughs> that would elevate he's so, him, sure. he's such a shit. Like I was watching a clip from American Hustle, which is a movie I wish I could enjoy, but now I know too much about oh, David yeah, O. Russell. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
But yeah, Bradley Cooper. Oh, he was just in an episode of SVU. Bradley Cooper? Yeah, it was him, and he was the lawyer of Alfred Molina. Post Whoa. Spider-Man 2, Alfred, Alfred Molina 2, playing wow. a, a rich savant um, who's focused on his research. What tomatoes? Like, ah, I have to go to Green Greenboro and get the, it's meatloaf night, meatloaf night. I don't eat the green beans. I don't like green. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, and you'll like this. There was an episode with Martin Short. Oh, what did he do? Everybody he was show. he was playing a psychic named Sebastian Ballantyne. <laughs> Ballantyne. And he's like a detective. I think you'll find that your perp, your victim, will be found under flowing water. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. Fuck. I love when they have on um, guests who play real sleaze bags, mm-hmm. <laughs> like just pedophiles. Yeah, yeah it's like you want to be SVU, SV, you're going to be a murderer pedophile. Are you coming to my little event? Did I tell you about it? No. Oh, we're going to have finger foods and watch my fate. I have picked out a selection and it's called Law and Order Herbs. Is this actually happening? Is yeah, it will. Real? I have a list of, of six or seven that episodes sounds great. that I'm gonna pick from. That sounds fantastic. I'm gonna just go to Trader Joe's, clean them out. Well, everybody, you should just tell everybody like that's coming, bring a hors d'oeuvre option. You know, you make one or two, but then. The problem is I'm just so desensitized to the violence and uh, depravity, depravity in the show is that I need to make sure I pick episodes that are not Complete bummers. <laughs> uh, no, I love bummer shit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, as long as everyone's chill with it. I love bummer shit. Fucking shit ass. We should also do a Seventh Heaven. I've never <laughs> Seventh watched Seventh Heaven. Heaven. I haven't either. But now, I guess, I TikTok, there's, like, there's a person on TikTok that they do these, like, dissecting the plots of Seventh Heaven episodes, which are insane. They're crazy. What is Seventh Heaven ab- about? It's like, Where it's did like it a air? religious family. Where, but where did it air? Uh, I'm not really sure. Because I feel like that tells you more than any other information. They're great. It just if you look up like Seventh Heaven on TikTok, you'll Oh my god. Why would be? I feel like I'm across them. Mermaid Kid from the thirteenth year was on SVU. I mean <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of a rite of passage for well, definitely any New York based actor. But um okay hold on. They don't tell you is when you join SAG, you have to go do an episode of Law and Order. It's on the CW. Okay, that tells me a lot. Oh yeah, there's a new Must Be Dice series. Yeah. Cashbone mentioned it. Yeah. Uh, I saw the subreddit talking about it. How did they know? Fuck. There was a promo that went up in the finale of the most recent season. <laughs> so yeah, it's called Barbie Didn't Do It, and Barbie's been accused of murdering her new boyfriend Kenneth. It was so fun. I'm very excited. You're, you for and it. Lindsay are cracking me up in it. They're uh I'm cutting episode two, and I forgot that at the beginning you guys were doing the like wheel thing. You'll see it. You'll see it in the edit. I'm very excited. I got I got to play something uh, which was an absolute fool, <laughs> which I feel like I don't let myself do a lot. Oh, it was great though. I'm not I, saying that I'm very smart, but I, like a complete dollar. But I do think you have to be as a performer smart to be able to play so stupid. Yeah. And make yeah. You have to, it's, it's hard to it was hard to achieve things when your character is that dumb. Yeah. You're like. Uh, it's like, yeah. how do I accomplish stuff? Yeah, well, yeah. Also especially when, inco- especially when there was just two of us, it's like, okay, I can't make Lindsay move us forward. Oh Lindsay. yeah, Jessica Lansbury is the mom in that in episode. I haven't gotten to the Robin Williams episode I keep yet. accidentally wall jumping. I should just skip to a musical level. We're gonna be watching the Henry Winkler album. That one's on Oh, there. let's do it. And then it's followed immediately, chronologically, by the Mary Steenburgen episode, but that one's a bummer. Ted Danson? Ted Danson is not in it, but um Whatever, I give Oh, what the fuck is her name? From the Goonies and the Boys. She plays the woman that rips her hair out in the boys if you've seen it. Oh her. yeah, yeah. I just saw a clip of her. I don't remember the actress's name though. No. She's got a goofy last name. I didn't I only watched some of the first season of the boys. James watched the rest of it. I like the boys. I think you said the season was better than the last. I think when I realized it wasn't just violent for violence sake, because I thought it was just edgy. When yeah. I first started start seeing materials about it, I was like, I'm not interested in whatever the fuck this is. But then when I watched it, I was like, oh, okay. So it's, it actually has something to say. Yeah. And it is it is funny. And I like um, I like young Quaid. Young Quaid. Quaid. <laughs> oh, fuck. You're doing good work out there, Jacob. Thank you, thank you. Uh-oh. This is just cool. <laughs> it's close. 
Oh, oh, oh. You were confusing Jessica Fletcher and Angela Lansbury. Easy, easy Her mix character up. character in Murder, she wrote. Matlock is back. Matlock is back. With Kathy Bates as, I think, the <sighs> granddaughter of Matlock? Interesting. I don't, know, I don't know, it's either daughter or granddaughter. I love Matt. Matlock is one of my favorite recurring Simpsons jokes. When whenever they need to like wrangle the senior citizens, yeah, so we'll drive by <laughs> Matt Matlock is on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We do have to see one of the music levels before we stop playing. Yes, definitely. I can load my own save too, which is very Big old. Big man on campus. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, I gotta run. Uh. Are by chance either of you listening to, or did you listen to the first episode of the limited series Conan O'Brien is doing for the the Hans and Franz movie? Script? <laughs> no, but I'm going to. What ever is Hans since and you mentioned Franz? It. The first episode is great. Uh, it, there was an SNL sketch from the early '90s with Kevin Nealon and Dana Carvey where there were bodybuilders, Hans and Franz. <laughs> it was basically an Arnold Schwarzenegger spoof. Like we want to pump you up. Oh, yes. And right. I suppose in the 90s, Conan, Robert Smiley, and uh, Kevin Nealon and Dana Carvey wrote a script for a movie, like a feature, that never got made, but they're doing a full read-through of it. And, That's really and funny. It's, it's, it's so silly. Yeah. So the first episode, they cover, um, not, the, not the first act, but they, a good good chunk of it, and it's... It's real goofy, like, and the Conan O'Brien's fun with it because he doesn't remember so much of it, so he's like rehearing it for the first time. Yeah. That's great. I, I love that. Yeah, I'll have to check that out this weekend because it sounds great. Here, I'm gonna go see if I can go to a musical level before the show is still here. Such a gem. Let's see. Do I get to pick what save, or did I just erase the old one? The only <laughs> SNL character movie that never got made. Yeah. Oh, right. You just you do have to spend those to open it, or like what? I don't remember. You just have to have that many to, to open it. To get to the next level. Let's see what I gotta do to go to the. Musical. <laughs> oh, Brad this, this is a many seated bicycle. <laughs> this up. is making me think of Fiesta Jacob. Fiesta Jacob. That's we went right. to lunch a week or two ago, and Jacob got this Fiesta platter. Cause it was on the, it was like, everything was pretty cheap for the lunch like menu, but he decided to get something that was still like $17 after the discount. Yeah. And it was like, Oops. it was like flautas and uh, rice and beans, but then also like wings were on the side. There's a couple and wings. Then, yeah, oh, it was just like, it was just piled high with shit and like. It was way too much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But Fiesta Jacob is, is something I'm very invested in. Oh, you'll in go now. back and they'll see, you'll see that they changed it on the menu to be called the Fiesta, Fiesta Jacob. Jacob. Yep. Yeah. And I'll order it every time. I did see the trailer for it's called, new It's show. called Jacob's Platter. <laughs> Richard That's Wright, very good. it ain't wrong to become a member of Fun Health Club. Let's see. Making me thirsty selling all this, all this product. <sighs> I worked at a Panera knockoff once and we ran out of lettuce, so they made me go to a different location in Philadelphia to go get more. And then I grabbed the bags of lettuce and turned around to leave. And the manager of the store went, wait, and grabbed the bag and shook it out and said, put it in here. I don't want the customers to see the product. And I was like, so oh stupid. What the hell? God. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, Jacob Smith, like, first time I've gotten to tune into a live stream. The weirdest, the weirdest people. In it's the like world. we're all gonna die someday, and you're worried about the Game customer froze. seeing the product. Yeah. Lettuce, lettuce, <laughs> shredded, lo sh shredded yeah. romaine. Isn't that bleak? I um. Thanks, guys. That's a Brad order a <laughs> no, clam they're, bucket. They're getting, getting me on the Jacob's platter. Oh, it's very good. oh I see. I what see. Bucket? Like Jacob's ladder. Oh yeah, I saw yes. uh, my brother Brad order a clam bucket. It. Down at the pier uh, for a lunch on the weekend. My brother Brad. My brother yeah. Brad, clam Brad bucket. got his clam bucket. That's just a uh, that's a uh, Jeff Bridges and True Grit. My brother Brad got a clam <laughs> bucket. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and what going. did he do with the clam bucket? Oh, he ate oh, all his clams. Oh. Look at Rescue out. Aurora. New character. Wasn't there something else? Melania. Cool you were saying your brother was doing. Oh, he's spear fishing, which is mm -hmm. pretty sick. Ex Fearless Nomad, thank you for such a generous gesture. Along, yeah, thank you. Along the line of uh, 
how unfortunate it is to hear about the don't show the products. I just re I realized today I'm like, why do I take the the term lifestyle brand for like as a fact? Like that's a weird made up thing. Yes. Lifestyle brand. Yeah. Wh what? Mostly just made up for advertisers. The only lifestyle brand is Kirkland. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, that is a brand that you can truly comfortably live your entire life only buying that. Yeah. Hendy, welcome. Fucking shit. Hendy. I think my brain is too slow for this game now. I played it so, so long ago. Oh. Never mind. Oh, thanks, Sean. Yeah, there's there's a lot of cool stuff coming out of Ship Hits the Fan. Some big, some big stuff. Big ol' you big stuff. You big with this. <laughs> you big with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I should be editing, but it's so fun to hang out here and talk. Yeah. It is. I mean, that's every stream I'm on. I should be editing, but I ain't. <laughs> I've unlocked 20,000 lums under the sea. I'll check it out later. Oh, hello, the tail. <laughs> oh, I'm Aurora now. Cool. I need to find a musical level. Mm -hmm. Ray Woman Legends? Whoa. <laughs> that progressive. <laughs> I'll speed run these. This is a game I would never play. And, <laughs> and uh, will never play. It was one of the greatest games ever made. It is pretty awesome. Of its time. Oh, Painted frog here for the, the first Funhouse live stream. Oh, there's been a couple of those in there. After five years? Wow. You might to be fair, we, we, we really just, there's an uptick in the past four months. Yeah, for sure. There we go. Get up there. Yeah, leave that little guy alone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> No, I am hitmanning. I'm just gonna be behind on my edit. <laughs> That's just how it works here. Yeah. Big part of my job is getting <laughs> people to be on these streams instead of getting work done. So uh, yeah, Jacob's like a he's like a temptress. He's like come into the stream. Yes. Yeah. So at three o'clock Pacific, we're doing Hitman. Two thirty. Two thirty. Oh, in twenty minutes. I mean, we can. We can. Oh, okay. This yeah, we can do whatever game. we want. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can, yeah, I can wait. I can wait a few more minutes before I'm berated for wanting to play this game again. <laughs> Although the stream, the stream's probably not going to be as much leaning into that bit. Yeah, I know. Without Patrick here too. Hitman, yeah, just like it seems like it'd be fun for a stream. It is fun for a stream. Yeah, yeah. once. Oh, oh god, oh god, I'm too slow. I'm boop over to. So, um, oh, first of all, uh, Ecliptic Inva uh, Evader, we did do Edmund Fitzgerald. It's, uh, I think, episode eight, or the la end of season one. Or no, episode 12, I guess it would be. Gordon Lights have just died. Yeah, all right. Hey. Oh, that's about her. It's uh, one of your countrymen, yes? Yeah, Haven was supposed to be touring this year, and so I was like, maybe I should go see Gordon Lightfoot. And then tour got canceled. Aww. Any idea when the next Sonic stream is? I just have to know what's going to happen next in the quote unquote story. Toasty13 well, the... wants to know. Those are streams that uh, it's always James and Patrick. So when Patrick goes back, Sonic will return. Too much depends on Patrick's return. We had to put so much shit on hold. I don't need him. You don't need him. You're better off without him. Yeah. That's not true. <laughs> but Sonic will return, Toasty13. That is true. I don't, I've been doing what a show without him. Oh. And I don't like it. It'll be exciting when he's back. He's not coming back. Mm. I've seen oh. to that. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not trying, okay. I don't want to just bit loosely because he is coming back. I, don't wanna, I know how people quickly people run with things. Yeah, there'll be a Reddit thread. Patrick not returning? Patrick gone? Forever? Patrick Lee? Where Patrick? Um, no, I just, I don't know. I didn't even do what a show last night because I was just so tired and needed to get food and those Tuesday shows. You got to play Zelda. I did play Zelda and I did watch, 
I, I'm slowly catching up on Succession. Oh, Are you watching on a cake. Succession? Episode three of this season? The episode? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. pretty great. Jazzo, thank you. I still haven't watched any Succession. Are you watching the other show? The what? The other two seasons? The, the, no, no, sorry, I sorry. No, I know, oh, I, I know what it is. The Chris Kelly show. I haven't seen it, but I love Drew Tarver. It's, it's... A bug. Oh! <laughs> it's <laughs> it was a bug. It's an incredible comedy. I, I've, I've, I've heard really good things. The next thing I'm gonna watch is Barry. I need to watch the new Barry. Oh yeah, I gotta watch Barry. I gotta watch the last season of Better Call Saul. He's that lawyer. Well, we're gonna need a lot to watch because this writer's strike. I hope they come to a deal, but I am also curious to see what kind of depraved reality TV we'll get. ABC just announced their fall lineup and it's all reality television. They don't plan to release any that scripted content until at least mid-season, if that. Somebody's gonna try to make some AI garbage, right? I mean, uh, I hope not. But I hope not they're gonna, too, I would not be surprised. Some, gonna somebody's to gonna try. I hope the writers get everything they ask for and deserve. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Shouts out to, there's a, there's a meetup of, of trans uh, strikers, picketers outside the Netflix building today. I couldn't go, but um, shouts out to all, all the cuties. Shouts out. All the trans, <laughs> all the trans cuties of the of the WGA. All the cakes gonna eat me. Medela Citizen, so generous of you, so sweet. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Medela Aww. Citizen. Please, should you be picketing? I'm not in the WGA. <laughs> I like that it's like I I stand you know with 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 all the strikers very pro union but then like the second my brain is like maybe you could be in the union I'm like that could never happen <laughs> maybe one day I would pick it with them yeah I, I wish I had gone to Netflix today oh. maybe I'll stir maybe I'll stir the pot. Ooh. Start getting a rooster teeth union together. Ooh. Get that, way, that, pot. that way there could be some checks and balances before tweets get sent out. <laughs> That'd be helpful. <laughs> That'd be a good thing to have, I think. <laughs> You'd think we already have it because we do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan <laughs> What's the Big Mac sauce cup? The what? <laughs> what? Oh, is that like a soccer tournament? What the hell, Rayman? Try the new Big Mac sauce cup. Sauce cup. I don't want to drink a cup of that shit. What is a sauce cup? Big Macs are disgusting. That's not true. First of all. Also, McDonald's has gotten saltier. Have they? Right. I really don't eat McDonald's much anymore. I mean, I barely do, but I went and got some when we were uh, with the band driving to Arizona, because that's when you get McDonald's. Yeah. And uh, should land, right, Jay? But yeah. Yeah, I just didn't think I was gonna make it. Oh god, bugs. Bugs are in the cake. The bugs are in the cake! <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, McDonald's? Oh, yeah, it's definitely, it's gotten saltier. I gotta Google this Big Mac sauce cup. I got McDonald's after the drunk stream. <gasps> Who's that oh, lurking in the corner? Speaking of Big Mac sauce cups. Speaking Big of Mac the, himself. Speaking of a big old Mac. Mac the knife is here. Big Mac Williams. Papa Squat. Sit right here in front. Oh, it's a dipping cup. I so guess. many people avoid the middle of the couch. I like the middle. Yeah, what that's great. This shirt? It's a point. It's a oh, point. look at this. Yeah. There's all sorts of shirts being mm, shows, supporting. shows on shirts. Yeah, I'm supporting what a show. Oh, Funhouse. Oh, hmm. okay. I have no shirts left. That's why I'm wearing this one that I'm on. How far have you? How far have you made it in this game? Uh, I had a save that was complete, so I could skip to the levels, but I think I erased it <laughs> for this one. <laughs> Ooh. So we're barely. What are you started. googling, Rayman jokes? A Big Mac sauce cup. Rayman jokes. Yeah, somebody mentioned a Big Mac sauce cup. I'm James, I feel like you're attuned to the contents of food, and you don't have fast food very often. Do you think McDonald's has gotten saltier? Uh, saltier? I don't. I, I no tried that to I get a Big like... Mac a few like a month ago and I couldn't I couldn't finish it. Oh, you you kind of have a scratch on your nose. Yeah, uh -oh. Remy scratched me this morning. Oh. Oh. Remember when you were like, "Oh, you should play with him." I yeah. did, and he scratched my face. Uh, <laughs> you did oh. this. <laughs> you put the gun in his hand. You you wish that you hadn't played with him. 
Yeah, I take it back. I take it all back. Oh, oh you better shit. walk your ass back yeah, there and no get that way. cage. I gotta spread that guacamole. Get Yogurt back up vomited there. on the floor at 1.30 last night. Why don't you brag about it? I think probably because it's hard to brag about something that isn't good. <laughs> oh, Charlotte, live for both of us now. <laughs> live for both of us now. Look at that coin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Both so you're playing both characters, huh? Yeah, I'm playing as Aurora. Didn't we play as... We, we, this game. Yeah, but we did it co-op, right? The salty did stick. We? Yeah, it's got four-player co-op, right? Yeah. There you go. This that, whole time? We could yeah. four of us? That's what we... Yeah. Oh, is the sauce cup for dipping things in? I guess so, yeah. Okay. Spread that guac. I don't... I didn't grow up eating McNuggets. So I can't eat them now. Mm. I just don't get the the problem is to me, McDonald's is too easy to eat. It like it's just it's just like gone. The process of buying the food and everything, it doesn't last long enough to warrant. Well, I can it. assure you the McDonald's I was in, the process of ordering the food took plenty long. Well. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what fast I'm saying. food has gotten. That's what I'm saying. Slower than fast food now describes how long it takes to eat, not necessarily the process of I see, acquisition. I see what you're saying. Are we gonna eat? It's a clever that fish from the freezer girl. for dinner tonight. Maybe you know what I had for lunch? Mm -hmm. I had this a mate because I made a bunch of uh, uh, fried chicken, fried Ooh. chicken, but I used cornflakes. That sounds um, for my breading. Um, oh, you missed that purple one. I did it. Uh, <laughs> At least pay attention. I made a bunch of them, <laughs> and then so then I took a, a English muffin, and then I put it. I put uh, on the English muffin before I toasted it. I put maple syrup, and then I put a piece of that fried chicken on it. Things to do. And then I put a piece of uh, Jarlsberg cheese on top of it. Come get me and then hitman time. Okay. Melted it all down. Uh, melted it all down uh, in a toaster, and uh, that sounds. and then ate it and it, with an apple. And uh, it was delicious. That sounds like a textural delight. It was. That's the thing that people don't think about is texture. While watching a video about how to make the perfect eggs. <laughs> My guac. That ain't guac. Oh no. <laughs> nice. So you've just been watching him play a notoriously co-op game? Uh, I played for a bit and then yeah, Lindsay played play a little. But you know, mm. I can't really be playing with the controller for so long. Mm, Cause you're bad hands. <laughs> oh, Ooh. yeah. And we've spent a lot of time talking about Zelda. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. I haven't played any, you know, I guess I played a little bit yesterday, but I feel like last night was, whoops, duh, you're dead. I was just saying to Jacob, it's a game that makes me feel insecure because I feel like I'm not, <laughs> like I'm missing things other people are doing. Or oh I'm yeah, like, but everyone's doing something different. Yeah. Yeah. Don't cut it. Um, uh, I definitely think I went, I've been doing the game in, in an unintended order. Cause like, I immediately went to like, snow country. But do we know that there's an intended order? No, I mean, I think you can play however you want to, but I think specifically in terms of like, you know, difficulty, there's certain areas that were more difficult in Breath of the Wild that they were like, go to Kariko Village, yeah. or whatever first. Um, so there'll be a bunch of like, black bacoblins. Yeah. But I was like, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna afford the the winter weather and just keep yeah. drinking eating things, peppers. And, yeah, eating peppers and doing things like that. Um, I want to play it the way oh. Miyamoto wanted me to play it. Mm -hmm. And what is that? Real slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think it is. The difficulty of it seems a little steep. I it, found it, that, yeah. it was a little harder than I remember. It's kicked my ass a little bit. I, like, I definitely don't miss having to fight the machines from Breath of the Wild. Or what were those called? Oh, uh, like the yeah. big uh, laser things? Yeah. yeah, I don't miss those. Well, but now it feels like there's just as much stuff in the, the world <laughs> that is like mean like that. Like just the giant war caravans that are going around of like uh, bad guys and stuff. That, and like a lot of the things, I'm like, okay, I got a couple heart containers, and uh, and so I'm a, a little bit better equipped. But then, 
but then I'll get hit once and it'll do like six ticks of damage. And I was like, wait, what was I supposed to do here? Do you only get her containers from shrines? Are there other ways to get them? There are other ways to get them. Oh. I fought my first Lionel yesterday. Oh, oh really? In the depths. But I put, just as a joke, I put a puff shroom on my shield. Uh -huh. And the Lionel hit me and it made this dust cloud and it just didn't know where I was while I was wailing oh, away man. at it. Um, so it was hard for a little while, mostly because I went through most of my weapons trying to kill it. Um, but yeah, it felt good to fight a Lionel and win eventually. Mm -hmm. It was one of those, it was in the depths, so every time it hit me, I would get three gloom hearts mm -hmm. and just be totally fucked up. But I like, I like playing Zelda. I, that's all I think about right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did play some Disney Speedstorm uh, yesterday because yeah? that was like... I, I don't know. <laughs> it just, I log in and I'm like, I literally can't do anything. The game has locked me out of playing more. That's so bizarre. It's like strange to disincentivize people from I'm like, I playing. Can't, I, I can't, this can't be crazy. Like I can't be the only one. And then I'll go like, I always check a gaming subreddit to see what people are saying. Yeah. Everyone there is like this, what is going on? Why can't I progress? <laughs> like there's so many gates. That is so crazy. That's insane. Do you have any of the musical ones on that? I you did. I did on my other save, but I think I, we overwrote it. Oh, Jacob, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's, oh damn it. It's, it's a shame because I, I really wanted those musical levels. I guess we'll just have to play more Rain Man. How many have you played? How many levels did you beat? I felt like there were some that came pretty early on. There is, but I think we need to collect more little guys. Well, I think for now the plan is to play more next week. Yes, yes, on uh, Tuesday. Um, but we just got the thing we need to do multicam. Oh, um, set up in the room? It's getting set up. Oh, cool. Um, did you see that there's that Starship Troopers game? I did. Yeah. And apparently it's really fun. Okay. All so right. I I'll think kill we're going to play that. Kill some bugs. And Patrick's it's really going to be pissed that he misses it, though. Oh, he's going to be so mad. He's going to be pissed. Let me see if I can if I go back to the main Have you talked to Patrick recently, James? I never speak to him. I see him every single night. We get steaks. <laughs> He sent me pictures of uh, his child wearing multiple different Yoda outfits. Aww. Oh, Lord. Or Minch outfits, as Patrick said. Oh. Let's see, main gallery challenge? Is there stuff in there? Did you remember me ask about me? When he was scratching my face. <laughs> no. Maybe you got a little too aggressive with him. He kept coming upstairs because I was editing, so then he kept coming over to the... He's lonely. Yeah. He wants attention. He's such a little... Little lovely boy. Ooh, in there. So yeah. you've progressed as far as you can in the actual game itself. I th I think so. I mean, I I beat the game previously. Yeah, yeah. So we just did like new game, whatever. We'll start from the beginning. Yeah. But I think it just got rid of my old save. But is there's a musical level at the end of each one of these, right? Yeah. Is that the thing. So couldn't you just keep progressing in Teensy Trouble and then just like. Yeah, for some reason we ended up in the frog. Oh, what's that? Oh, the lock came off it. Does that mean we could do it? There's also that hasn't been done. A lot of the rope scores. Can't do that. What's the, oh, that's where you got the character, right? Yeah, it looks like we got Aurora there. So that's, this is the, a Castle Rock, that's the musical yeah. level. Oh, I wanna do it. I lost it. Just keep going. Here we go. I guess you got a while to go. Quite a few more levels. Here, let's jump in here. I feel like I feel like I've regressed into childhood, early childhood, eating dry, plain Cheerios out of the container. <laughs> because of the lack of milk. It's important to remember that. No, you've never seen a kid eat cereal? Like yeah. Cheerios? Yeah. Children can't choose what they eat, and adults can. And you've gotten yourself into a situation where you've chosen to eat yeah. what children have no say in. It's inoffensive, I guess. Mm -hmm. oh. Ooh. Didn't mean to do that, but here I am. I mean, obviously, Honey Nut Cheerios are far superior, but I just wanted something boring to snack on that wouldn't give me a weird aftertaste. All right, got a little person. We got the king or queen? Yeah, we got the queen. Hopefully that counts for extra. Yeah, I miss I miss UB art games. 
I know. What, uh, they were they were made a whole big thing about like, oh, UB art, and then it's like, and we made a couple, and they're done. Yeah, we're gonna stick with Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Listen, if it gives me more of the division, I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, another one. Did you play the division too? <laughs> is the di which one is the division? The first one. <laughs> no, but which the division is which one? Because at this point, New York City and the New snow. York, and yeah, it's like, like the, the, the post-apocalypse one or whatever. Yeah, I mean it's post-apocalypse, but it's like post-apocalypse light. Like, yeah, but it's like of Last the, of Us. There's a bunch of people running around with backpacks and stuff. Yeah. Yes, but okay. it's also far more organized and like less dire. Uh huh. Society seems to have bounced back semi okay. Yeah. There was a lot of Whoa. death. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. I played um, a lot of the first Division game. Patrick and I played hours and hours of the second one together. I feel like that was the only, like, Destiny-ish game that went on to succeed for the most part. Yeah, I mean, it's really different. It yeah. does feel like a standard, like, shooter. Except it was always strange when, like, you go and fight, it's like, a like boss, a guy. Yeah. and you shoot him, like, a million times in the face. Like, he still has, like, a big video game health bar. Yeah. Despite the game being so realistic and stuff. Give me that coin. Bye. <laughs> I don't need the coin. I just need the little guys. Like that. There's another one. Ha! Ha! Dry cereal is fun, because then I get to fish little pieces out of my bra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <never>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh, I thought oh, I was there's drowning. One down there. Yeah. Digging around like it's a crane machine. And then crane where's machine. the king? Oh, we missed the king. The king is somewhere. Go back. Oh. Oh man. Oh, That's like rule number 1. If you come for the king, you best not miss. We got the queen though. Speed it up. Speed it up. Wow, Brandon, that's so true. Ironically, the division brings people together. Wow. <laughs> All right, how many of these little fellas we got now? Oh, you're well on your way, oh, almost 10%. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, thanks. I'll stick with this. That's why we keep going to different worlds. I think, like, I remember playing... I know, I don't know, it wasn't UBR, playing this, Guacamelee. Oh, Guacamelee and, is awesome. Um, I never beat Child of Light. Wait. I can't remember if I beat Guacamelee 2. I don't think I played the second one. I only played the first one. Guacamelee 2 introduced. There was, was there co op in the first one? There was. Yeah, okay, there was. So then I definitely. Fearless Nomad, gifting a fun house membership. Yeah, those Guacamelee games were really fun. Yeah. The combat was just really satisfying. Oh. 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 These guys on their stilts. They're just hanging out. They want no quarrel. Yeah, I'll leave this one. <laughs> I miss my friends. <laughs> See you, guy. <laughs> oh. Oh. The Division Heartland? Is that like a DLC or something? I don't know. Division Day was only a few weeks past, but I didn't know. Oh, there there's a guy down there. <gasps> I like how the Heartland the has Heartland. become like has like a negative connotation. Yeah. Why's that? That just it feels like it it, ha it just has. Like, it only makes me think of. Well, it makes me think of Red Dead Two, which is not actually the Heartland, but that's what I called it once. Mm -hmm. What is it, Red Dead Two? I don't know. It's hard something, right? The Heartland is a free-to-play PvEVP. Oh, that's, cool. oh, that's everything. Focused survival action shooter set in the rural town of Silver Creek. Wait, is this a new one? What did you say? It is a standalone spin-off set in the Division universe. Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Huh. Thanks for uh, thanks, Jason, for putting me onto that reel. Speaking of, oh, oh, bye. Out. Let's uh, die. Speaking of PVE, how about that Overwatch 2, huh? Ooh. 
Yeah, what's going on there? It's got rid of it. They just said, no, nah, we're not going to do that thing that is our <laughs> basis for making the new game. Really? That's kind of, no, like that happened. Yeah, yeah. it was like a couple days ago. Yeah. They just announced that said, we're not doing it Yeah, anymore. we actually changed our mind. We don't want to do it. So all that all they did in Overwatch 2 was remove a player from the field. Yeah, and add a battle pass. Fuck. You did it again. <laughs> I can't help but cut that damn cord. That's crazy. That's one of the most superfluous twos I've ever seen added to a uh, title. Yeah, because that... Can I, wasn't that like the whole point? I was there when they announced it. I mean, I think that was like part of their argument. The whole point was for it to make more money. Yeah, yes. of course. And then I think they realized that they already had an infinite cash flow as long as they updated the game and gave it new characters and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's still good, right? But people seem to like the... I mean, our friends play the PvP all the time. It's just Overwatch still, though. Yeah. Yeah, but it's 5v5. That is... I mean... Is that better? <laughs> I mean, I, I I never played on a pro level. I having played it, played Overwatch two. It does feel like there's a certain aspect of it that does feel like there's something missing. Like mm -hmm. you definitely need like oh I definitely need a tank of some sort or whatever. Like I or I'm like missing a healer is how it feels to me. But I'm probably not the best test for it because you know I'm no pro. That's oh. crazy that they just... Well, you can't believe anything anyone says, especially a, a corporation, but that's such a, a 180. There we go. Yeah, I think it was dropped pretty casually during some, like, update stream or something, too. It's like, <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, no PvE. Anyways. That's really funny. I'm sure the PvP... Overwatch League does do it. It does? Uh, oh, right. I remember seeing stuff about it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, uh, ha ha. <laughs> that feels like how I do most shrines in Zelda. It's just like yeah. completely wrong. If I just wrong. need to get there, yeah. I did one with wheels yesterday that felt so cool. Oh yeah, I, I finally found a driving machine. Yeah, like oh, the thing so that fun. I could actually yeah. drive through the world. I need the wheels. Oh, the big ones, the monster truck wheels. Yeah. Oh. We have a clip today from a. <laughs> Let Elise play. She's not here. <laughs> she left the room. Yeah, when we do, uh, when we switch to Hitman, we'll show the clip from uh, Hudson Builders. Yeah, for anyone that's not aware, we've uh, this week been putting out a couple videos for uh, members of us goofing around with the building mechanics in Zelda. Uh, internally, we're calling it Hudson Builders, but yeah, it, it's and a little it, inside baseball. Yeah, we did some funny stuff though. Just sticking a lot of rockets and things. Oh yeah, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do one next week too. Yes. Maybe two if I can think of another idea. We're gonna probably unlock a lot more stuff over the weekend, so. I need to find I'm more of those. I'm just amazed how uh, quickly people unlocked all that shit the day, the day of release. Like yeah. The day before. Like, I feel like on the launch day, there were videos of people with all the Zonai technology. Yeah, I saw some like... I mean, they played all night, I get that, but... Yeah. I saw some social posts from like GameSpot or something, and they had like eight little batteries. I was like, mm -hmm. what the hell? I have three of those. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily like the YouTubers and stuff, but a, a lot of the gaming outlets have had it for a while, though. Yeah, GameSpot, oh, yeah, that, makes, that sense. makes sense. But just on TikTok, it seems wild to me. I definitely wish I had more time to play it, because <laughs> yeah. I just want to play it a lot. Do we want to roll that clip, or do you want to play more of this? Uh, let's see what opens there. Yeah, we could, we could roll the clip. Looks like there's still quite a bit we got to do before well, you're close, Castle Rock. Though. We are real close. You should just get to it. Just get to it. Just speed run there. Then we'll watch the clip. Yeah. Don't 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 go for collectibles though. Yeah. I just want the little. I want these little guys. <laughs> Give me that. He's a betrayer. Betrayer. Come here, dark wizard. James, how far are you into the kingdom? Uh, I mean, I've done one temple. Okay, you're further than I am. Uh, the wind temple. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I went. I got there, but it was before I went to Rito Village, so I couldn't do the uh, puzzles. Oh. Yeah, I haven't done any uh, temples either. Shit! No! No! 
Um, Jacob, I want the. I need those things to get farther. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah. So I don't really know how to measure it. I did. I did that, and that was made a lot of progress. But since then, I'm like, I don't. I've, I've just been wandering yeah, to just other been regions. Lot. Yeah, which I, is fun. I yeah. love doing that. I mean, I did, started progressing the Zonai stuff, or the Rito stuff last night. I was really disappointed though, because I felt really accomplished getting up into that storm just because I happened to be climbing around near there. Uh huh. And then the game was like, you can't do anything here. Like, um, okay. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna <laughs> leave. You can't fast travel back to it. Yeah. There's definitely, I've gotten to a couple places where I'm like, I sh pro uh, I'm apparently here way too early. Because <laughs> it'll be some place that, it'll look like a boss arena or something. Oh, there I go. And then I'll, uh, die. I like those, uh, Zonai, like, cube, like, golems that you have to just shoot the one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, those are Well, cool. I just rip it out of him. Oh, that's you just You just rip the shit out of them, and then it goes bleh, and then you just destroy the stone. I fought one yesterday that, uh, that little part that you have to grab, it moves around. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, it'll go you from... You have to go find it again. Yeah, every time it does a little move, it'll move its I mean, like, I like core to go to from above spot. and just, like, fire, like, three fused arrows straight into it. Yeah. Or when it goes really high, you shoot a bomb arrow and it falls apart. Getting me really excited to play a different game yet again. <laughs> No! Uh, Damn it! Whoa, oh, it's still, still there! Come here! I love this game. I, I forgot how much I enjoyed this. The, um... Actually remembering that you have the abilities and you can use them is the hardest part. You mean Ascend? Well, no, I actually... I use Ascend all the time. I, I saw Alana's post about forgetting Ascend, and I was like... Maybe for, like, the very beginning, but I am constantly going like, oh, Alright, yeah. how can I get beneath <laughs> shit? Like, but, uh, because, like, there's one of those rock monsters that is also a base. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like so, a like, battle talus. So, yeah, so I'll just, like, kill all the dudes and then, uh, wait for him to throw his arm at me. Yeah. And then I'll time freeze it. Oh, so then it I shoots done back. That. It, it basically <laughs> shoots back at his face. And then he goes, Brr! That's so and then, awesome. And then I use a send to go back up onto like the battle thing and then beat it, beat the shit I out. I didn't realize this, the Ecliptic Invader just said that you can rewind time on the boulders that fall out of the sky. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you can use that to get into the sky. I haven't done that at all. It's so cool, because you just go whoop, it's like an elevator. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey. Always be ascending. Yeah, Ascend was something I forgot about a lot. And I would spend a lot of time building like a stupid thing to get high up. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, oh yeah, I could just shoot right up mm -hmm. into the ceiling. But I built a four-wheeled elevator. Also, it's like uh, sensitivity to that is fun. Because yeah. I'll just get into a place and I'll just be tapping A while just like moving <laughs> like pixels. Yeah. And then eventually go, oh, yeah. yeah. But if fighting the taluses, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just, come on, come on, come on, turn green. Yeah. Oh wow, second level of awesomeness. The uh, oh, Amy Fuller, there. like, digital media company? What? what? Awesomeness TV. Oh. Wasn't that Amy Fuller? Uh, I don't know, there's been so many. <laughs> okay, we're almost to musical level. What's this, tutorial? At least went out for a pack of cigarettes, okay? She She'll may be never back. be coming yeah. back. Oh, gotta move the platform. Lucky strikes. Oh, she's back. She's gonna smell like cigarettes. Uh -oh. We're so close. We're very close to the musical level, level so yeah. we're just going for it. I don't want to be the big bad hitman player coming in here, ruining everyone's <laughs> fun. Eating your Cheerios raw. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, kept, I keep dropping them you down You gotta my cook shirt. those Cheerios. <laughs> and I'm just like, hey, go Cheerio down here. Oh wait, I think there's something over here. Mmm. Wow, wow. Oh, hello, Dan. Oh, wow. hey, Dan. I haven't seen her. She's not Maybe. No. Yeah. I'd say sorry if she was in her. I thought she had a meeting or something. Rayman Legends. Cool. You play Classic. this game, Dan? This game rocks. This game is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, rocks. Yeah. Literally rocks, actually. Yeah, we're about to get to the rock part. Like rock and roll, or you turn into a rock? Rock and roll, specifically rock and roll. 
Like the end of the Drew Carey show theme song, Cleveland Rocks. Mm -hmm. Cleveland yeah. Rocks. Whoa! So are you the Rayman? I've never played a Rayman game. No. Uh, you are like... You're one of his friends. You, you, species? Yeah. No, you have like a difficult time with like social cues, but you're like a genius. <laughs> so like, yeah. You can count cards like no one else. Yeah. You like I'm just playing. You like Wapner? Mm -hmm. Try to live for both of us. Give me that. I want that. <laughs> Give me that. Got it. What are you collecting there? Oh, they're lums. Yeah, little lums. None of that matters. All that matters is rescuing the other little guys. Well, see oh, where that goes. Dire. I'm gonna What's... read Brovius's message here with the tone that I think is intended. Oh boy, we get to watch Charlotte play Hitman. <laughs> <laughs> was that? Was that the? I think you nailed it. I don't have a mic, so I won't respond. Get <laughs> <laughs> that on there. Charlotte, live with us. Ooh, who's the flying frog? He's doing all the. Oh, it's our friend. No, so they actually like Hitman, and they like doing it with me. That's the greatest trick. That's the prestige of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything has to have a prestige, Charlotte. Oh, you That's go literally Something, rule number one right, about right. prestige. Sometimes, is that it exists. Sometimes things can just be taken at face value. Sometimes it's scientific magic. <laughs> if, if playing Hitman is the prestige, then I'm that bird that gets smashed in the beginning. Why are you keep going that way? You gotta go around. You're right. I don't want to hurt you guys. <laughs> Hitman. Was it chill? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, oh, I love oh, it. Oh, you gotta squish. rotate it again. Uncooked yeah. Cheerios. Yeah. Oh, 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 too much, too much, Someone too much. cooked Cheerios? Yeah, I don't know what uncooked means. No, she means. called them raw. Raw. Right. There you go. Cheerios in the raw. You rotate. There you go. They're simply made. Gluten-free, grown, milled, toasted. Are those honey nuts? Yep. Nah. Brobius says, yes, Elise. Yeah. That I was said, I feel like totally the tone I intended. Yeah, see? <laughs> Wait, so they didn't intend it? I'm confused. <laughs> their their uh, relentless use of sarcasm has... <laughs> it's at critical mass. Nice, you have both royalty. Beautiful. Now it's gonna go a long read. way. <sighs> you all right? Hey, I got a great idea. If you want something special tonight for dinner, why don't we have pizza? I'll make it myself out of canned chicken no! and home and flour. Uh, uh, hang on, let's hear him out. And James? That's it. Oh, that's the whole thing. Chicken of the sea? No, <laughs> not tuna. tuna. I don't know if that's tuna that, pizza. Yeah, yeah but be worse. You can tuna evil. piano. Oh, little guy down there. Oh, oh. little guy dead. He's a rough fella. The green guy is really doing everything, though. Only on this platform, exactly. That's normally, what saying about Tears of the Kingdom. This game was originally intended to be played with a friend who has a Wiimote. Oh. <laughs> That's the thing that is not telling you. <laughs> I it. collect the Scarbits. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. No, at least you don't just collect them. Oh shit. You fire them too. And everyone you appreciates fired. it. I did a... Is that, is Donald Trump? Trump, yeah. Oh, okay. You fired. That's Donald Trump playing Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, with the Wiimote. <laughs> he says, you fired. <laughs> right, I actually I do need to find Lindsay. Okay. She wasn't back there. She's missing. She's probably on the move. Always reeling. Ooh. Always on the move. All right. All right. Fire's coming. Have you guys seen the video of that fucked up Brazilian pizza? No. What's what wrong with it? I'll be the judge. It's, it's kind of hard pizza. to explain it, but we watched it on what a show recently, and it's a disaster. Fuck. Oh, oh, you gotta slow down. I'll go too fast. Jacob, you're like a Brazilian pizza. Oh my God. What was God what made it Brazilian fucked up? Pizza. Uh, it's hard to explain, and okay. it's hard to tell what exactly they're putting on it, uh -huh. but they're putting a lot of it on there. Okay, well. Like Ben Affleck speaking Spanish in an interview, they laid it on thick. <laughs> did you watch what I said? You probably said it, of course I did. I watched ben any time Ben Affleck speaks Spanish. Ben Aff I saw a clip of Ben Affleck telling paparazzi to fuck off in Spanish, and I was like, I gotta send this to Elise. <laughs> That's really funny. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Neon body style, member for three oh. months. Was I? I mean, they wouldn't let just anyone play a Latino man in Argo. Is they that true? Ben Affleck. <laughs> Stand spikes. Oh, oh, well, I almost did myself in there. Ooh. There we go. Look how exciting this is. It's great. Such intention went into these levels. Look at that dragon back there. Right, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill that dragon. Eyeball. Oh. Hey, it popped like a balloon. Oh, that is the best part about the Brazilian pizza. Is he puts like mayonnaise and weird chicken and shit all over it, and then he barely cooks it, and then he just like three olives just dashes them on top as a garnish. Mm -hmm. He's like, <laughs> <"Mani -bique." laughs> 
Uh, what's on that there, Pete? I don't like no Brazilian pizza. No, that's a great accent. Pete, but American oh, pizza. Oh, you're supposed to say that one. Oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, you keep cutting. You keep, you're, I love cutting stuff. You, 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 Jacob sees something cuttable and he cuts it before he establishes at all <laughs> what the risk reward is of cutting it. It's a load bearing beam. Yeah. Okay, cut that. Uh, no. no. Nope, leave that there. When is Memorial Day? I don't remember. It's the week Mo after Victoria Day. Zero okay. Seven. What? When's Victoria Day? I think it's like the... The week the before Memorial Day? 22nd, maybe? So it's the Monday after next? Oh, I believe so. I started doing this thing last year that I want to continue to do, which is watching Fury Road Ooh. and calling it Mofurial Day. <laughs> <laughs> because you know I love branding. Oh, there's nothing you can <laughs> My <know>. viewing habits. <laughs> So much. So. Like, uh, what was the? Remember, remember the Wick of John Vember oh. when we watched John Wick on November fifth. Then there's Law and Order. Oh yeah. S Sunday scaries. You gotta go to Law and Order at Charlotte. I'm hosting okay. a watch party. It's one of my favorite episodes. Okay. But just in seasons one through seven or six, probably. Pigs in a blanket. Oh. <laughs> Spinach things. Spinach Jacob, things, how yes. much longer are you going to be playing? Because now you're really cutting He's Well, game. he's doing the opposite of us. He's Charlie dying way more now game. than he was before we were trying to speedrun. Elise loves this game. Do you don't love it, Jacob? I love it. Do you I think if I game. cared about I love it. Elise and James watching a game they like, I would invite them to play Hitman play with me? Yes. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I would never invite them to play Hitman with me. I would invite them to watch me yes. play mm -hmm. Hitman. Yes, here we go. I had to watch Lindsay play once, and I oh. was losing my mind. Mm -hmm. It was really difficult for me. I put Jedi Academy in the hands of everyone except myself yesterday. How'd that go? Watch. Uh, Ryan actually killed two Darksiders. I wish we were playing that new Jedi game instead of Hitman. Uh, Jedi Survivor. Yeah. I love Hitman, Charlotte. Hitman doesn't love you. No. Because they trained feelings oh, out of the Academy. So are these all different royal families? I acknowledge yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. They just breed like rabbits. I know also Hitman is a good game. It's just not my my game. You but know? you have fun watching it, right? Uh, yes. Don't answer it. That. It'll be easier. Yeah, doing yeah. Experience. Like, but you know what? I feel like I saw so much of it through Funhouse over the years. Yeah, me too. Why do you keep accepting the calendar invites then? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I thought it was a bit this whole time. <laughs> um, I like watching. You actually don't more. like it. I like you enjoying it. Happiness brings I do you. not enjoy it when I play it with you guys. Oh. <laughs> That's why people keep watching. This music level better be. It's amazing. gonna be great. It's the next level. This level's great too, though. Yeah. <gasps> the ones where you just get to run. Oh, oh or, uh, Lord. Or that. The ones where you oh. get to run and then oh. stop. Yeah. Don't run too much. There yes, I have go. the power of fire. Do you Fire not like fist. Hitman there? <laughs> get her side all up. Her little secret question. No, I love Hitman. It's so fun. And I always get to, that's the best, my favorite thing about playing it is we always get to see such amazing, cool, unique kill stuff that happens. Yeah. And it's yes, not you just, do. it's not just a bunch of scrambling around until ultimately an hour comes <laughs> upon us and then someone just gets shot in the head and then runs uh, to the nearest exit. Here's the problem. <laughs> oh, she's <laughs> Up. This is it's like a late night talk show where you're yeah. the only guest and you always come on to talk about Hitman. Uh, you go. Yeah. I feel like you guys don't actually watch what I'm doing. Because I've done creative kills and mm -hmm. then I turn around after I've shocked someone with a car battery and you guys are like, I don't know, I feel well, like Shoemaker's Batman's had a really but, strange range to them. But it's not, something. the thing is it's not the target. You just did it so that way you could get like a chef's costume. You like kill oh. a random, oh. a random oh, sous I'm chef. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. There's all these. I know there's all these elaborate things where it's like, oh, lure the dictator to do the speech, so that way the mariachi band accidentally knocks over the statue, which knocks over the dominoes, which then causes the castle to collapse and crush him, and then you get a cool hitman kill. Never seen one of those. And this isn't just you, Charlotte. <laughs> this is you got chilled. Know, you, is anyone who's ever played? I've never seen thing. anything. I if like, I'm gonna listen to a man wearing shorts. <laughs> I like when someone jumps from a platform to another platform. That impresses me. See, that me. to me is played out. Mm -hmm. I've, I've seen it. Gather team. I like when a game 
like Destiny or Elden Ring decides to be a platformer. Mm -hmm. That's fun. <laughs> Doom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dustin Willis says, at least I'm super pumped about the Must Be Dice Barbie series. I'm excited Ooh, for everyone to so see good. it. Charlotte Lindsay or stars in it. Yeah, they, it's, it's whatever. They, basically, Charlotte Lindsay played oh, Barbie's friends. And they again. are in the whole series, <laughs> but they are also joined by special guests uh, in almost every episode. Stephen Baldwin. <laughs> First of all, if Three we could get a Baldwin, Baldwin, it wouldn't Baldwin be Stephen. <laughs> why would Daniel, you? I feel like Andy he's Daniel. attainable. Yeah, but that's why we wouldn't be able to get him. Oh, Jesus. Nice, good shot. Come on, Jacob. Come on, Jacob. There you go. I just think the game is what you make it. Are you still talking about Hitman? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Listen, we are we are 23 minutes into the Hitman block. So, yeah, I'm going to keep talking and about it. And I'm loving it. it. Yeah. This is oh honestly the most fun I've ever had playing Hitman. <laughs> Person died. Yeah, that's fine. Bonkers. We don't need this. Oh, we're just, we're this, just playing. <laughs> oh, yeah? Then play, play this. Move. Oh, boy. You're fine. Just keep doing it. Oh, okay. Get out of here, dragon. Get out of the way. <laughs> don't you know like where the camera is, Austin dragon? Austin Powers kind of night. What? <laughs> Babe. Uh-huh. Yes, it does girl. feel like an Austin Powers kind of night, huh? Yeah, but it's Austin Powers made just. Watching, watching, that watching chicken. the trill? That, that can't be possible. If, the it, trill? if it's not Tuesday, it can't be Austin Powers night. It's the, it's only, it's the only day of the week that reasonably could be expected to be an Austin it's Powers. It's like I like to say. It's Tuesday somewhere. Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! It's Tuesday, baby! Hey, people watch Ant-Man. How long is... Oh, yeah, we gotta watch Quantumania. Oh, yeah, I heard that's... A movie? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see Kang. You know? Wait, can't wait to see. John I can't wait to Jonathan see Kang. Jonathan Kang it up. Oh man. You know the next big villain. A real Kang. Big villain. I love the villain from Guardians Three. Oh, I still gotta see that movie. I actually want to see that one. Yeah. You Jacob, go you will have a great time. Go I will. Drop the yeah. right, now. right now. As soon as you unlock the music stage, go see Guardians Three. Yeah, leave us with oh, the music stage. I was gonna stick around for Hitman, but I should go see Guardians. I thought it was okay. <laughs> You'd rather be at home playing Hitman? Okay. <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Can I say something about pizza? Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. I'm I'm totally fine with people not liking pineapple on pizza. Yeah. But they're wrong to say it doesn't belong there. That's true. Canadians invented pineapple because on pizza. You're right. Did you know that? I did. Well, Is that did. true? Yeah, yeah, with Canadian ham. Why, there was a reason for the Hawaii thing, though? There's like a reason for it. Because we love the sun no, and the There's like an actual reason. Something about it. the ham or whatever. The tropical fruit, the pineapple? Because you know what is also a fruit? And is on Me. almost every pizza? Tomato. Oh. Tomato! Oh! I feel like... Yeah. Musical level time! We did it. At least you want to play it? No, 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 you worked for it, Jacob, you do it. I don't remember anything about Guardians 3. Now better, I remember it. Better movie. It just came Qu back to me. I liked a lot of it. I liked a lot of it. Um, Groot, that one Groot line made me want to uh, jump off a bridge. It, it did Wait, for, the it did one for at the me end? Uh, yes. As well, but, but do you know the explanation? Do you know the explanation? That's what I, when it happened, I was like, oh, I understand. Yeah. Okay, because explain I'll it tell you off, I'll tell you off It might be a spoiler for people, yeah. yeah. I'll write it down. Okay, musical level. I can't read. <laughs> That's uh, at least we'll in. read the note to you. All right, we're doing it. Here we go. Everybody shut up. Shut up, everybody shut up. We're playing the music. Don't, don't, guys. Don't tell me. That's bullshit. No, it's true. It's confirmed. <laughs> I don't care if it's confirmed. And it, it's why I was like, yeah. I mean, it makes sense, but in the moment, I hated it. Ooh. Oh, Black Betty. Oh, Bang, this is a musical. Black yeah. Black yeah. Black. You basically play the whole game to get to these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'd be funny if we did all this and then the stream got like... Demonetized. Yeah, demonetized. <laughs> If it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can do this in Hitman. Those fr crazy French Canadians, they pulled it off. Yeah. I used to have this song downloaded as like one of my like uh, 
Like I burned it onto a CD. When I used to burn CDs, this is like <laughs> on several of my CDs. Oh! Rock banjo is something we don't see a lot of anymore. Yeah. You're right, you're right. I'm gonna buy a guitar tonight. Okay. I just wanna keep one around the office just to noodle it. What kind of guitar are you gonna get? It's just a... An acoustic? Uh, it's electric? It's an acoustic. Ah! Electric? Oh, boo! Boo! This is what we waited for. <laughs> oh, the there we go. <laughs> I don't know, I just found like the cheapest but less shitty looking one, least shitty looking one on offer up that I could pick up on my way home. What work. what kind of uh what kind of guitar? Um Epiphone. I don't know, it's only one twenty, so I don't yeah. need it to be great. No, yeah. Are there music levels in Hitman? There is one where you like dress up as a DJ. But then ultimately you're gonna kill someone in a bathroom, probably probably by punching them to death and then no, breaking their a, neck on a, the ground. I mean, the Hitman games are really silly and, and, and campy in a way that I feel like it, you wouldn't think hey! so at first, but like, you do take on the role of like, you're trying to kill the like, basically Jared Leto of a rock band, but you uh, take his drummer's costume and then you get in there and they're like, okay, why don't we track the drums? And you're like, fuck. And then Hitman just sits down and he's like, <laughs> And you're like, oh my god, the Hitman can drum! I've never can? seen that. Yeah, is that a thing in the we game? We can do it today! We can do it today! Alright, that's the goal. Cool. We're gonna see Hitman drum today, and you're gonna kill someone in a cool, exciting right. way. Charlotte, that's, 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 I that's the goal. I always am doing that. It's time it's for all Hitman. Yours. It's time for Hitman. But first, Turn off the Wii. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta watch our, our little uh, promo. Oh, right. I like that this for, guy uh, that I'm buying a guitar cool from just assumed because I'm hitting him up about buying a guitar that I'm a guy. I said, like, there's nothing, <laughs> it's the only no bro. picture on my yeah, profile, yeah. and I was just like, can I come around six? And he's like, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> you're buying and, and you know, you yeah. know, being what? trans, your brain goes, the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, you're buying a guitar, not getting a doctorate. Yeah. You know? Oh, well, she's not buying a flute, okay? <laughs> she's buying a guitar. Okay, but do you hear when mine was more misogynistic, what yeah. I said? Yeah. I know what you it like uh, like subverted stereotypes by playing into it. I hate them. it here. I hate it here so much. <laughs> now I know how, now you know how I feel. One, when misogyny happens, but two, when you guys talk about Hitman the way you do. Oh yeah. They're the same thing. I finally know Yeah, how misogyny you feel and when shitting on Hitman. Happens, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have to experience both is what I'm saying. Misogyny <laughs> and, and <laughs> the misogyny. Anyway, all right, we got, we're uh, that clip. Yeah, we got a clip for uh, Hudson <laughs> Builders and it's coming yeah. out after the stream. Woo! Let's go get our guy. Oh, there's two of them. Uh -oh. We only need one, so. Well, no, no, let's do it. Yeah, why not two? Go. Strap them both in. Hey. Ow. This is normal. This is normal behavior for consumers. Customer's always right. Stop Customers throwing rocks at my rocket. The book Copland's always right. Give him a good whack. Make him upset. Yeah, take him down to like 3% health. Yeah, yeah. And then drag us. That's how I feel when I fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Do you have a fan? Do you have a fan that you can oh. waft him in with? I have a Korok leaf. Okay, never mind. Oh, I can't do it. You with put that. it on the wrong stick. Damn it, the stick's too long. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's nice. beautiful. Go, 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 Jacob panicked. Oh, okay. Look at Jacob scrambling to get. Yeah, Jacob, you guys, what you guys didn't see was Jacob falling over to, to get to the scene changer. Yeah, so uh, Charlotte, it's Hitman time. <laughs> At long last, you have less time to play because of uh, uh, Rayman. That's fine, I'll take part of the community show. Oh, okay. I have a theory about Guardians 3 that's not a spoiler. Yeah? Well, let me get on mic. Whose mic you're asking? Yeah, I thought that thing was stupid too with Groot until I saw maybe James Gunn. I mean, like at the time I was like, I wonder if it's this. I like, I like, theoried and then I saw him confirm. Well, I just, fun, everyone. I don't know. I do, anything but a Marvel movie, I would have been fine with it. What am I holding this for? My, I'm gonna start the game. My, uh, oh wait, hold on, it's still showing the game. Or the PC? Do you need uh, Oh yeah, that's where we're playing the. No, I know, but I'm but saying for any you need information. It, right? I was gonna say yeah. yeah. Stream Deck is right. Is right up in front of you? Right on that TV. Thanks, Jacob. Right on there. Um, what was I gonna say? I'm gonna hmm. say something about. 
James pizza. Gunn. James. Oh yeah, yeah. My favorite, my favorite thing is there was a probably a oh. small but extremely loud group of people who were upset about the fact that Cosmo was a female dog. Which number one, it's like appreciate you picking picking that. That's your your baseline for controversy and and stuff. But then, but they were like, you ruined it. In the character in the comics, it's a boy dog. And then James Gunn was like, yeah, but Laika was a girl dog. So I just changed it back, and they were like, "No!" <laughs> to get so upset about that is funny. Um, the full titles: Hitman World of Assassination. No, that's what the they call the like thing. the overarching like from 2016 on. It's not really they. It's kind of confusing. Okay, okay. Like when they when they have their their like social media manager who's like just some. Some plucky twenty-three-year-old Swedish, Danish Swedish student. Some, yeah, and he's just like, "Hello, welcome to the Hitman World of <laughs> I saw Assassination." The, I saw those Adidas coming at you. Me? At, you want to ask me a question? At. You pointing at me? I'm pointing at the my eyes are crossed. My eyes are crossed, it's so I don't know you. Oh, okay. I still have to see the new evil. If she does, if she doesn't have the answer for you, just let me know. Do you need me for anything? You gotta play this Hitman. You gotta do that goddamn drum thing. <laughs> Keep me here. Put bed, those Cheerios God. down. <laughs> Shove them down your gullet and let's go. <laughs> so dry. <laughs> um, no, my theory. Was the this best the controller I was using? It was. Was it plugged in? Does it need to be plugged in? Do we not have a wireless dongle? <laughs> no, uh, Lindsay was playing back there. Whatever. Oh, was it on a console? Well, we were playing Rayman on a console. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. So. And there's, uh, we couldn't possibly spare the budget to get one of those dongles or an Xbox controller that works natively with PC. It just isn't, it isn't in the cards, Charlotte. <laughs> there's no way. Okay. Now my theory is that Vin Diesel yeah. and his people uh -huh. ask that there be more Vin in the mix. I d don't doubt that that happened, but that also, the the other explanation I think makes sense too. And it seems no, no, like no, something no, no. James No, 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 I'm talking about Groot's voice had more Vin Diesel. Oh, it well, sounded more like him than. But I know I, it's a different character. I, I think it's because we, because he only sounded like himself in the first Guardians movie, and then he was basically a baby, for the rest of them. So no, for the last like, Groot sounded like different in the first one though. I I could have sworn, I don't know, maybe it's just been a minute. I just think we our brain our brain got used to Groot sounding like a child and then a teenager and then like a young adult and this is the first time Groot was back to Groot. I I think I just want to believe that Vin Diesel is. Did you see the clip of him at the premiere of Fast Ten? That man's doing a lot. I of can't. Cocaine. I can't with Vin Diesel. I can't. I think it's if he's if he treats people well, which it sounds like. He doesn't always, but if he does, treat, definitely not Justin Lin. Yeah, uh, treat uh, treat some people in his life well or whatever, and he's happy. Go on, but I just can't. I can't. He he. he I don't know. It's he drinks his own piss. It feels like to me. That's I mean, also that's, why I kind of fine to do. Fell off with the. Uh, you, but you're not supposed to like it. It's supposed to be the kind of thing you like do in the desert to survive. But it I seems mean, like he's a lot like. Of, he's this like, is a couple schools of thought on it. Uh, but, yeah. but I do feel like, like, I don't know. It, he's like the new Steven. I could never get into Steven Seagal movies when I was younger because mm -hmm. I feel like Steven Seagal felt like if something happened to his character or if he was compromised in any way on film or shown to not be tough in any sort of way on film, then that was a statement on him as a man in real life that's he's never said as much but that's how i felt watching yeah well Steven i mean Seagal. that's like the, none of them can lose in fast and the furious no one loses a fight yeah unless it's like the end of the movie and the villain loses but then they have their heel turn immediately but, but yeah but like i mean even it's like you know I, I think Ludacris is great in those movies i think he's a lot of fun i think there's a lot of people Ludacris around Vin that are a lot of fun <laughs> even paul walker when he was in it the game crashed yeah that's the best sign uh even even Paul Walker when he was in it was like fun. I felt like to watch because he was like, I'm out of, all out of sorts. Yeah. I'm in over my head here. Yeah. But Vin Diesel is essentially a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fight sequence, like shittily unfolding in front of me in in yeah, the Vin seat Diesel's of a car. Yeah, Vin Diesel's Fast and the Furious is really. 
it's just totally detached, isn't it? I mean, like Rory St Seagal is the Goldberg of Hollywood. Could not agree more. Like <laughs> the what? Uh, Bill Goldberg is who they're talking about, professional wrestler who oh. went on a crazy streak and uh, but the whole time really not knowing how to wrestle at all. It's pretty pretty astounding. That's how, that's how amazing, far yeah. how far he made it not knowing how to wrestle at all, and then he ended Bret Hart's Who's career. Who's the um, um, Benoit of Hollywood? Uh, Harvey Weinstein. Uh, someone who uh, who killed Natalie <laughs> Wood. OJ, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah, Hollywood no, though. That's as, sports. Yeah. I well, know. I mean, he was in a couple movies. So, I don't know. I don't know who it would be. I, uh, Seagal does all that seated combat now. Yeah, I know. The worst thing about it is we made jokes about that. In Game action, crashed. <laughs> in Action Packed and Jack, we made jokes about uh, Steven Seagal like, doing seated combat. And then I went to go find a clip when I was editing the video. And uh, and the clip was from when he was much younger, and I was like, "Oh, he's, he's been doing always it for a long he's time, always been yeah. lazy." <laughs> John Landis, mm, maybe I don't know. What about John Landis? We're trying to figure. So we're so uh, someone in chat said Vin Diesel was the Bill Goldberg of Hollywood, where he was okay. he, he felt like he could do no wrong, but he also really didn't add as much as maybe he thought he did. Um, and then uh, Charlotte asked who the Chris Benoit Chris. of Hollywood was. Yikes. Yeah, a... <laughs> David Carradine, but autoerotic asphyxiation. Well, if David Carradine had not just not just tried to get his own rocks off. Who's Jordan Cross? Just think. It's our. Uh, it's basically Jared Leto. Like you're basically going. There's a band um, here for their lead singer, megalomaniac lead singer's birthday mm. and you are here to annihilate him and i think his like manager let's it, see it rolls into like the syndicate or whatever the name is for a cabal of uh villains let's see how long we can go let's, i'm gonna start check the time right now with only talking about hitman okay you got no, it but that's not are the those point butterflies <laughs> <laughs> time <laughs> <laughs> no butterflies flew by in hitman i like his suit he looks like he's in daft punk Mm -hmm. Daft Punk in Tron specifically. Daft Punk. Remember how everyone remembers Tron Legacy with like a soft fondness, Jazz but in. it's mostly because of the, the uh, soundtrack. soundtrack. I think the only good thing about that movie is young Jeff Bridges. You guys are already talking about Tron Legacy. <laughs> because you talked about how he looked like Daft Punk and they got us to Tron. It was a one note joke that we were going to move on from. No, no, we're going to talk <laughs> as, long, as long as it's sources from Hitman. I, I'll say this much. Tron Legacy exists in the Hitman verse. How can you confirm that? I just know these things. I'll say one thing. Would you about... ask a caterpillar, to, a tiger, to explain its stripes? It wouldn't know how. <laughs> You're not a representative <laughs> for Hitman. <laughs> the, well, they're, they're not even seeing the game. I've <laughs> met people. That... <laughs> the camera's full on us. And no one, by the way, no one said anything. You notice that? No one in chat said a single thing. Thank about you anything. To the black everyone was like, everyone was like, so good, looks good, <laughs> looks good. <laughs> They're like, I'm digging this. This looks good. Look at excellent gameplay so far. Yeah, yeah. But you've been playing for a while. No one said anything. No, the I game crashed. We just started. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's in a member of Daft Punk. I did suit. this on what a show. This is what happens when Patrick's gone. I I played a game for five full minutes, just me in the chat. Mm. Just okay. camera. Yeah. <laughs> You're very expressive though, and people could see it in your eyes. So since Tron Legacy exists in the Hitman universe, can I state that in the Hitman universe, it's obvious to me that uh Tron Legacy for maybe as not good as it is, still had it had to be the sequel to Tron, which is near unwatchable. <laughs> I've never seen it. I have no interest in seeing it. I just thought it literal. That'll come in handy for opening letters. Letters. I'm gonna do the drummer thing. Okay. okay. All right. So you won't need that letter opener. I mean, drummers get a lot of mail. It looks like a wand. Show offers. Oh, maybe you stop. Oh, and yeah. Take see a how bath. much you weigh. Wash your hair. <laughs> I can overflow the sink. Cause it's he's bald. Yeah. You still need to take care of your scalp. Yeah, 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 yeah. At least that's have... at least you still gotta take care of your scalp. I take care of my scalp too. I Hit recently me. washed it with a clarifying shampoo. Mm -hmm. Did you? Can someone explain Is that to me? Like clarified butter. Everyone, 
once in a while you should wash your hair with clarifying shampoo, your scalp. What does that do? You just get a lot of product buildup, but if you use a clarifying shampoo, it basically will get rid of that. So like Trader Joe's makes this tea tree shampoo, which mm -hmm. very cheap, but is a very, very good, like I wouldn't use it every day, but for that once in a while clarifying, I would use it. I don't, uh, I don't need shampoo or conditioner because I just use one of those UV helmets mm -hmm. that I'm sure Hitman would enjoy. <laughs> we already lost the uh, <laughs> Okay, it's fine. You don't need to, that's fine. I'll just play. You guys mm -hmm. can talk about hair and scalp. He must be such a great long distance runner. Oh, there you say lover. Because of his aerodynamic. He's always running. Oh. I. A, yeah, away from something. You know? <laughs> I don't know how to keep any to of these target. topics about it, man. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, sir. Really can't let you uh, I'm a paying member of this hotel. You can't exclude me from this floor. My my instincts want me so badly to just like shoot one of them and start some calamity. But, you but I am going to play the drum. game. Oh, thank you. Yes, mm -hmm. hello. Uh, opportunity is revealing itself. That's that is, that I means. see it. See that connection. The breakfast buffet is open. <laughs> That's the opportunity. <laughs> Patrick Craig says, what are the last words a drummer says before getting kicked out of a band? Hey guys, why not try one of my songs? Um, may I refer you to the great Neil Peart? Hey, what? Well, what also, talking? what? I don't understand. What about Ringo? <laughs> what about Ringo? I've got the song. It is, it is, it's called Octopus is Golden. <laughs> It's about a crab. <laughs> Ringo, I think you go for an octopus. Yes. But then, what? Oh, crabs have gardens, but octopuses don't. They grow them. They got all those hands. Octopuses have herb gardens. <laughs> they ain't got a green thumb, but they got green hands. There's a. I mean, Ringo actually like a pretty pretty solid drummer. But there's oh, yeah. a commercial he did with Skechers, uh -huh. where he's like. Someone is like trying to drum and he's like, here's how you need to do it. And he's got Skechers slips on, slip ons and he just goes And the guy's like, oh, what? And he's like, oh, I drum with Skechers. <laughs> That's okay. real or did you dream that? No, it's real. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're tracking it. Okay, so you're gonna go to play I need drums. to disguise myself as Abel Da Silva. Abel. Um, I mean, I, I've actually seen a drummer get kicked out of a band. Mm. It was, uh... Was that the time we were at your show? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm. it was, was it ever. <laughs> that guy, I don't know. There are some, like, weird legal stuff, but he's a piece of work. I can say that much. I think I'm within my, my legal uh, rights to, to say as such. Ooh. Rory says, Ringo is the only normal person in that group. I don't know what that means. What about Pete Best? Yeah. What about Pete Best? What about Pete Best? Well, also, you ever see any of Ringo's art? Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> the like Microsoft Paint art. Yeah, he's like, I drew this star, peace and love. And then he ends <laughs> his videos. Yeah, uh, there was like an NFT gallery that they were doing, which was really fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, see so now we're gonna get up. No. Oh. Okay. Okay, see so now right. we're gonna get. And uh, oh, there it oh, is, there fault. Careful. The guards are gonna know you're there because your suit is gonna glint the light <laughs> everywhere. In the smell. Like a disco ball. Yeah, the Hitman has a notably fishy smell. I guess this is a boring game to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I guess when no one's talking, it becomes really apparent. Well, no. Oh, look at that bush! We have to talk about the Look game. at the size of that bush, Elise! You're. The pattern on your suit looks like you could be We've on already done some, suit stuff. Maybe on a... we already done suit stuff, um, we're gonna do other stuff. This is a beautiful what, villa. What, 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 look at these helmets on these guys. What are you assassinating, Kaiser Wilhelm? Unbelievable. The shit I put up with. Hide in that trash can. <laughs> I can only <laughs> hide my gun in there. Oh, come on. I thought this was a game about freedom. Just need to get him in here. Yeah, just get him in here. Nice, look at this, seamless. Oh, oh, there's someone following you. I need him. Another quarter. That makes 75 cents. <sighs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Leave me alone. Let oh. me keep my change, please. Imagine if it was that easy. If it was that easy to fall asleep, at least. Or like about to go on like a long flight or something. Just have and then you just choke me out for like two and a half seconds and I'm gone. That'd be sweet. 
And then you just hold a button over me, and then you're dressed as me. And all my clothes are all folded <laughs> up in a little package. In a little sack. Yeah. Oh, I got a bindle. Oh, well, that guy's watching. He can watch as much as he likes. I'm just going to follow this drummer. So he goes and he has a drink. So mm -hmm. I could poison him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or I could just wait. A lot of waiting in this game, and that's cool. What if you kill him by designing a metronome that mm -hmm. slowly loses its beat per minute over uh, time? Yeah, okay. And then he goes insane. He goes crazy. <laughs> what if I rig a lawnmower uh -huh. so that... But once the the grass is shorter, it sets off a mechanism that um, dr I can't do this. Okay. I, I'm sorry, I don't have like the mind you have. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Patrick could think of some awful track, like you could torture have, or something. You could have the mind I have. All you have to do is open up your skull and then all those folds in your brain, flatten them out. Smooth them out. <laughs> oh, I have a coconut. You put the lime in the coconut. Harry Nilsson, huh? Whatever happened to him? Hmm. Is he alive? At least is already disengaging. I'm uh, I'm having a hard time here. Yeah, because at least you're disengaging. I'm trying to think of anything to say about Hitman. You don't have to talk about Hitman. <laughs> nice That's hat, not... idiot. Silent attack. <laughs> That's not why the videos are good. It's when we don't talk about Hitman. What about remember that Disney song? We don't talk about Hitman. All oh, right, I do yeah. remember that Disney song. That's a movie that. People don't really seem to care about it anymore. It Tonto, was big. Right? It was big for as long as it needed to be, right? I this oh, is this I is a bold statement. I think there are some. I think we're making a lot of stuff uh, that is popular, but will not stand the test of time. I think that's. Oh, I think that's shit. kind of where we're landing I mean, with a lot of stuff. A these lot of days. Mar Marvel movies, right? I like, do think, yeah, like we're getting things and things are breaking records every every year, every month or whatever. There's a new record being broken for this, that, or the other thing. But I think that we're going to look back and we're going to be like, oh, um, none of this is memorable. So I, I, I was, well, Encanto, I was fine with Encanto. That was a fine movie. <coughs> but I also like, the song was popular the same way like Baby Shark was popular. <laughs> oh yeah, TMV420. Anyone excited about Killers of the Flower Moon? The teaser came out today. Oh, it did? Uh, yeah, I love, love a Scorsese. He had a really thoughtful interview recently, maybe with Variety and something that he yeah, said he was in it. Yeah, he GameIndustry.biz. <laughs> he talked about something that was kind of heartbreaking in it because Martin Scorsese is in his 80s. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, of and course, Alan. Yeah, and he was talking about how as that as an elderly now filmmaker he still feels like he has stories to tell and techniques that he wants to, to do and but he's running out of time to do it well not only that but he was like he's like i just figured it out yeah he's like i just figured out how to make a good movie yeah um which i would With argue Irish, i might argue against would, yeah, that in some ways him, but, but um, he hasn't figured it out but no yeah i mean i think <laughs> i think when you have stories to tell more than likely you're probably going to not that's not going to stop yeah. just because you're older and less able to do it, you know. Um, how what is the runtime on that movie? Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Because uh, Ryan was telling me that it was over three hours or whatever, and I was like, <gasps> no, no. It, yeah. the, but I, I think he said he was cutting it maybe a little bit more. But there was a really interesting uh, section too about how they changed the focus of that film. Mm-hmm which led to it getting dropped by Paramount initially because mm -hmm. it was originally structured more like a white savior story. And then they were like, no, we shouldn't be telling the story this way. Mm -hmm. um, and Paramount said, no, you will tell the white savior story <laughs> by God. This needs to compete with Dune 2. <laughs> wonder how they're going to handle that. Dune part two? Yeah. Because in the book, it's pretty much like, this is cool. <laughs> this is neat. Well, I will say this about the books of Dune. One of my issues with with it is that there is a whole lot of end of chapter, start of new chapter. Paul enters the room. He his battle was victorious, and I'm like, I would love to have seen that. <laughs> there was a, there was a battle, and it happened out of the pages of this book. That's actually been like a weird thing that's been happening with the season of Ted Lasso. <laughs> Oh. Where with like things that should be like really monumental moments yeah. are not happening on the sh they're ha like happening off camera. It, it is weird because sometimes there'll be an episode and it'll be like 
they'd be like, Richmond is on a 25 game winning streak. Where will they go from here with this season coming to a close? And, I, and then another character will say something that indicates that like, like two days have passed. They're like, oh, I haven't heard from this person in two days. And I was like, okay, well, we saw that in the last episode. So how many games did they play a day to do a bunch of games? Spider with a Y wants to know, do you guys feel like Zelda Tears of the Kingdom will stand the test of time more than, say, Link to the Past? Well, I feel like Link to the Past has very much to test I, of time. I think but having spoken to people and played it a little bit, uh, and uh, I do think that... Oh, there's the drum set. Yeah, see? I thought it was like a concert, but that's okay. Um, uh, I do think that most people are feeling like Tears of Tears of the Kingdom is a sequel to Breath of the Wild, right? Which all Zelda games are technically sequels or whatever, but like, it does feel like, I don't know. I, I think they'll be thought of together. I think they'll be thought of as like, oh yeah, and people will start at, over time forgetting. So you're killing someone this way? No. Oh, you're just playing the drums. Yeah. Hey, well, I mean, I guess that's on me for not... Hey, they actually did, uh... They did actually get someone to do the drums to do the drums. And they like it. And then he dies of a heart attack because you're so good. <laughs> Mission accomplished. No, <laughs> you run to the nearest exit. We're just gonna go talk. Okay. This is definitely not Jared Leto. Anyway, I think they're gonna be... I think we're gonna consider them together as a great game in the future. <laughs> but not necessarily nitpick the two things between them. I mean, them. people are going to remember Breath of the Wild. Yeah, and they're going to call both games Breath of the Wild, like everyone has been doing. That's why I, can, I cannot stop. But it's not just you. Everyone's <laughs> been doing it. I was just seeing people calling it Breath of the Wild online. I have and to stuff check like my that. brain yeah. to say Tears of the Kingdom, because I also, the acronym stands out more to me. Yeah, and I think that it's easier to say Breath of the Wild than it Tears, Tears of the Kingdom feels like it requires more effort to say. Mm-hmm. Maybe we do. Maybe Pac Patrick likes Star Trek. You can do like a Tears of the Klingon <laughs> thing. Mm -hmm. I just like Star Trek. <laughs> I'm just, you get get ready because that's what's next for me after SVU, and I'm going to be insufferable. You're talking about watching the original series, right? Oh, yeah. I'd started doing that. It's fine, but it's definitely the kind of thing where like if you put it on and then like fell asleep, you do not have to go sure. back and finish think, most of those I episodes. I think you start TNG. I think Next I Generation is when you want to start watching. Yeah. Listen. I succumb to peer pressure from one person, and that's Patrick Brown. Well, yeah. So when he says, what the fuck? You trying to, oh, you got recorded. They got gotcha. you. It's your hat, they can't see nothing. You got that wide brim. You look like you're about to sing that happy song. I'll go take care of it, the happy Oh, yeah. Pharrell's hat, yeah, okay, <laughs> I got it. See, joke's about the game. You don't know? crash, don't joke's crash, about the... don't crash, don't crash. Oh. That's my favorite symbol. That one would play on a drum set. You got it back to me. Is it pronounced tears or tears? It's pronounced tears. I think tears or tears. Oh, tears of the kingdom? No, you collect the tears at like those ink and lines. Okay, so the game is broken. You got to the drums though. Hey. But I didn't kill him. That was what was next. Mm, I noticed that. I did notice that. There it goes. Oh, game crashed. Man. What the fuck? It's never <laughs> crashed for me before. What else and now you it's got crashed. Here? Don't, what else you got crashed. for me? I can show you though. That that game we crashed right Alan away. Wake. Like you oh, couldn't have avoid you played it. played a short hike? Yeah, it's wonderful. It's beautiful. And also really tight flight controls. None of these so are downloaded wonderful. though. Uh, oh, Arcade, Arcade Geddon. Geddon. Hey, I heard yeah. that's well written. Let's see. It's so, so solid. Uh None we of these are that. installed, though. Great. Yeah, we could install any number mm. of these games. Hey, Ghostbusters! I heard that one's well written. Yes, yes. I agree. It's fine. It's no Hitman um, 3. Oh, Hugh, okay. I never got to play that. Huh? Never got to play Hugh. I don't good? think I've played it either. I think I just got it for free. I haven't played probably most of these games. The Batmans? I have only played Let's Arkham boot up Arkham Asylum! Asylum. Let's boot it up. Arkham Asylum we stream. Should, we should do Arkham Asylum yeah, stream. I love those games. Okay, well, I'll, that's what I was when we were initially when we were initially I'll, got I'll together and we were like, oh, we should do streams. I was like, we should start pick things that we can just put it. That's why I was like Sonic Frontiers. It's like Sonic Frontiers. 
We could play for hours and hours. Kingdom Hearts, we can play for hours and hours. Well, All those David Cage games, we can play Tim for hours and hours. Tim just said at least should play Lego Star Wars. And I was just talking with Jacob yesterday about, like, I know they dabbled in it a little bit mm -hmm. on another stream, but just playing all those like, the Lego Star games? Wars games. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I love the um, well, Indiana Jones one is fun. The Jurassic ones are great. I mm -hmm. like the Indiana Jones. I like the original Star yes. Wars trilogy. The, yeah. the thing about, you know, a peek behind the curtain for stream games for the chat is, like, you can see a very clear differences in how I play Hitman for a recording and how I play it right now, which is that it crashes and I can't play it. Mm -hmm. um, but also when I'm actually playing the game, it is kind of boring. It's it's not super fun to watch. Yeah. It's so that's ridiculous. why when we have yeah. yes, when we have an hour, I'm like balls to the wall, killing people, throwing shit. That's how those videos get made. Did the VR once? I felt like I was gonna die. Are there mini games? Um, there's the sniper mode, which is. Like we walk sure. up to a table and play craps. They should have stuff like that. Oh in no, Hitman. they don't have that. No. They should have like in-world things where okay. it's like you know. A lot of things should have happened in this world, please. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 I did a. I did go to a preview event for Hitman Two when it was coming out, and I played a level, and I like got out by the skin of my teeth, got all collected all the things, and then. Uh, I like got to a car as I was being shot at, put the keys in, revved out and drove out of there. And I just heard, and there were three PR guys behind me, developers, oh, nice. yeah, and yeah. one of them leaned forward, Sven, and she went, you've played this game before. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I have, I, I have. I bet it makes them super happy to watch someone successfully traversing you know, the game. They also like when you raise your hand and you break things too. Oh. You go, I think this is broken. Hey, uh, mine's loud. Can we, can, this is broken. Or I prefer preferred when other different dev team handled the game. That's what also is a good thing to say too. Huh? Well, well if they're like, an, if the game has passed hands, you go, oh, I always preferred it when X Y. There's that amnesia demo that comes out. I that forgot about that. Is that a Bloober team? I forgot about that. It comes out Monday. The right, demo because they push the release date to to June, but then the next week they have a demo. Maybe we'll play that on the Tuesday stream. We're gonna play more Rayman Legends, but maybe we can do the demo too. Andrew says, I hope I get a chance to see you guys at RTX this year. I'm sure you will. Like we'll probably be around the Funhouse booth, see mm -hmm. you at the panel. Well, not me. Oh not yeah, Charlotte. not Charlotte. I'm not going. Not going. It's a religious yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. abstention. Yeah, yeah. Missing key card. Uh oh! Oh, it's because last time the guy walked you up. Oh, I did, and I do have a. You didn't check into the hotel. I know, but I got an electric key card thing, but I, it's in the room. <laughs> Dope. Okay, speed run going well. Speed run, waiting on the uh, guy to take my luggage up. All right, I'm speed running a Hilton. What's the term for this kind of architecture? A uh, uh, greenhouse. Uh, um, atrium. Atrium. Yeah. Is it, it looks, atrium? I think it's an atrium. It looks like a. Um, Google it. it looks like a train station. It yeah, looks like, but it's like a specific story. time period, right? It's like turn of the century. Oh, well, the turn, the, the, are you talking about the kind of like the... I mean, the art. turn of the century of which this type of atrium um, architecture... Well, it's Art Nouveau. Um, but is this is Art like, Nouveau? Like that's an atrium, I don't right? Think. Yeah, and I, I understand, yeah. but I'm saying like this specifically, because like there was a lot of this happening. Well, this happening. is an atrium. I got that. <laughs> There's a lot of this happening around a specific time period where like train stations, like everything yeah. was glass. It's like we figured out how to use glass and shape yeah. glass. And Art Nouveau has a lot of that kind of like swirling mm -hmm. look to it. Okay, yeah. That's like um, World's Fair kind of stuff. Yeah, and then Art Deco. Came afterwards, right? It's like Bioshock. Yeah. yeah, a lot of cleaner lines. House on Haunted Hill. Gold trim, Prey. The remake. Why don't we just play through all of Bioshock Infinite? Infinite? Uh, I never played that one. I it, it, I mean, I don't know what its reputation is, but I enjoyed it for just kind of being a, a wacky wild shoot 'em up. I thought I thought that person was walking have you, with have, you. Oh yeah, we could play through all of Psychonauts too. I was I was planning to do that at some point. Yeah, I, I need to do a replay through. Where oh, Colin go? says it's an atrium. Thanks, Colin. Whatever. I don't need that. <laughs> Fart new bro, that's funny. Wow, wow, <laughs> that's rude. Who's that? Who's that tiny little? <laughs> <laughs> Shane, Shane says anything but a hateful Hitman gameplay. <laughs> hateful Hitman. Listen, 
What Hitman needs to do, they, you know how Nicolas Cage is in Dead by Daylight and yeah. you can clean out the bikini bottom in uh, Power Wash Simulator? Well, we're putting Tiffany Amber Thiessen in Hitman. They should. They should do stuff where it's like, all right, Who's you're going Tiffany to Jurassic Amber Park. Hithman. Hithman. Like, you're, you're, there's a mission you need to accomplish inside of the Welcome Center in Jurassic Park. Or like, just, it's the... It's the building Nakatomi Plaza. Like they should just start like getting that license and mm. throwing it all, like, buying up stuff. Mm -hmm. And Charlotte Tiffany Amber Thiessen is Kelly Kapowski from Sick by the Bell. You know who Tiffany Amber Thiessen is? Oh my God, Charlotte. You didn't have the volleyball Charlotte. poster. Charlotte. We all had the volleyball. You gotta poster. go Google. I didn't have a volleyball poster. She had two phases. Uh, oh, like, like Kelly like Kapowski she was a boss, and then boss, Beverly right? Hills 90210. Yeah, yeah she did. I don't remember her character on a, a name on 90210. Because she was more of like a bad girl on 90210. She was, but in, she endeared herself yeah. to everyone over time, like everyone did except for Ray. Oh, <laughs> Ray. Ray. Remember Ray? He was no. Donna's. Uh, he was Donna's boyfriend for a while and had great sideburns, but then pushed her down the stairs. Ooh. He never really recovered from that reputation wise. You remember Ray? Ray. He was like a real life m musician, and he played like weird oh, soft country. Music. I just saw, watched an SVU last night that had Sugar Ray in it. Oh, and Bobby wow. Flay. Which in Sugar it. Ray? Mark McGrath. Oh, okay. All the things that I used to play. Ooh, ooh. Bioshock and Hitman. Well, yeah. oh, they immediately went for it. Don't worry, you got a fresh disguise. They don't know who I am. I don't know where you are. Goose says, I've been wanting to replay the Bioshock games, just can't find the time to do it. Well, we should play it on here. And then you can come in and play it. for us. If you want to fast forward through some parts, you can. That is very smooth, Charlotte. <laughs> that not suspicious at all. <laughs> that not spish. Um, everyone's... Clockwork is kind of messed up. This is actually normal. Mm -hmm. The episode of SVU was there was a a scammer who was stealing intel, uh, sure. notable men's we're gonna, sperm. We're gonna need you to pull the conversation back to Hitman, okay? Because sometimes you get distracted. So last night us. Hitman was watching Law and Order. Aha! Uh -huh, there we go. <laughs> Charlie, is there an SVU video game? There must be. Law and Order. It's probably I don't know. it's probably like one of those weird PC games, or it's yeah, like we should do that clips and stuff. Law and order video. I mean, there's so many Law and Orders, and it's funny when they do it a tie-in with a Law and Order season that only had one season. Mm -hmm. Where's the guy? Oh, if I can get upstairs, I can get my key card. Law and Order Criminal Intent. That sounds familiar. Video game. Oh, Criminal yeah, Intent that's not SVU. is... Is a video... Okay. I don't remember which one. I don't know if there's an SVU. It was Criminal Intent with um, Lawrence Fishburne. Yes, I got it confused with Criminal Minds. Mm, maybe I'm doing that too. Eleven Heart and then Pounding Law um, and Order SVV episodes fans. CSI will never is Ted Danson, right? Uh, no, that's the Good Place. No, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> you could keep it on Hitman. Mm -hmm, sorry. This is my room, and now, uh, wait. Wait, you got into your room? You had to break into it? Like some sort of comedy movie from the 90s? Yeah, I broke into it so I could get my uh, universal key. And now, check this out. They should reboot the Hitman film franchise. I actually don't want to do that. And they should, but they should do it with Rowan Atkinson. Rowan Atkinson is just, he's sent to the uh, Monaco to complete an assassination. Unfortunately, he's stupid. <laughs> they should, well, I mean, Johnny English, right? Johnny, but he's a spy, not a hitman. They're close. I've noticed that movie spies seem to do a lot more killing than intelligence gathering. How many Johnny English movies do you think there are? Two, obviously. I think she's right. Yeah? I am. We're sure they didn't reboot it again? They never rebooted it the first, wait, what? I don't know, maybe there's a third out there that we're not aware of. A third Johnny English? I'm losing a lot of viewers. Don't say that. <laughs> It's just true? like the number just keeps going down. Stop, stop. It, it, when the Hitman crashed, the number went it up. It went up again, yeah. And then, and then, to, and then you, ha you, had the, you had the thing hovering over have, Arkham. I don't have to do this. The stuff was hovering over Arkham Asylum and it was skyrocketing, <laughs> but then the game reloaded again. Yeah, how are we doing on that Arkham download, that install? I don't know. 
We'll wait till the game crashes again and then I'll <laughs> check. She's so funny. <laughs> oh, nice. Look, <laughs> your old timey pistol. Gotcha. What the fuck? Stretch out these legs. These old legs of mine. Just slide that down. That was funny. Slide down. <sighs> See, I don't like this room because there's nowhere to stow the body. Mm, I hate that. The, the body, the yada, body. yada, yada. The body. How do you say body? Love Rowan and Atkinson, from? hate Johnny English, and hit man. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> one, a couple things to know about me. One, I love Johnny English. Two, hate Rowan Atkin. Oops. God damn it, every time I do Suspicious. it. Suspicious. I feel like Johnny English is kind of like a man for all seasons. Jonathan English? That's, Jonathan that's his English. father's name. Please. <laughs> what you know what's we weird is that it, when they did the, in, the international distribution, they changed his last name depending on the country. Wow. Johnny Thailand? Johnny Deutschland. Uh, I, um... Oh, okay. Oh, you can't go by the lights. Every time you go by the lights, it oh crashes. Gosh. Why is that happening? The are lights are here? bad news. You've been spotted. Are you new here? You got spotted. Did it crash? This yeah. has never happened. Sounds like it's not a complete game. It's been it's up like, for like three years. It's like God doesn't want us to play. <laughs> he doesn't. Murder is a sin. She doesn't. I'm talking about... Her guy. Do you that really? Takes care of stuff. Do you really think a uh, uh, um, a man god would make some place so cruel? Do you have Jedi, do you <laughs> have Jedi Survivor? If you guys want to play a different game, be my guest. No, 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 no. I've uh, never played Jedi Survivor. I don't have a copy of it or a save. It hasn't. Can someone out there uh, send Charlotte a copy uh, of the game, please? That's what you were implying, right? I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. <laughs> what if instead of playing a game, not today, but some other day, we just have the camera on us full screen and we watch all Mr. Bean? It's just us reacting to Mr. Bean? All of them. They're not that many episodes. And we just tell the audience this is the time code we're at for Bean? Yeah, we Bean just have the time code, but we'll have to reload it for each one. So it'll be the name of the episode, Mr. Bean Goes to Town, perhaps. And then, uh, and then it'll say how far into the episode we are. Do you know what they should do is, um, and I mean this, this is not a bit, they should do a Mr. Bean YouTube channel where he like gives out thousands of dollars to strangers and like, but he accidentally gets the dollars, like he dumps them into the like, like a sewer grate that he can just almost barely reach. Um, and it's called Mr. Beanst. He knew it was coming. Mm, okay, okay. Well, I was gonna say, the rest of that is true. Mr. Bean does have a YouTube channel. It has millions of subscribers and I'm one of them. And it's just <laughs> perpetually live streaming the Eight I episodes saw... of Mr. Bean that exist. <laughs> I saw that in your eyes the second the, I started. It, whoever's I mean, running, I didn't, I didn't hide it at all. Whoever's running that uh, that account deserves some sort of Hall of Fame level award because they have managed to create a constant, a constant flow of Mr. Bean content on that YouTube channel with 14 episodes or whatever of Mr. Bean, just mixing it, it'll go, Mr. Bean sits, and then it'll be every single sketch for Mr. Bean sits, compi like compiled into this hour long thing. Go, Mr. Bean loves to eat, and then every single time he's eating, and it's just a mishmash. A little bit of the animated Saturday morning cartoon so Mr. Bean So we should Bean be doing that in. for Funhouse. We should be like the Charlotte Spill compilation. Yeah. Anytime James mentioned steroids, like we should, we should yeah. hire the person who runs the Mr. Bean yes. account. If you're watching, which you may have been, but then stopped watching as soon as the game booted back up. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Charlotte. Then, I know uh, you're not. It's okay. Then, uh, then please message us. Uh, we are looking. We already know your work speaks for your, we speak volumes <laughs> for yourself. So. I have something to talk about that's different. It, <laughs> is, it, was it is SVU related, but not in the way that I would have thought. Mm -hmm. okay. So I was watching the episode that Bobby Flay and Sugar Ray and a third guy that rhymes to A were in. Yeah, and they were all having their sperm stolen. Mm -hmm. Go on. By Go on. a woman who was a classic con artist. <sighs> Women. She walked too. These gray areas in the end. Anyway. There's a guy that plays a rich cremation scientist that she steals his sperm as well, and she's having his child. He's a rich British scientist that his name is Barclay Pallister. 
He's now, a cremation scientist? Yes, he's found a way to completely dissolve human bodies. Okay. Which is a serves as a red herring. And I just walk into the race in my my finest gauze. <laughs> Um, the thing is, I you know you see an actor on this show. It's like okay, what what else did they get up to? He looks familiar. He's just mm -hmm. like an English guy, and so I googled him and I forget his name. Um, uh, uh, Julian Sands or Sand. Okay. Julian Sands. Yes, he got lost in the mountains four months ago and was never found. Like just oh, outside of guy? California, the actor. I was just like, see, yeah, all the results story. were like, well, he. I never saw anything about him actually being confirmed. Yeah. Not found, but there were, the last coverage was from a month ago. Like you don't look up something about a TV episode from 2005 and expect to find a story from a month prior. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was like a very shocking and alarming rabbit hole to be like. Not only has this guy been in other things that you've seen, mm -hmm. he went missing. Yeah. Gosh. And the historic snowfall hampered all rescue efforts and yeah. search. It was. I, I, I don't know. I, I just, I didn't really know what to do with the information. Mm -hmm. Who to tell? Who to tell, indeed. Teps 21, I'll do it for $6 a month. I know my worth. Don't try to pay me any more than that. Okay. What Unfortunately, we're well, looking for the best Teps. I need to eliminate <laughs> Dennis Delaney with a non-silent shotgun as a food vendor. What? Do I, need I repeat myself? <laughs> Okay, so I want. You need to. So you need to address it. Where do you think you're going? I, I was. Where do you think you're only going? joining for the first hour of Pitman? Oh, so okay. She did right. say that. Yeah, I said that was okay. So, so, so 17 minutes remaining. You're cutting loose, huh? Well, we went over with Raymond. Well, I wasn't under the impression that we'd be making up that time with Hitman. <laughs> I, I was under the impression at the beginning, but now I'm not under that impression mm -hmm. anymore, and I want nothing more than to not be playing Hitman in this room anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll say whatever I damn well please. This is America. This isn't Johnny English. We're in Miami now. Home country, wherever is, that is. This is DeSantis country. Do you think it says Johnny English on his driver's license? Yeah, obviously. Are you aware that you're gonna get my knuckles in your face? He wants face? me to follow him. Oh, okay. All right. This is like when I was at a water park when I was a kid, and one of the lifeguards rescued me, even though I was fine, and then All took me to, to the back room. Shut the door behind him. Perfect. The perfect hit, man. Is he not gonna come. Yeah, I was gonna say, wouldn't he just come right back out? Not necessarily. Wait, did someone not shoot at you just then? What yes, happened? Yes, I have no idea. I think the game didn't realize there was a barrier between us. Uh oh. Yeah, like people are like ducking well. cover over out there. So this is not the formal one. You need to dress up. You need to find a way to dress up like a food vendor and kill someone with a shotgun. Yes, I, um, you know, admittedly didn't want to wait around to get a better uh, shot at a costume. Which do you know where the shotgun is? Uh, no. Okay, all right. Well, we'll that's how these. Digging. That's how these go. We'll and that's, and that's fun. Okay, that's. Mm -hmm. That's the fun part. Look at them, they're searching for you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Great. Just blend in, just a security <laughs> guard hanging on the dance floor. Even when he puts on the shirt, it says Hitman on the back. You ever think about how like, if you go to a sporting event or something, like you're gonna, you, you pay money to like be there, but there's some people who's, it's just their job to be there. So my they don't grand, care. My grandfather went to work as security at the baseball stadium mm -hmm. for that very reason, till he realized that when he stood on the stands on the stairs, he had to face away from the field. That's that's <laughs> the part of the job. He was that, like, yeah. "This sucks." There's always this thing at wrestling events where you'll see like security or whatever, and they just basically have to. They have the front, the best seat in the house, front row, and they but then they sit in these chairs facing the audience, and I'm like, that is almost worse. Is that the only way we can, like, I'd rather be like, put me high up, let me see down. I'll, I'll watch the backs of people's heads and know if they're trouble. Yeah, because I actually knew someone who could identify celebrities by the back of their head. Was it you? No. You can say it was you. I'd lie about it. It wasn't you me. Can I, don't, it was I can't you. recognize celebrities by their faces. I don't believe in celebrity. There, I said it. That's really brave of you. <laughs> just, I just don't believe in it as a concept. I think I think celebrity is a manifestation of one's own uh, belief in their self worth. 
Wow. There's, it would be, Hitman would be way easier if there was a button where you could just go, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> Excuse me. Like, tap, so, if you tap someone on the shoulder and go, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure, what's up? And then pull them aside and then oh. murder them. Like, I feel like that'd be way easier. Is that guy still there? I want this guy. He's got a food vendor. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying it's like the guy who was watching you still there. I don't know. Just give him a tap on the shoulder. Hey, can I talk to you over here a second? Sir, can we talk about this? Excuse me? You have a license? If you could just walk up to someone and say, do you have a permit to be operating the that uh, hot plate here? I've sir? worked here for 35 years. Uh, sir, Dubai did not Fuck exist 30 years sake. ago. <laughs> this is Miami. <laughs> Let's toss. Maybe if you throw something he wants down. Oh, okay. A mortgage. <laughs> Take one of his hot dog buns, throw it on the ground. See, this is the worst. Take a bite. Go, this is the worst hot dog I've ever had in my whole life. Let me show you how to do it. Yeah. Give me the apron. Yeah, give me the apron. Reason with him. Right, I'm going to get some other food vendor. Fuck this guy. Good for him. He doesn't know. He doesn't, he doesn't know, know that know his stubbornness just <laughs> completely saved his life. I'll take one of your hot dogs, and then I'll Could take you... another one of your outfits mm -hmm. and some fries, please. What's that? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the f that's the feature we need for Hitman games. It's their full interactivity, so you can wear VR goggles, and it has a microphone, and it has a real time understanding, yeah, so you say, can like walk up to me. them. Yeah. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. Or like you do the, you work the register. Yeah. And you're like, wow, I'm pretty good at this. You might as well just grab me an apron. That's you you go in and you say, gee, mister, I could really use a job. Let's games. see, there's these shoes I want to buy What's, for my mom this Christmas. Is that a gun case over there? What was in there? Gun case? Like there's like a thin case in there? In the back left? What is that? Oh, that's a body uh, thing. Uh oh. The whole thing is just a dumper? It's the lid. Yeah, it's just a dumper. Just a lid dumper. You know, I wonder. What if you just throw the butcher knife up really high, walk away, excuse me, the cleaver, that's not a butcher knife, the cleaver really high, and then it happens to fall into the head of a, oh, wow. Fuck. He knows. He knows what's up. Also, this, there's this, a lot of witnesses, right? I'm security. Okay. And it's Florida. Oh, you're good. Just needed to go back. You're just standing your ground. Your yeah, high ground. Yeah, yeah. This, this, the city is registered as my home. Mm -hmm. So the yeah, second yeah. you enter Miami-Dade County, how are you gonna get his clothes though? They're gonna put his body somewhere. <laughs> Fuck. Damn, he's he's hardy. Okay, he's surrendering. <laughs> <laughs> well, that went pretty well. About as well as you could expect. Did you hear that? I heard shots. <laughs> that was crazy. Remember in Cars? Yeah. When uh, uh, John Ratzenberger is is he? He's back to work, and he hey, you know, you gotta you gotta pay the bills. Um, when when Lightning McQueen is riding inside of John Ratzenberger. Yeah, I do. What's that? that? What's that all about? What's well, his that, trailer? Is the trailer a part of him, or is he technically the truck? That's pulling the trailer. Oh no, why do you have to turn and look? Oh, I just need guy. them to drag him. Somewhere. Crime noticed. They go, who did this? It, it was a security <laughs> guard. And you go, all right, case closed. <laughs> Whoever he is, I'm sure he had his reasons. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna investigate a guy who's just trying to feed his family. Oh. Nice, smooth. Now pop out and go, Come, come around and go, hey, freeze! Oh, it's you. Yeah. Oh, I heard, oh, I heard the sound geez. of a knife getting thrown in some guy's face as he screamed, it's Hitman. I think up on the D-pad on this controller is kind of fucked. Uh-oh. Well, like I said earlier, there's no way we could possibly ever get a working controller. Can we return it? Return it? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't think we have the receipt for that. Okay, business as usual. These things happen in the food industry. They do. I mean, especially at a crowded place like this. <laughs> there you go, see? Yep. Now I like it. So much detail out. in this game, but then other aspects of it are like straight up The Sims. Mm hmm Like. Oh. I can't let him see me. 
This is the fastest route ever with all, everyone staring on. They couldn't have just taken him back to the security. Sorry, sorry, pardon me. Pardon me. I apologize. I really Look didn't, away. I didn't want to do this. Please enjoy the race, everybody. Yeah. Sorry, some bad chicken. There's not a bot. This there's a there's kettlebells in here. They're man-shaped kettlebells. <laughs> Look, like he's trying to get through the biggest. This is the, yeah, this is the fastest way. <laughs> Getting gone through security. I've, huh? I've never seen this before. This is really funny. There they go. <laughs> oh, sorry. He literally dragged the body of a food vendor through a confetti. Even people who weren't aware that there was a murder that took place <laughs> now are being exposed to this. <laughs> He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna try and cross the track. Uh huh. Well, excuse me. It's like Frogger. <laughs> he he drags it into a car and he's like, ah, shoot, I really didn't want to do this. It's probably a shotgun in here too. Oh. There we go, right out of the way. I see a shotgun. Oh, there's a shotgun. You're right. Perfect. I love it when a plan comes That's going to look really good on the back of your vendor's costume. No. Yep, right here into the restroom. Close this. Sir, oh. Oh. Let me just pop him in here. Uh -huh. Now you drag him all the way back <laughs> to the food vendor. And got that. Perfect. Look at you. But now how do you get out? The window. Oh, of course. <laughs> Can't have the shotgun though. So we're gonna put that down. Or maybe we won't. Oh my god, the, fit, the target is way over, over there. there. How would you possibly ever get your shotgun over there other than bringing it yourself? Well, I have a, another idea, which is don't bring the shotgun over here. Bring them this way. <laughs> if we can kill them in public, they'll also get dragged here. Wait, kill who? If we knock out the target and just let them get dragged back here. Would they get but if they're not dead, they wouldn't get dragged here, would they? If they're just knocked out, are they just gonna drag a right, body here? You're right. They'd have so to be dead. Right. So you have to make it seem as though they're dead with some sort of special concoction <laughs> that stops their heart just long enough that they get dragged in here. Oh, I actually know a guy. Is it the Hitman's is, Apothecary? I was gonna say, is it the priest from, from Romeo, Romeo and, and Juliet? Juliet? Yes. Hitman's very well versed in the classics. Okay, well the gun is gonna make me stand out like a sore damn thumb. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a new kind of hot dog. You know what? I can take the gun back there. Drop oh. it off near the target and then run can't, back. Can't you just pick up the food vendor's disguise and walk with it? You would think, wouldn't it's you? It's in a little baggie. The world's not the way you want it to work, James. No, it's not. You've got Sir, a few I, things to learn me. about the hit. Trust man. me, it's not. <laughs> I'm sitting here watching that man. Oh, VIP Street. So I says to him, I says... Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm talking to you now, <laughs> anyway. My fucking wife... He looks scared. Okay. Look at this cool little street. It's like VidCon. It's just like VidCon. <laughs> this looks like VidCon, except everyone is adults. And wants to be there. I will say I always appreciated how VidCon would continue inviting us. You know? I went last year. They, appre they, appreci they appreciated that they were like, yeah, you can come. We know that your demographic isn't here at all, but we <laughs> yeah. appreciate you. We appreciate you. Go, oh, I appreciate you, VidCon. Sure, sure. Just come on out. Just pop on over to VidCon. All right, where's... There's one. Oh. Where's the other one? Because you're going to have to do this twice. Where's the other guy? I don't know. Can I take this camera? That's <laughs> blending in. Take your photographs. I have no idea where the other target could be. 
That sounds like a later problem. I at least want to get one. This yeah, we got to get one. Just use that crowbar there. Forgot my key. Sorry. This is my key. It's a novelty oh. key. <laughs> He's like, that's strange. There aren't supposed to be any shotguns here. Curious. I'm waiting on my friend, my best friend in the world, the food vendor. Oh, no. There he is. So just All go right. ahead and drop the uh, shotgun there yeah, in the yeah, toilet. Sorry. Put it somewhere where it won't get picked up accidentally. Uh, this place looks pretty empty. Oh. Let's see, does he, oh, he, he was wondering what you were doing. I'm doing normal stuff. Just checking out the alley. Say security reasons and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, 10 4, it's clear. <laughs> I can't close this door. It's open forever now. You broke it with the crowbar. Yeah, I guess I did. Hey, right, well, shit. That's. Okay. <laughs> okay, if I run back here, no one should move yeah, it. Yeah, it'll be fine. Just make take a take a dump, put it somewhere, take a dump on it. And then no one will mess with it. It's gone. <laughs> I can already feel it. It's gone. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. God, it's such a long walk back, though. I feel like this is there's a better way to do this. Imagine being dragged. <laughs> <laughs> hey, weren't you the guy that just dragged the corpse through here? Yeah. No. Look at all the the mess. <laughs> sorry. Ooh, sorry. It's people still waiting for hot dogs. I just, I don't really want a hot dog. I don't think he's coming back, Carol. I just really want a hot dog. I don't want a burger. <laughs> Maybe it was like a, like a not a, not a big knife. You know. Maybe uh, he's fine. Yeah. Maybe it was like a, like a stitch breaker in a sewing kit. Yeah, I think he's dead. Uh, yep, there he is, dead. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Not gonna walk in the camera because that crashes the game. It popped for a second. I know. I don't know if I got caught or not. I work here. All right, right here, right this way. Oh, thank God. We were looking oh, for I someone get a, to serve a hot dogs. Worst, please. Thank God you're here. The the last guy got a knife in the face, and I've been hungry as hell. It's amazing that Elise left right before things started actually happening in the game. She's got an uncanny sense of when something's about to get interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the hair goes up on the back of her neck and she knows. She's got to cut that, by mm -hmm. the way. I like it. It's long. <laughs> it comes from everywhere. I'm all for positive, you know, self-image, but mm -hmm. come on, where does it stop? Shoddy. Mm -hmm. Boink. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm broken. I set, don't, I, set it down. Set it down. You can go back no, I, for it. I need it. Yeah, I know, but. Oh, boy. That's a bad look. That's a bad look there in the hallway there with the shotgun. Oh. I'm going to put it right here. That's perfect. No one's coming this way. Did you hear that? Oh, you timed it right as the cars went by. Vroom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds like someone fired a shotgun right as the car went by. <laughs> Wait, where the fuck? Where are they? Uh, they were on the map. Can you see them on the map? Oh, just a little bit ahead. Dennis Delaney, right over there. Oh. Oh. Oh, not too far away. All right, well, let's get messy with it. Oh, Lord. You're going to run through this crowd with a shotgun? Yeah. Okay. They're here for the race. <laughs> I've never been to a race. I don't, I think I went to a NASCAR race once in like Virginia. Uh huh. Maybe if I look like one of those, maybe the heat from a shotgun blast is how I cook my hot dogs. If it just, I put them in there. I was gonna yeah. say, you should have just built, taken a bunch of buns and set them around the shotgun. This is gonna go well. I yeah, think. it's gonna work. No one's noticing, no one cares. They're so fixated on the race, no one cares. They're so excited, cool as a cucumber, it's blending in. It's only security that actually gives a shit. 
if you have like a gun. Yeah, because this is America. You, you're right. Uh oh. Hmm. Oh, you're blending in though. Yep. Oh. Oh no. Not, not it. No flinch from the uh. from the crowd here. Uh. Where is he? Uh. All right, locate the exit. Drop it, nice, good, clean drop. That's oh. the thing, just set it down and go. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, someone shot someone! <laughs> Come on. So close, so close. Get your photo taken! This is a perfect opportunity for a photo op! <laughs> I always want to remember this moment. Cheese! I've turned the tables. Nope, they're scared. They're scared of you. <laughs> oh. Uh oh, here comes oh. security. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> That's fine. Let's just call it. That counts. Yeah, that I, counts. Had, I had fun. That counts. I could have done it better, but I wanted to get my picture taken. No, yeah. You'll have that memory of that guy's face forever. It's weird that the Thailand map is just broken on the third floor. Well, also, yeah, when you go through the, the security, security camera, camera yeah. especially. Well, they should patch that for the next time we do this. I'm sure it's on the way. Patch is on the way. Well, now it's a community show. It's a community supposedly. show. Where's Lindsay? Want me to get her? Uh, I can get her. I Well, yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll sit here I'm with the chat. The doorway, Lindsay! <laughs> I have to pee really bad. Yeah, I, I forgot we don't stream Hitman because it's not the most interesting thing unless you're like zhuzhing it. Doing it on my stream is different, you know, because I can just bullshit <coughs> for an hour, two hours. Good news, Jacob told Lindsay that she had an extra 20 minutes because we started late. So then, boot it right back up. Go ahead, Should pop I do in the same there. one? With what, it, what can we do? Can we do any of these? Yeah, we can do any, any one of them. I'm trying to think what we've done not so much. We haven't done Dubai a lot. That, that's Berlin Russia. Berlin is far yeah. too oh, yeah. big. That's, Ber uh, that's the club. John King is also huge. Carpathian Mountains suck. But we did Ambrose one. Island. Uh, I, think I feel like the one we've now. done the least is the skyscraper and the bank or whatever. I love the bank, but uh, we'll do the skyscraper. We'll do an escalation. The Sinbad string. That's funny. Like from the, the comedian? Yeah. That's funny that she, that he told her that. They might come sooner, but... <laughs> the timing was just so perfect of you having done that mission. And we're like, there we go. Done. Perfect ending. <laughs> Voila. Well, let's try one more. Is that a room? Yeah, it's like an art installation oh, in the game. Classic. Classic, classic art classic. installation. Yeah, you, you ever notice what artists are doing these days? I like I like how some people are like, you know what I should do with my money? I should take a portion of a mall <laughs> and yes. I should turn it into a place where people can come and take Instagram photos of themselves. I mean, that's been a strange trend. Yeah. Which really sucks because you know what was happening before that? VR. People were installing VR everywhere. That's still happening. There's still a lot of that. Is there? Because the Void went out of business, of didn't it? I have no idea what that is. The Void was like the good one. That was, was the one it? that had like I Star just Wars. I they were weird and sad. No, I mean, some of them are really good. The Void Star Wars was awesome. I need a kitchen knife. Um, and then there was another one that was like something journey or whatever. Oh, God damn it! I did it again. Nothing. We didn't miss anything. Just an art installation. Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat. Did you see the trailer for Mortal Kombat 1? Back nope. to beginning. We're resetting Mortal Kombat 1. It worked for... I kept waiting God for them to it. do gameplay that whole trailer, but I had a feeling they weren't going to do gameplay. Is it a remake or are they just doing the, the thing the that story people do now where they just names don't matter? N well, the story continues on, but in such a way that they've, oh, they've rebooted the... Timeline. Hey you. 
Hi, I like Lindsay. whatever. I like what you've got going hey, Lindsay. on. Hey, Lindsay. Did you where, just come back from Palm Springs? Where did Elise go? I wish. Lindsey, Lindsay, uh, uh, Elise left. What? You look like a uh, Clint Eastwood. Baby, lock them doors and turn the lights down low. This is where the I started. Void sold Domino's Pizza. I don't know what that means. The Noid, maybe, is what they're doing. James. Yeah. A good question for you. I'll answer it. What's the most luxurious thing in your life? Mm, probably my uh, my eighty thread count sheets, Lindsay. <laughs> That's a good answer. Eighty. Eighty. Maybe. Yeah, Maybe I can so. feel each individual thread. It's like sleeping on logs. You count them before you fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> One, two. Unless Elise interrupts you. Um, the most luxurious thing in my life. Oh, I know where the kitchen is. Doesn't have to be expensive. Could just be something like, for example, I said earlier, I got an egg cooker. That feels pretty luxurious. Egg cooker, huh? It was like 25 bucks. I've been thinking about getting one ever since she told me about it. I haven't. It's luxurious. It's like, yeah, it's very cheap. Because it saves me so much time. And mm -hmm. it's perfect. I that don't have to worry about messing poison, up. poison. A must. It makes, does it only make, hard, it only makes hard boiled eggs though, right? Hard boiled, soft boiled, medium. Okay. Yeah, anywhere on the range. But mm -hmm. also does poached eggs too. Good for you. Um, or it could be something expensive. Like I said, another thing that's kind of an item of luxury is like an iPad. That feels pretty luxurious. IPad. I feel like my life would be better with an iPad. I feel like I, my life would be better if I had an iPad. The the uh, where's the kitchen? The oh, I know where one is. Last time, oh, last wait. when I bought a car, my my most recent car models. that I bought, a Honda. It was the first time I ever probably bought anything where I said, no, give me the nicer trim. Yeah. That's like, that is give what me I did the with non bottom my, bottom tier. I that's want what I did with my Corolla because I wanted the black wheel wells and a spoiler. Yeah, <laughs> I got a sport model. I was like, this is the only time I've ever gotten any version of something that isn't the entry level yeah. version of something. So we'll say that. Oh, that's a good answer. Yeah, you yeah. know, what? Elise also mentioned your car. No, oh, okay. Well, she's on the lease. <laughs> she's on Elise. <laughs> she's she's on it. She can say it's hers. I meant like your guys's car. Oh, oh our car, <laughs> yeah. yeah, collective car, yeah. Uh, oh, do I have to follow you? Nope. Oh, oh. Bidet, yeah, the bidet was another thing. That bidet is bidet, pretty bidet, nice, bidet, bidet, but bidet. I don't think that should be a luxury item. I think there's be tons of fare, there's yeah. tons of countries standard, where right? it is standard and and. Just, oh, I can't change my disguise. So oh, another question for you. Yes. Follow up is. What is the best thing that happened to you last weekend? Let's see, what was last You said weekend? last week for me. Or last week, yes. Yeah, sorry to fix that, oh uh, last God. week. Uh, is that when Tears of the Kingdom came out? Yeah, it was. Friday. That's what a lot of people say. Friday. So if you want to be on original, that's an option. Yeah, I'm probably okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, maybe So I can't maybe that? change my costume. This I'm trying to think what else really happened that weekend. What did I do? Can I get upstairs? Yeesh. Yeah, I guess that was probably the most notable thing. Okay. You know, I have a pretty good appreciation for life though. So, you know, like I can just be sitting around doing nothing on the couch and be like, oh, this is sweet. I'm just hanging out with Elise and my dog. I know that. Oh, so, that's tender. So there is, the, I mean, there's value to that, but I feel like there's, it's, it's hard boring. to quantify yes. that with describing a moment. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, I only asked those two questions earlier, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and ask a third question, and mm -hmm. now the chat can get involved as well. What would you rate a 10 out of 10? That's it? Like anything, what anything qualifies as a 10 like, out of 10? That is a 10 out of 10. Season Everybody... one of the terror. Of the what? The terror. The terror? The, the terror the, about the boat. The boat. The, the frozen boat. The, terror. Oh. the expedition. That's a 10 out of 10, huh? That's, ten, um, that's a 10 out of 10 for me. The Great Gatsby audiobook as read by Jake Gyllenhaal. That's a 10 out of 10? A 10 out of 10. Why are you questioning our answers? <laughs> well, it's not questioning. That's it's more a 10 like, out of 10? You know, it's more like elaborate on it a little bit. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What is, I don't I know. I have what, no notes. 10 uh, out of 10 generally means that there are, it, it's very good. I cannot find a flaw okay. within it. And James can find flaws with anything. anything. Oh, absolutely. And I say that out of uh, respect. I yeah. mean, Elise isn't even a 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I, I mean, I'm not a 10 not, out of 10, you know, you, you're always joke. improving yourself. I am. So. Charlotte is a 10, I'm a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Okay. I feel pretty confident in that. Right. I'd say I'm like a 6.2. <laughs> I'm a little bit half better than halfway. 
<laughs> well, this problem is we've screwed up our our scale because of we talked about this, but no, because of <laughs> grades. <laughs> oh. Because grading is like anything six six out of ten and below is having failed academically. So that means that whenever we're like well, assessing like, yeah, things, yeah, you want to be in the bottom half, James? No, I don't. No, you don't want to be in the bottom half necessarily, but I also don't think like I'm we're noticed. wasting so many numbers when we do a ten point scale and we're like, oh, this game's like only a six out of ten, and I'm like, is it a six out of ten or is it a three out of ten? And you just don't want to go so low because you feel like you're already giving it an F. Well, well, the way that I would do it, I don't do no, I don't base it on that. I would base it on like a percentage of how much the this percentage really of things that I would rate is better than this, and it's like if only. 30% of things are crappier than this, then like maybe I would do a three oh, out of 10. No, what, man. One, oh, of my, God, one of my favorite man. George Carlin bits is he, he says, think of the most average person mm -hmm. you you know, like the most average intelligence. Mm -hmm. they're, they're just average. They don't really say anything smart, but they also don't say anything stupid, mm -hmm. okay? And now consider I'm that- I'm done, it keeps crashing. Now consider that Half of everyone is dumber than that person. Mm -hmm. Really puts things in perspective. I like to think that people contain multitudes of stupidity, so they're stupid in different ways, like an yes. interlocking, yeah. intricate puzzle. Yes. Because I'm, well, I'm a ten. I'm, I mean, but I know people that say, for instance, won't do their laundry and have to wear a tank top from their stream show. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that's something that's stupid, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't say that they're stupid as a whole. Mm -hmm. No, totally. I mean, I think this could apply to, you know, the co-host of my podcast, Ryan Haley, go watch that podcast today that came out where I asked him all these questions where, you know, he would maybe lose his wallet a dozen times and you go, how could you be so stupid? But then you go, you Mensa man? You Mensa man? You know what I'm saying? It's well, again, man. and he got Mensa tested way, anything that like you're in for life, no, no, no. But also, like, no, in no, general, no. I don't think that Ryan Haley's an idiot, so. I Supreme mean, Court? No, 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 no. Except There's for no, except nothing for, should be in for life. Except for gangs. Except for Gangs? What? Blood in, blood out. For life. Well, but even then you can get out with blood, mm. right? Oh, shit, that's true. Though. I just don't think, I nothing in for life. Like, driver, you get your driver's license, that's awesome. But when you're 80, 80 years old, you got to test again. Yeah, you got to test <laughs> You got to test again. Okay. You can crush your car legally when you turn 75, and you can decide whether you want to be in it or not. Okay. Is that the blood out? Yeah. Like if, you don't, <laughs> if you don't want it, your car, if you, you can you can die, mm -hmm. they'll kill you. Okay. All I right. have to pee so bad. All right. Charlotte's gonna Do you pee. need me for this? I mean, I don't want to sit in here by myself if everybody's going to leave. That seems a bit weird. But uh, is anybody else still here? Anybody can come in here. I'm here. James is here. I'll, I'll come back. James is That here. Carlin bit is so false though because that middle intelligence is also the mode, meaning most people sit at that intelligence so less than half of those people are below that. I can go sit at the, the computer. I don't think so. I think if you find, if you find the center point. Um, most people may hover around that, yes. Not necessarily this is a completely even distribution of everyone being dumber, but still. You're gonna find a quantity of people that are stupider. You know, and I was just asking these questions because today's episode, this week's episode of the Funhouse podcast came out, uh -huh. and in the um, second half of it, I switched it up on Ryan and I. I asked him a bunch of questions that were just sort of like thought-provoking questions, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like discussion questions. Yeah. So, so How many then, times did he do this? Did he go? Did he go? Oh, uh, <laughs> right. His mouth hangs agape, and he goes. His eyes start back and forth. He goes, Oh, uh, only a few. Mm -hmm. I bet. I bet. So I thought, yeah, it would be fun to ask some of those questions here, and I—that's exactly what I did. Um, we're gonna—I'm gonna open up the subreddit, and then I'll switch the thing back. How's Funhouse entering summer mode? <sighs> Rolling into summer. Rolling into summer. I want to play volleyball again. Oh my god, I need to get this out of here. First one, that's fine. Um. I mean, yeah, I'm ready for summer. I'm ready to go sit on the beach. You gonna go to the beach this summer? I feel like I should. I mean, I'm going to the beach this summer, yes. Maybe mm -hmm. not the beach here, but I'm going to the beach. Oh, and a beach? I'm yeah. going to a beach. Uh -huh. I'm going to the beach. Yeah. Probably, probably golf, right? Like You're a big fan of the, the golf, 
right? You like to go down to the Florida Panhandle, spend some time there. Is that your favorite version of the beach? No, it's not my Pan favorite version, beach. but that is where I'm going. Oh. Unfortunately. <laughs> I try. I said, "Listen, Dad, let's go to Mexico. Let's go to Cabo. Let's go to Hawaii." Hawaii. And those old timey Midwesterners, they live. They don't live in the Midwest. Oh, you got to pick an island. Which island They're are you like, going to in Hawaii? I don't know. What one do I go to? I don't know. I've never been. You've never been? No. Mm, I say Maui first. Ooh, okay. Uh, and then from there you can go to any other one, depending on how you enjoyed Maui. If your favorite part of Maui was like going to the little towns and like the shops and stuff, then maybe you should go to Oahu. Because then Oahu no, is the most be, civilized I, one. I just like sitting on the beach, but honestly. If, if you're like, I love being at a resort and like doing like excursions, then you go to Kauai. That is a great question from Rock Music. Is there going to be any Funhouse Summer playlist? Oh yeah, we did that last year. That would year. be fun. I put like sort of um, evergreen songs on that playlist that I like. Mm -hmm. I think... Was there one song that I put maybe that was a new hit? But I don't know. Jersey Shore is the best beach. I used to go to that beach when I was young. I've been I've been listening to so many audiobooks that I feel like I'm not keeping up with music. You don't know music? I'm not not at least modern stuff. Here's the subreddit. We haven't been on here in a minute because last Thursday we uh, moved the stream to Friday and we got drunk, which hopefully you enjoyed that too. But we'll take a look at some of your art, some of your beautiful Fan art? A lot of fan art from drunk. I have a confession. <sighs> I don't even remember what, where Liquid James, I remember John saying it. I don't know. John Holland at some point was saying Liquid James. I don't remember what prompted Liquid James being a thing that he was saying. And then I was, and then I, afterwards I was on the subreddit looking at the fan art and some of it was me as physical liquid and other was me from Metal Gear Solid. So I didn't, I completely lost track of what it was supposed know. to be. So someone who was there on Friday, can you explain the context of why I started getting called Liquid James and what it meant? I, I left at four, so I don't know. I got out of here. I mean, I was still here in the building, but I left this stream. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I don't know, did that happen while I was here? I think so. It, then that's even worse for me. I think so. I don't know either. A belated Liquid James submission. Your green suit. Yep. They're just saying your green suit. But, uh, was it because I was partially transparent and then I looked like water? Is that what it was? Maybe that's what it was. Oh, this is tank, right? Got to get a rest check. You know all about screen. the rest check? What? You know the rest check? Rest check? Rest check. Oh, rest check. Okay, not bad. Right? This tank, tank said Tank said that they had drawn this in the bottom right corner of a sheet. This is not a full sheet was not devoted oh. to this apparently. So I guess that's okay, why the resolution so that's why isn't, the res check is just isn't like this. too high. Okay. It's I was still see -through pretty like good, liquid. but it's not okay. yeah, it's not. Oh, your screen's you had water on it. Yeah, okay, I got it. <laughs> All different answers. I feel like maybe Terminator 2? <laughs> Wasn't it, uh, was Gray Fox? Wouldn't I be more Gray Fox, James? Because he's the one who goes in, invisible. Uh, remember when you played see. Metal Gear Solid for the first time? Do you remember how you felt when Gray Fox got stomped on? The remember? first one I played was five. Mm, that's way after. Yeah. Um, this is a ween thing, so we're just going to move on. Well, here's the thing, though. The one thing that this is missing is everyone at Funhouse that Ryan has convinced to go with him to the end. Ah, you see, Because you go to Ween or to Weezer. You go to Weezer or and he, you go But to he's managed to convince everyone to go to the end, except for me. I'm not going to that show. Um, oh, there's my show. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, that's us, right now. This is happening right now. Yep. Yes, yep, cool, cool house. house. Yep, I ate one of these ice. This is remember a couple weeks ago when I was on the stream eating an ice cream sandwich. It was a cool house. It was chocolate though. It was really good. It was, it's decadent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I saw a thing that someone was making their own uh, ice cream sandwiches, but they take took like Cool Whip, which has like you can get with less calories. Yeah. They did Cool Whip, and then they like take some Oreos and they blend it all together, and then they would take that, scoop it, and then put it on graham crackers and smear it out, and then put them together and put it in the freezer for like. Several That's hours. Pretty good. It basically tastes like ice cream sandwich. Gotta get a rest check. 
We need to remove this weird growth the scan found in her left rib cage at once. That's her heart. That's a ghost doctor. Ah, you see, now you see get this it? is a rest check. Get this out of here. You can see the granules on the paper. It's like textury. Yeah. Some textures here. I've seen better reses, Tank. No offense. This is not the best rest is check. Is the I've expectation seen. that that Tank would do a higher resolution? You want to be able to zoom in to a maximum? Is that what it is? I just, yeah, like we've been able to get real in yeah. there. Yeah. It's pretty good. I, 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 I love tank style. I wonder if they'll ever move to digital. Because if they do, we're going to lose all I of the. I tried some digital. Stuff. We're going to lose, like, kind of, you can see the, the art phases. happening, right? Like, you can see the sketching and stuff. Yeah, and, the phases. And of then it. the, the readaptation of those sketches, so. Uh. Oh, this is about 30 more minutes. This music right oh, look who came crawling back. Crawling back. I can't crawl. The Barbie Murder Roleplaying Podcast. There was a, I think, a trailer that went out on a video. So the, the cat's out of the bag. Cat's out of the bag. The Barbie's out of the box. People were like, is Elise DMing? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she There's is. your answer. Yes, she is. But it also features several guests that we will not spoil. We will not spoil. But there's a bunch of guests. That not will be a Baldwin. Joining. Oops. Mm, that we're aware of. No, we what know was, of. Was this on the end of our video, Must Be Dice? Yes. Apparently. Okay, I gotta see this, you know. Which I watched as I watch all our content. Uh huh. The irony of making content is that oftentimes it leaves you less time to watch said content. I can't. I don't. I can't watch any of our stuff. I'm no time. I'm too busy. That sounded like I'm being sassy, but like I'm not. How to escape the? Shut up! Oh wait, this is gonna give us money. Air yeah. This only takes five minutes. Okay. What no is, that, doing what that, is that an ad for? What the fuck? <laughs> this is a <laughs> finale. Oh. Spoiler for anyone who hasn't finished this yet. Look, I muted they're it. On so a you beach. don't know what happened. Aren't we? I don't remember that. Oh. A case of <laughs> killing her new boyfriend Kenneth in cold blood. Now her two best friends, Georgette and Candy, have to catch the real killer and clear Barbie's oh. head before it's too late. It is time for dolls, drama, and death in our new parody TTRPG series, Barbie Didn't Do It. Barbie Didn't Do It premieres June 27th. I bet she did do so it. So subscribe to the Must Be Dice podcast. Barbie bet, Didn't Do It! I bet that's a red herring and I bet she did do it. on youtube.com slash at funhouse2. So get excited for that, because uh, it's going to be a wild ride. Adored Pariah says YouTube ads have been getting bizarre. Yeah. I believe it. I feel like it. It's like Twitter ads. Where's all also. the fan art, y'all? Oh. There's some Doraemon. Doraemon. I, I don't know what, what is Doraemon? Um, one of the most I told uh, you I don't know what you're sickening the videos. bits. Doraemon is, fun, a, modern fun is a, a beloved <laughs> Japanese character who know. also serves as a indentured servant to uh, Patrick and my sexual Tenobi. desires. Yeah. Tenobi. Who was a, merely a placeholder for Patrick and I and our sick, depraved. <laughs> Remember we were talking about that movie on the podcast yesterday? Which movie? Oh, yeah. What were you talking about? Basically, Doraemon's our <laughs> Italian peasant. What are you talking about? We're not talking about the one where the dog waits at the train station until no, he uh, dies. This podcast is not available yet, but it will be coming up. What It'll be coming what movie? out. Salo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, somebody got their beer stein. Nice. Yeah, one over there that there's a little camera sitting on. What was that for? The oh, that camera? was for when you guys did the um, tier list. Uh, it was oh, so yeah, so Patrick see. could see. He was in there. He, he said, turn me, turn me around. In the machine. Oh, wow, a dark fantasy city builder. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's check that out. This this oh. clip is should be upvoted more so people are aware that you shouldn't do this. Oh my God, what is this? Was this him throwing fire spaghetti? It's spaghetti. It does look like fire. <laughs> it looks it looks like flames. Honestly, this Jake, stream yeah, was Jacob the about worst. To just get fucking. I, I'll, I'll say this about there. drunk streams. I think I think they've been overthought for a while. Yeah, well, that's why I like the one that we did on Friday. It was pretty basic. It was pretty basic, but I still think I still think like rules and 
the, the, there's a certain purity to just like, just finding a very simple thing that you know that's gonna continue occurring and then just making that be the thing so everyone goes, fuck, every single time it happens. I mean, we have, I, I know John was planning a bunch of stuff that he ended up pulling back on, but like, it's, uh, yeah, it's just, Scroll some of them, down. Some of, it's like big game shows. So, let's keep, keep going. Screen. Yeah. This doesn't get as much play in the subreddit, this one. Darius Parfait Richtenberg? Just this whole episode. Which, if you take his initials, it's D. Richtenberg. Oh, there we see. It's Liquid James. Oh, there I am. Liquid James. In Hawaii, you no know, less. Wow. <laughs> Full circle. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Mm -hmm. I like this subtle additions. I didn't notice at first that we were drawn upon. Yeah, I was like, look at this. My hair is yellow. You, you have ears. Curl. Yeah. Oh, the ears I had in real life. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I sat right next to you. My ear oh, was in your face. I don't remember anything. Yeah, this looks great. Also, it says hashtag Liquid James in the corner. Yep, Liquid James. Just gotta let the chaos fly. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta let it fly. Salvia stream. That's not anything anyone wants to watch. Liquid James. See, there we go. That's that. So I was getting confused. I was like, well, hold on a minute. <laughs> Am I Cam Clark? What are we talking about? Liquid James. Liquid James. I don't. What is that? Is that a Metal Gear Solid thing? That is a Metal Gear Solid thing. That's Liquid Snake, but with my face on it. But this. That is me as a liquid, like Alex <laughs> Mack. Okay. That is I, like Alex I didn't. Mack, I wasn't yeah. here for most of the drunk stream, so mm -hmm. seeing the post, I was like, the hell? I can't nail down what this is. Liquid also, James. yes, now this is all I think about, too. It's what it looks like. I can't help that that's what it looks like. I can't help that. Oh, they oh yeah, got the... people started getting this so stuff. So I've been seeing these posts. I love it. I'm so excited. Also, I realized that on the piece of paper, I so there's cards that went out too. Oh, yeah, for I didn't those find who, this. I know. So there's cards that went out for the <laughs> people who bought the stone. Okay. So those, hopefully, those are arriving. And there's a puzzle. You got to figure out the puzzle. But there's also these papers. And I thought that I also passed these around to everybody. But when I saw the first picture, I was like. Where's Char? Where indeed? Are you the only one? Who, no, you're not the only one who didn't sign it. It's, Dan, I think, also didn't sign it. I mean, I just remember they were sitting out near, like, in yeah. the table, and it was like, go sign this I when you can. I thought that I had passed these around and told everybody to sign them too, but... Nope. I see James, I see Jacob, I see John Holland, Omar. Well, it's worthless, so... <laughs> who said sorry? Patrick? Yeah. Me, Rick, Elise. Me. Ryan. Yeah. So I think it's you and Dan didn't get it. Throw them out. Burn them. <laughs> Throw it out. Burn them and watch how bright they burn. There's cards coming. To the, if you bought one of the last seven pins, be on the lookout for that and try to solve it. It's a like shame that, Dan, that didn't I get on, Dan and I didn't get on there because it would have been worth a lot of money one day. Yeah, yeah. No, it's nothing. It's trash. I remember when the first person, like, got their pin or whatever they were like oh well i guess the note was just a joke or whatever yeah meanwhile you were running around <laughs> getting everyone's stuff so you could send it and i was like trying to create a puzzle a mm -hmm. mental puzzle um which hopefully it, it works out ah there's a second one some a nice phase mm -hmm. nice phasing i like it, it looks two. like it, i'm his head Let's see oh yeah <laughs> 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 the, oh there's a Oh. That's James. That's me. That's you. I know, it's hard to see. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is seamless. That's beautiful. The best thing about this is someone made this immediately after the stream, and I showed it to Ryan when we were hanging out afterwards, and he was on a different planet. And I was like, look, Ryan, isn't this funny? And I don't think he recognized either of the images. Yeah, no, of course not. <laughs> he had no concept of what I was showing I don't showing think him. I would either if I was on his level. Yeah. Oh, look, here we go. There we go. I thought I had seen Ryan at his here most you drunk and I think I still have but but that one was oh uh, yeah neck and neck on I know the, of it's not the most far gone I've seen Ryan I think we know when that <laughs> other time was because we were all there too <laughs> when he turned and said to me Ryan's gone <laughs> uh, liquid James liquid James the keying something out that's not supposed to be keyed out very funny I like that but the best thing about that was that John called me we were meeting here for the stream at two, 
So we're gonna meet at like 1.30 or whatever. And then John called me at like 12.45 as I was gathering all the bits and pieces. And he was like, I just realizing there's a green screen and you're gonna be wearing all green. And I went, okay. This is the same costume you asked me to order <laughs> for myself with expedited shipping so it would arrive. And it never occurred to you that you'd be keying it out. And then I got here and I was like, you could have just put a mat. It would have worked. You're like all you needed yeah, to do is just throw no, a single well, mat. I was trying to do that, so but I couldn't figure out. It was keying, so I couldn't do it. Because uh -huh. I do remember going over there and sitting down at the desk and trying to basically duplicate our video layer. Yeah. Put just a mat around you, but it was. It's like it works for the source. It doesn't just do the layer. It was uh, like only yes. mat on the source. But also, but in the it, edit, it can be whatever we want. It's so funny. It was very yeah. funny. Like seeing it, I was like, "That's intentional." It was very funny. Uh, contraband police. Contraband. Mm -hmm. Contraband police. Mm -hmm. Dark, San Dark fantasy city building. I You'll can't wait to build it. Comments. Here's another shirt that and went out. And the letter went out Tell there too. You see these signatures on here. Hmm. That's everybody. Mm, yeah, that's all of us. Um, wow, more art. we're just turning up in all the sports subreddits. Um, For some reason, video essay. employment because we talked about it on the podcast. Oh, Please okay. be nice to Please me. Please be nice to me People with like this mm -hmm. episode. Lauren, Solana, and Ryan. Mm -hmm. And I guess the host, Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is the podcast where we talked about John or Ryan asked John questions. Um... Another prize of the Rubik's Cube. Look at everyone's the Rubik's signature. Rubik's Cube. Just rubbing it in at this point. Oh, there's another one. It's a shirt. Unbelievable. Um, looking oh, hard. Grandma Can't Swim. Remember that? No. No, I don't either. It's it's long. I clicked into it and I was like, oh, I'm okay. So this is members only content. So you have to be a member to watch it. Mm -hmm. But. If you're a member, you can go watch some of the content that we have if you haven't watched it yet. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you know about? This is also from Doraemon. This is Doraemon, yeah. This is, ah. this is when Nobi takes Doraemon out into the field. You see and, this from the windmill. Yeah, someone from the windmill happens to notice uh, something happening in the field, and then they take a peek quietly, the, yeah. and they think they get away with the look, but then they well, turn this is, and see. I think they're trapped up there, but it this is one of, the, one of those notes that you read it, and you're like, this is going to be really time-consuming, but it's mm -hmm. also going to very much improve mm -hmm. this part. So you're like, ah. mm -hmm. Gotta get a wrist check. You gotta click on it first. I did, I clicked on it out of here. Click on the image again though. Oh. Oh, see, this is what I mean by wrist wow, check. Wow, that's, yeah. It looks like it could be a mural. Maybe like, I, that could be tank, in a bank. Is tank, tank I might have going into up. neighborhoods and doing this? Maybe. Yeah, well, I'm you know what this I, is the side of a barn. My favorite part about this one is the little all good worries flower. Yeah, there it is. What's at the bottom? Nothing's at the bottom. Okay. She looks like she fell asleep. She looks so peaceful. So all good, no worries plug in there. Yeah, I love that. I know that channel. I know Dead I've Channel. I've seen that channel before. Let's find some... Uh... <laughs> oh boy, okay. analytics! Look at that. There you go, you set the precedence because this came before all the rest. That's from uh, that's the Adam Sandler movie with the Lone Rangers, right? What was that movie called? Airheads. Thank you. Airheads. Thank you. What's this one? <sighs> what is that one? I don't know. That's um, Is it Magic Mike? <laughs> that's that's is True it? Detective. Yeah, oh, right, right. True, True Detective. Detective, right. Might be Magic Mike. Is it? I think it's probably what's Magic What's that Mike. movie with? Failure to Launch. Wolf of Wall Street. What's that movie? Dallas Buyers Club. No, because he's he's buff there, so it's probably Magic Mike. No, it's Dallas Dallas Buyers it's Club Dyer's before Dyer's he gets Dyer's 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 Club. Right before he has that right, three-way. Right. Before. I'm thinking of the movie that she's that he's in with the Sahara. No. D Dallas Buyers Club. Who is that? Where she that killed really the, talented trans he woman kills in her it. Love fern. I think she won an Oscar. He kills her love fern. Yeah, don't you guys know what I'm talking about? I have no idea what you're talking 50, about. No, this, the, what is the one where How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, that's it. Oh, guys, this is a Lincoln commercial. Oh, yeah. Oh, all you're right. right. All right. All right. I drive a Lincoln because right, I drive a Lincoln. All right, all right. 
There's army Ryan's army jacket. That's hey, that's cool. yours. That's yours. You can that's, wear that anywhere except room. for probably outside because you're not in the army. <laughs> the one with Sarah Jessica Parker. That is. Um, no, that's Kate Hudson's in How to Lose a Guy with Ten. No, that's failure, failure to launch. To launch. Failure is launch. it really failure to launch? Yeah. Huh. I mean, according to Federico, who would know, of course. Failure to launch McConaughey. I don't know if midriff. Yeah, crop top. Crop top. No, his hair isn't long enough in this. I swear to God, if Just you are lying, Federico. I think it's Magic Mike. Magic Mike. I think it's Magic Mike as Magic well. Magic Mike. It's probably Magic Crop Mike. Crop tope. Magic, it is Magic Mike. Mike. Woo! Federico. Fuck was right. Oh, Federico. Me. That image cutting off the 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 hot pants, those booty shorts, yeah. doing a disservice. Oh, we got it confused with how to lose a guy in ten days because she's wearing gold. She's wearing gold. She's wearing gold. I saw that. In also, yeah, he looks a lot younger here clearly than he does here. So that's, I think, one of the differences. Which came out first, that or the wedding planner? There's a video. Dry mode. The wedding. Wedding planner came out first. I think so. This fucking thumbnail. I like Federico, the wedding Federico, you don't know shit. You were wrong. <laughs> I know my SJP. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker? Let's look at his IMDb. Mud, that's what it was from, Mud. Oh, Mud, with that kid. Who the fuck is in Mud? It's not Ass of Butterfield, is it? I don't know. Gotta go that's back in time, name. here we go. I will not say it, I will not follow you. Ah, uh, yep, tricks. the wedding planner came what first. What are you talking about? I said, that's a fake name, and I will not say it, okay? I'm not Mo. <clears throat> Okay, and you're Bart Simpson calling in and prank, prank me. Is there a man to hug and When do we think Matthew McConaughey peaked physically? Are we going to say Reign of Fire? Oh, physically? Reign of Fire, probably, physically? right? Physically? I mean, probably mud. <laughs> probably sing. It's crazy that he was in a movie called Mud, and it's also really good. Can you click on mud? I just want to see who else is in it. Whoa. He lives, he's like a, I, he's like a river island man. Ty, Ty Sheridan. Sheridan. Oh wow, from Ready Ready, uh, Ready Player One. Wait, I what? saw Ty Sheridan in person. I've heard this story. I turned him away from a party. Yeah, and then that's how <laughs> that's the whole what... joke came about of what, who I would let in to parties with kisses. Oh yeah, that's I right. did, I, Ty, if you're watching, I didn't. you could have come to the party. I didn't mean to make you feel like you couldn't hang out at the party. I just, you asked if it was a private event and I said yes and then you and your boys left because oh, yeah. Sarah you could Paulson. have hung out though, you were invited. Sarah Paulson, the killer is inside the house. That's how I found out who. He's just so used to checking what's behind him. Oh, the killer is That's escaping. how you find the first key. That's what it's called, the killer. <laughs> this is a sound that people are using on TikTok. Is that, is that a Sarah Paulson thing? Yeah. What? Help, the, he's escaping. Oh. Can't hear anything. Okay, Lindsay, this is not the anything. right one though. Hang on. Yeah, what's what what's worse? Oh, is that from American Horror Story? I think so. I like when people see two celebrities together and they're like, I didn't know they were best friends. I, I'm yeah. not crazy about <laughs> I'm not crazy about when uh when something a celebrity does becomes a meme and then that celebrity then does it. Mm. I don't need it. It's oh, placating. No. no. We don't need that. You're not getting royalties for those memes. Where NBA are, players can do it sometimes. Just take me to the sound. Oh, wait, hell no. Let's see this. <laughs> this is what it, it always feels like She's trying to find TikTok. She's back on TikTok, everyone. <laughs> this is what it always feels like with TikTok. It's like, oh, I'm going to just watch this TikTok, yeah. and you click on it, and it shows you a cat with a tailed penis. That's funny. Oh, is it an American Horror oh, Story yeah. thing? That's from season yeah. two. Oh, that explains why American it's so uh, campy. Yeah. No, yeah. Coven was like season four. There was a Sarah Paulson was like Coven? scream montage. That looked like it was Asylum. Oh, their username is Horror Coven. I think Coven was I got three. a dragon puzzle piece. I like these The ones. House, The Asylum, Coven. Clowns. Freak Show. 
Videos. Then they did the like, and then Anthology I started. Ones. Then they started losing me. I was, like, I was like, mm, you always get me with the great first two episodes. You always pull me in, American Horror Story, and then things go off the rails. I've never seen it. The first season, I think, is good, and it's a cool concept. I like the I anthology aspect of all the actors playing I different roles and stuff. And screams. Oh my god, the voice. That's good. That's pretty good too. That's from the it's happened to my buddy spoilers Eric. for uh, the hotel. I like that it's spelling them out. That's funny. Oh my god! Oh my god! Please help me! <laughs> it's, it's, man, you know, I don't think Ryan Murphy should have as many shows as he does. Uh huh. But he can make some really fun, campy shit. He definitely makes television. That's for sure. Matthew McConaughey. But I love in The Wedding Planner when the Italian that her dad tries to get her to marry goes, She loves your Steve. She wants to be with y'all, Steve. Because his name is Steve. Matthew McConaughey's name is Steve. Anyways, I say that to myself sometimes. <laughs> Wait, go down to the door remote. <laughs> So it's is it's it's Doramon, right? I think it's Doramon. Doramon. But for some reason in the video, Doraimon. Patrick Doraimon. starts calling him Doraimon. 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 And, Doraimon. and I don't it. think that's how it's pronounced. And then Jacob tries to focus on the game. Yeah. Help! Doraimon. <laughs> you left your hands at home. Doraimon. <laughs> That's Ooh. something I say to myself. Oh, yeah. Wow, Jay. <laughs> yeah, Calypso, look at that. What a hottie. Both both my edits. Come in. What the fuck was that? Is that the building about to fall down? Maybe the uh, window cleaners are cleaning again. And they're like, help! Help, we're the flying out the edges! The lift with me! Ah, help! Whatever you're doing, it can't be more important than saving our lives. Hey, look, it's fan art of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Hold on a second. Oh, yes. The finale Wait, of Deadly Prem. Go watch it. It's on YouTube. Oh, it's a stone. It's a black stone thing. What, this? Yeah. Oh. Is it? Is he holding a black stone? Mm. Nice. Dude, he his is. hands look awful. You mean his hands just in real life in general? Yeah. Have you seen his hands? I can't say that I've Not taken a noticeable look. being the top of my release, Ray Char. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Look up King Charles's hands. <laughs> <laughs> Can we call him King Chuck? King Chuck. King Chucky. Chuck. King Chucky. King Chisel. Oh, Chisel. That would be a cool name for a boy. <laughs> what do you that? What do you think? There's no way to try and understand what what we think that King Charles's experience is. But what do you think he's like hoping to accomplish? Well, he's a psychopath for sure. As, I mean, as someone raised in that level of wealth and um, breeding. Huh? Inbreeding. What's that? Inbreeding. Oh, yeah. Um, King Charles hands. But what? What do you think? What do you think stop, he's stop, hoping stop. to accomplish? There's no way he would. But oh, part, nothing. Part of me is like, oh, well, you're just gonna you're just gonna disappear in history. I mean, right? he's keeping you're gonna the, be a he's footnote. He's keeping the seat warm. Unless, unless he's like. I'm dismantling the monarchy. No, and then gonna, he's like, oh my gosh. Boys. Like, I know, you guys for sure he will is, not but... believe what's out oh, there. Oh, wow. They're really swollen. That's a bad oh, sign. Oh my god. Yeah. That's a bad it sign. It looks like they're he full looks, of Play Doh. He looks like he was in a device that spun him around, like what they do with blood. Yeah. And then they took a picture as soon as it was done, and all the blood was in his hands. Oh, that was cool. Did you show that last time? Oh yeah, yeah, I think yeah. We've, so we've we've eked into the last community show. Yeah, I think that we're at the end here, but this I love it. It's great. It's so good. Thank mm -hmm. you for drawing this. Can't wait to see Barbie fan art. That's what I'm saying. Again, this is the most realistic depiction of Jacob's hair that yeah. I've seen. <laughs> yeah. Poofed said he'll go down in history as the last one, but that's the thing. Like, as the last king, he probably won't. He's not because it, it would. There would be a. There's a world where you're like, okay. If I wanted to be remembered for this, there's no way I can do anything with the handful of years I have that my mother didn't do 10 times over in more memorable ways. So the only thing I can do is be the last one. 
and then you could be remembered for that. It's like a weird sociopathic kind of power hungriness, but it it involves releasing your power to be considered powerful in the future, right? It's, it's like a it's like one in, incredible release of uh, kinetic royal energy. Yeah. That explodes and then outwards. It, and then it'll be like, oh, well, yeah, he didn't really do much with his time, and his mom did, was the last true monarch, but he ended the monarchy, and then he would have his own memorable thing in the in the annals of history. Yeah, it's like how Obama is remembered for his playlists. Exactly. Um, exactly. Jacob! Jacob, Jacob here's Obama, and you know he comes running. I love him. I love him. He come, here's yeah. Obama, he comes running. I was Drones? about to say that what? this alien drawing is closer to Jacob's actual skin tone than most fan art of Jacob. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's, <laughs> it's a, a deep gray. Jacob, we're that? glad to have you here. Oh, Mr. President, we appreciate you doing Barack Obama. We appreciate you coming on the stream. Jacob, what, honor. What, do you, what have you been True listening honor. to, Mr. President? Uh, Lizzo. <laughs> I like Lizzo. Jacob, <laughs> See, he's doing you, what he knows because I know James likes Lizzo. What like would you Lizzo. rate a ten out of ten, Jacob? What would I rate a ten out of ten? Yeah, be anything. Even for the even the man sitting next to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, so it could be literally anything. Mm -hmm. Something in your life that is ten out of ten. Lizzie's oh, feeling man. inquisitive today. I think she just keeps asking people, hoping someone will say her. Um, <laughs> easy answer, my fiance. Okay, all right. Oh! oh! I'm just kidding. Jacob just sent oh, her a message and said, "She's a twelve. She's a 12. Uh, she's twelve. She's <laughs> twelve. No, that seems Mr. Nice. President. Not What's what a ten out of ten? Probably my child bride." <laughs> 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 Jacob just got on his computer and messaged her and said, "Turn on the Funhouse stream," and then ran in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just waiting for an opportunity. Like, There's a like, good Hi. chance Lindsay's gonna ask me what my ten out of ten. <laughs> there's no fucking because well, I already asked Jacob about you know his lux if there's a luxury item in uh -huh. his what was life. the luxury item? Your your all your screens? Or, oh, no, that's this Gallerhorn and whatever. Yeah, that's a ten out of ten for sure. Yeah, yeah Gallerhorn. He, he said uh, his Gundam dunks. My Gundam. <laughs> Jacob, you got some headphones behind your ear. I do. Oh yeah, I hate this shit. I need to get new ones. Yeah, you need to get new ones. <laughs> Not being talked to in public is Here, a ten a out of ten. Now that's a great answer. Oh yes, that's an amazing that's, answer. What is it? Not getting talked to like oh. in public. <laughs> leave me alone is the ten out of ten. <laughs> the mud movies. <laughs> <laughs> as in, as in, if there's more than one. The mud, the mud movies. Oh, mud too, sure. even so muddier. They just threw that out there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ten out of ten. Probably the mud movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best answer for sure. I would have to say the downsizing series. Oh yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Marwin is a ten out of ten. I worked for the guy ten. who made the documentary that that's based on. Oh, wow. I worked for was three an action dads figure? in Sawtell. Oh. Um, Mud legacy. But they left out, I think, the most important detail in uh, Welcome to Marwen. Is which there... was that I think the guy liked wearing women's shoes and got mm. beat to hell because of that. Oh, okay. Uh, which they took out, I guess, because that wouldn't be the weird feel-good thing that Zemeckis was going for. Yeah. Zemeckis, I can think of no director who's better or worse. <laughs> I mean, he's made some of like the best movies of all time, and also some just complete God, shit. Yeah, when he misses, and I don't understand mud how it, X. how it comes out. I like the same Mud Four Cracker. That's cool. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Mud Tube, Mud Bath. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I I'm know. out. I'm out. Oh yeah, and it says Mud right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mud the dog. Mud. <sighs> Was I gonna say something about downsizing? Definitely, you definitely. <laughs> I hope so. Let's uh, let's all sit in silence until you think yeah. of it. <laughs> That's one of those things that I see a clip go around. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. I like when uh, when an actor has a directorial debut and mm -hmm. it's part of all the like the material around it. It's like their first directorial project, <sighs> and then it comes out to completely mediocre reception and it's never talked about again. Mm -hmm. oh. Like George Clooney just had his directorial debut. And I have what? no idea what no, it was. No, he's directed Whoa. a bunch of stuff, hasn't he? No. Good night and good luck and all kinds of shit. No. no. In regards to what Snowball Effects is. <laughs> he's been directing for like decades. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Thinking it's a funhouse stream on a Friday evening is a 10 out of 10, and then realizing it's only Thursday is a 2 out of 10. But you know what is a 10 out of 10 is driving home after work on a Friday night is a 10 out of 10. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. 6 p.m. going, the weekend is mine. What if it was at 3 p.m., though? 
That'd be better. Oh yeah. So then it can't driving home after work. Whenever work on is Friday. done. What if it's like eleven thirty though? So I'm on seeing, Friday. So I'm morning? seeing he's directed ten movies. Don't, yeah. Don't tell me. Yeah. <laughs> For a long time he's been doing it. Well then I keep forgetting them. Yeah. <laughs> oh leatherheads. I mean Thanks some are mechanic. very prestigious, right? Like Good Night and Good Luck was considered a great film. And... Yeah, Leatherheads. Uh-huh. Uh, the, the the movie set in Hawaii that well, also wait. has what's her face from Secret Life of American Teenager. No, he's, he's just in that. The Descendants. The Descendants. That's a that's um that's Jim Rash, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I Dean use Pelton? Ocean. Oh. Here's another thing that I think well, then, is a the, ten out of ten. My point stands about other people though. <laughs> right when you get to brunch, they give you your coffee and your mimosa, and the food is like. On its way. That's a 10 out of 10 feeling. So the food's already coming? You yeah. sit down, the food's coming already? Did you call it? No, order? I said you You already got your mimosa, you okay. already got your coffee, and then the food's about to be on its way. So maybe you've already there's had There's a baby one crying next to you at the table next to you. I don't go to restaurants where there's babies. Yeah. No, we you go can't to restaurants choose. where there's basset hounds. That's true. Choose. The basset yeah. bunch basset or whatever. Basset to brunch. Basset yeah, to basset brunch. Basset to brunch. <laughs> That's our new brunch club name. And we're basset stealing it from brunch. those hounds. Um. Anyways. Yeah, The Descendants, written by Jim Rash, a.k.a. Dean Sorry. Pelton. But did he direct it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you were saying? <laughs> I saw something about Robert De Niro had another kid or something. Oh, yeah, he's like... On his, like, eighth eight, child? Yeah. As a he was like 79-year-old. Oh, yeah, how something. old is he? That's, he's... like, a weird form of... What is that? Is uh, that narcissism? Yeah, is that, I don't know. Uh, like the the Mick Jagger effect? Or that right? just like seeing if you can still <laughs> crank one. I out. saw a thing to. Yeah, I, I, saw, try. I saw a thing that was like uh, was I guess Mick Jagger's daughter. There's Mud, a new Mud season Sport. of the Bear. Mud Sport. Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, in, uh, but we're not allowed to watch it because it, they because their their writers aren't getting paid. <laughs> uh. It's not the bear's fault. But. Yeah. One of the, uh, that's the big thing with the writers. Is strike, with, is with one TV of the writers games? was like, "Yeah, I was uh, like working at a Target when I got my nomination for the Emmy because I hadn't made any money writing that show." <gasps> that's <gasps> right. so I was like trying to figure out how I was going to be able to afford to go to the Emmys. For I, which I was not honk at all the writers because I pass a lot of them on my you way here. You honk with them or at them, Lindsay? <gasps> Two very different things. They're cheering. They're going, you know, honk, <laughs> oh, yeah. and so I honk for them. Yeah, yeah. The, I'm and honking I, at them and I'm pulling hard on the wheel before I crept. <laughs> oh, I'm pulling hard on my horn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're trained my soul, yeah. But like, they they put a sign out in front of some of the studios that says, I don't know if you've seen this, but it says, excessive honking is a violation of code, blah, 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 yeah. blah. They're such fucking and dorks. And I see That's it and so I just weird. go, <laughs> what are they gonna do? Come and fucking get me! I know it's like come and get me. Get yeah, you say I got cut security. off. That's real. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, they put a sign out there. So just honk more. That's yeah, what I more say. honking, please. I hate so much. I have so much hate in my heart these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. And they keep giving me more things to get even more hateful That's about. That's what adulthood is. Who life or <laughs> just rage? Well, for one, the Anger. studio heads. Oh yeah. No, oh, the Five Five Night at Freddy movie. That's mm-hmm. good. Now that's someone who's going to get paid, the creator, so he can funnel it right uh, back into the American conservative movement. <laughs> that guy. Scary movie. What if you open the door and there's a, a austerity uh, budgeting spending on the other side? Mm-hmm. Ah! 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 No more social programs. We need, to do, we need to just do a thing where we're just watching TikToks. I right? do that. I mean, oh, yeah. Lindsay comes on what a show for that. Yeah. No, but we should just do it here, and but then we don't even say anything. We just need to do what people do, where they just have another TikTok play and they oh. go like this. James, that's called duetting. This oh. is not a yeah. duet, by the way. This is nothing. If this is a video, if you're like, hey, I'm gonna make a video, and uh, or or even no, even more so, if you're oh, like, down. I want to watch something on TikTok or Instagram or whatever. And the video is someone else made a video that they put time into, yep. and then it's someone else going like this, <laughs> and then you go like, "You're terrible. You're worse than the person who fucking made it." You hear that? Don't Wait. ever like something where someone's going. Yeah, plus you'd fit right in on Mount Flushmore instead. Like that. The AI presidents are good. This is the only good AI thing. They should. AI should be confined to only this. Presidential yeah. discord. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot you don't know, Joe. There's a lot we don't know either. 
Like how the fuck you don't fall down more. I've got a strong core, dummy. It's what all the in the fuck? hips. Oh, is that so? Because from where I'm stood, Joe, I'd say it's all in the fucking head. Oh, the, shit. The Trump ones. wrong with you until the bing bong hits you. Why do you care about who's on Mount Rushmore anyway, Joe? I'd like to think after I'm gone, you know. Only Joe is good on something. this one, though. You've yeah. Been long gone There's a. I'm waiting now, for Brock. Like. like your chances. They've been doing the mud shit the whole time. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. mud is big. That's a big film. People are always talking about oh, mud. Rootin', tootin', mutin', shootin', bing bong I just heard. This is serious, Why are we watching guys? this? I just was going through the TikToks, you know. <laughs> Desktop TikTok. <laughs> this guy rocks. Hey, everybody, Who's look at it. Check out this TikTok. No, I, I, I signed right Bahari. now. He guy? just, yeah, he just talks about old religions. This was actually a way of. I mean, I love that shit. So, so th just take this video, to you Jacob, and put it, did. put me world. on top of the video, and it's this, One this guy who put all this work into this, and is like, did this research and put this thing together, and then it's me going. They should, know, that yeah. should be an actual you get duet. Ten times the likes. Yeah, like, get... Someone should get a, a bigger artist to feature on a song, but the whole time in the studio they're just like. Or it's me sitting. It's me sitting in the driver's seat of my car just. Uh huh. Yeah, this exactly. is worth making. That yeah. was worth making. Can we exactly. go to Mud Talk? Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Who Mandalorians are from? And you could probably figure this one out of your own. What planet are Earthians from? Oh my God. Who Mandalorians are from Earth, Lindsay? What a stupid question. Nice. Yeah. The comments <laughs> on all these social it. posts. There are too many nerds. There are that's too many one. nerds. Um, actually, oh yeah, uh, actually, Mandalorians just, are originally that's just from what they Coruscant. Call their home. They're called the. They used to be called the Tom. Shut up, nerds! Oh my god, I Thanks hate for Star being Wars. Um, our fan, and hope you like our videos. Yeah. <laughs> also, this one I didn't get, okay, but this is Emily, and then the other one is Nana. Oh, Nana. Nana is gonna hit the nay nay, get that new new for the no no. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, All right. I think he's John just mixing Smith. a lot of. I get each. I get things individually. <laughs> yeah. Who played the? If we're gonna watch our own TikToks, can we at least watch the Elvis? Uh, Where's that one? Ralpha. Uh, uh, it's down in the middle, I think. Yeah, I love that there it slinky is. thumbnail. Hologram shield. That I, I I believe that ah, ah. that is only funny because of Charlotte laughing. I know it's so good. <laughs> Nothing I say is particularly. That's funny. You say Moab. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till he sees me hop on that Shalud. <laughs> We're going for a ride. It's just it's just funny, you know. Look, another one has a million. It's just funny oh, really? stuff. Yeah. Hey, there's there's your friend. Hey. Yeah, that's Tay. Who's Tay? She brings in all the views. I like Look the com I like the comments under the Austin Butler thing, and they're like, "What video is this from?" And it's like, "This is the only <laughs> part salvaged." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, did this video not go out? It's a member video. Yeah. Oh, it was a member video. Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah, that was a one moment, a shining moment. Jacob uh, hates Star Wars. You heard it here first. Yeah, I'm Anyways. totally serious when I say that. I don't believe Pause. anyone that says that they hate Star Wars because I know a lot of people that have said that, and I'm the only one who stopped watching. <laughs> they should call Dune. <laughs> they should call Dune Dry Mud. That's one of my favorite <laughs> things uh, with Patrick is when there's like a Star Wars show, mm -hmm. and we both will come in and bitch about it. Be like, did you stay up and watch it at midnight? And we're like, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I did. Patrick though will watch everything. That's true. He came in and he's like. I watched Red Notice last night. He brings up Red Notice a lot. That's just the one that comes to mind because yeah. he just like he'll he'll watch the most. I mean, he doesn't he can't sleep anymore. So now he's watching all kinds of garbage. Yeah, he might as well be watching stuff. Mm -hmm. That's, true. That's sure. all for today, everybody. Make sure to tune in next Tuesday. We'll be back with more live streamings and check out on Monday. There's a new episode of Jedi Academy. And what's the video that's coming out tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, it's should... an idiot detective. Oh, the idiot, idiot detective! detective. Yeah, back oh, again. we didn't show a clip of the thing. Yeah, yeah we did the, uh... earlier. Oh, thank God. I oh, don't have can... to do that. We can end it. Bye, no, everybody. Show... Wait, 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 wait. Go There's... watch. Members can watch that shit. Yeah, it's going to go live now. right after the stream. It's live, right, it's live right it's live now. It's live right now. It's live right now. Check out the community tab and the membership tab. You can watch it's the it. the button that says promo. It's the button that says promo. Click. Let's go get our guy. Oh, there's two of them. Uh -oh. We only need one, so. Well, no, no, let's do that. No, why not two? Just trap them both in. Hey! Ow. This is normal. This is normal behavior for consumers. Customer's always right. Stop Customers throwing rocks at my right. rocket. The book cop one's always right. Give him a good whack. Make him upset. Yeah, take him down to like 3% health. Yeah, yeah. And then drag us. That's how I feel when I fly. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh! Do you have a fan? Do you have a fan that you can oh, waft him in with? I have a Korok leaf. Okay, never mind. Oh, I can't do it with that. You put it on the wrong stick. Damn it, this stick's too long. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's nice. beautiful. Go, 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 <laughs> Did he okay. fall through a crack? <laughs> kind of. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs>